name is Harley and welcome to the royalty. Why am I so dark today? Yo. That's weird. Anyway, guys, today we're gonna date pigeons. We're gonna see what the pigeon world has to offer. I don't know anything really about this game other than we're gonna be dating pigeons. Yes. Yo, Adam! This has led to a thing I never thought would arise in which we date pigeons. <sighs> this is gonna be an adventure, guys. I hope you're doing well, Adam. Okay, I don't know where it'll be best to put myself. I'm assuming this is a good place, but if it's not, do let me know. You just got home, good, it means you're not driving. Do you know this game, Adam? Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Uh, what do we want our pigeon, uh, like our person to be called? No. Come on, someone give me a name for our our character. Mmm, I don't know, because I don't want to be dating pigeons. Yo! Sure, Ron, hello! Pigeon, go, go, go! Oh, I'm going to dramatically read everything in this game, get over it, guys. No, I don't want to be the one personally dating pigeons. I just don't want to do that to myself, so give me a name. Hmm. Dove. I liked Dove. I don't know. My last name. What's our last name? It's whatever Dove is. Dove is uh, gender neutral. Dove doesn't mind. Dove will be soap. I'm down with that. Is Dove soap okay? No. <laughs> like they're about to start dating pigeons, so probably not. Hats of a boyfriend includes a powerful visualization model allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. The fuck does that mean? Display human portraits? Sure. What does that mean? St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's know the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to save pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds, of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. <laughs> Dorian, so do I! Rayuna! Usually you'd have been ready by for an hour now, Dove. Overslept? Who the fuck are you? Oh, anime boy with blue hair. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryuta. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little bit mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. <laughs> no, honestly, I think it's cursed too. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without med red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. <laughs> I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. <laughs> nah, it's definitely unholy. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers. No good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me in along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. I was all I could, it was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. 
Better make up for all that lost fun. What kind of fun are you, you getting into with pigeons? How of a boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. Isn't that basically what I say for the people's disco, for the people, by the people? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm a pigeon. I think we're in 2-3. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. I wasn't well and um, I got told like I should just play something stupid. And I was always like game where people dated pigeons for a while. And like this was it. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around all of the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Requested by destiny. <laughs> oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kasuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? <laughs> Kazuyaki Nanaki! <laughs> this quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He is famously saporific. What? Math professor. <laughs> it is! I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to just fall asleep like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great four minds come in all forms. Lol, actual pigeons. Yeah, like apparently we're dating actual pigeons. Hey, Cody. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogami. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh. Well, I guess that is that. Hey, hey, hey. That's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. We can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll turn into collapse and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogani? Shirogani Lobel Sequoia. That's a high school for pigeons. Why are you gonna... <laughs> why have they got female counterparts? Like, why have they got human counterparts? It seems this fantail is Shirogan Sequoia. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring's never easy. I hope we can be friends. Do you fancy this pigeon? Listen here, Dove, you've got issues. Sequoia sits down, throwing daggers at Ryuta and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's gonna be trouble down the line. <laughs> Why is we to take this seriously? Lunch, already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminded me, I've had these books out from the library all summer, I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. It, right, is he gonna say any birdie every time? Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. I'm human, like my character's human. I'm the only human in a pigeon school. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things that you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. 
Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returned his gaze to the book. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a dating game with pigeons. <laughs> Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm so dove. A sophomore. What about you? You are Nagaki. Fujishiro. Nagaki. Freshman. Fujishiro Nagaki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare here in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. <laughs> I'm considering that more having slapped David into the abyss than watch up this unholy game. I shall take a step into the void. <laughs> Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> I keep meeting depressing people today. I don't know what this game is. Oh my god. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me at school. Come on, Sequoia. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all of these years? My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. No. Please don't try and talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. That's racist. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school, what's done is done. I haven't meant to eavesdrop. But I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakasaki Yuya. Is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Ha, <laughs> no sweat. I tried to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. This fantail pigeon is Sakasaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. Right, I swear to God, just gonna keep saying everybody. You're a dove, right? How did you... I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. See, proof that we're a human trying to fuck pigeons. A single puppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of... Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck up a Christocrat wannabe was your brother. A Christocrat wannabe? He's an, he is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, man me. And you. He's a dick. He really is a noble bird. She's into it now. I've never heard anything like that about you, you know. Probably a twisty business. Vesaria, no. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Varuda? said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go check if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Rayuda did always have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. I don't know what I'm doing for sorry. Excuse me. Nobody's here. It's gonna keep saying nobody. It's gonna, it's, gonna, it's, it's just gonna. I'm gonna have to get used to this. 
There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no present. As if you're still a hunter-gatherer, you fuck pigeons, bitch. There's... There's no birdie here. <laughs> Rayuda? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did you go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think about it, I haven't been in here much, unlike Rayuda. I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethelpar, Trifi, Lucio-Benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? D doctor I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. Right, can I just ask a question? Why he look like that, but then look like that? Yo, Ryan, don't ask me what I'm doing. This Tartress is Amamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with asparagillus, psychosis, or even worse things. <laughs> I'm not gonna question him either. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? What is this dialogue? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuda Kawara from T3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come to find me before going home? I'm sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Are we going to end up banging the doctor too? Like, oh my god. Ryuda's already home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining the club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran it middle school and it's always fun watching the birds hop around. Imagine a track team. I think the club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cool! Cool! This is all pudding for a man! Cool! Officer rejected! It is a lie of vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> It, but he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. <laughs> cool! Okazan has suffered a deception most vile! A wretched betrayal! Betrayal? Cool! Okazan instructed the pudding be provided for new members! Cool! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Go! Go! Spare the gesture, lady! Oh, son, you're doing your job! It's super effective! What is this game? Go! They'll roll the day they cross the cross He'll have the flayed hang shot, don't he will? <laughs> cool! Okosan must now train to achieve true pudding! Farewell! <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> he's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. 
Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. If you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Of course not all I had time for the drill team! That's good. What about you, Sugar Rain? A foolish question. I already hold the position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were mid. Nepotism, how didn't we get to vote? <laughs> Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your, your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... What are we joining? <clears throat> Okay, I've put up a poll. Please vote. Where the hell could go? <laughs> Guys, I think you just want Akko san. Don't just vote track because that crazy bitch is there. Okay, we've got two for track, two for library. You know the drill, boys! Try the pole! Don't try the pole. <coughs> uh, you click on the pole, you click the option you want, and you click vote. The pole is at the top of the screen. Right, I'm running the poll again. Okay, it's it's under the... Right, one second. Uh, let me make this poll again. It'll be on channel points then. I think. Track. <coughs> School. Council. Wait, it's between track and library. No one even voted for the school. Council. You guys are getting three minutes. Right. Just pick an option. Just pick an option. Just pick an option. Like, I don't want to have to use this. I've never wanted to have to use this. It's got a bullet in it. Like, just know you will get shot. Make all accounts? No. There we go. Track, please? Why do you want track? Go play Dark Souls 3, that's fine, Dorian. You play Dark Souls 3, that's fine. <laughs> okay. I... I I can't even believe I'm doing this. Just, just shoot me. I thought it would have killed me. I was hoping to hit myself. I'm trying to do a headshot. I can shoot my arm really well. On guard! It's okay, you guys seem to have made a decision. So far, library's winning. Unless we get another vote for track, it's all over. There's no running away from this. I I'm trying to so hard. We're literally playing a pigeon game. I was like, where the fuck did that go? Uh, the shy boy. Shy boys in the library. <laughs> when are you playing it? Because I've watched that.
We love shy people. But apparently we also love Aquasan, who just shouts coo and gets mad about pudding. He doesn't deserve us. Are you serious? I'm just gonna keep threatening till the till the vote's over. Cause unless a track gets another vote, it's library. You will get your ass kicked, which is why I wanna watch it. Okay. Alright, you guys voted. Decision was actually made for once. <laughs> so y'all have survived today. Okay. We are joining the library staff. Everyone, isn't it? <clears throat> Have fun. Okay. Today is elective day. What should I do? Attend. This is going to go the same way. I know it is. You guys are going to be making all the decisions because I'm not dating these pigeons on my own. That's not fair. Alright, which class are we going to? Get your votes in, boys. Let's. and ladies. Let's get. Jim, for the exact same reason, you just want to see Yoko san. Yeah, no one likes. no one liked math. But yeah, I'm not dating a pigeon on my own. That's just not gonna happen. Like. Down. Can you guys untie this, please? You will be stuck with the sword. That one just didn't fall where it was supposed to. I think he's playing the first one. <sighs> I'm just shooting the ceiling. It's really good to go about our neighbors. I didn't tie it purposely this time. Okay, fine. I know Vi only did it because she wants to see Alcazan. It's not my fault she fancies the weirdo pigeon. Come on, I need someone to untie it. Just one. Dorian, I know you don't like it, but can you can you untie this for us? I just need you to untie it. I just it looks like someone who needs love deep down. Akusan only cares about the true pudding, clearly. No, great, right, it's gotta be between Jim and music. You gotta vote one of those. Alright, so I'm voting music. Thank you. It's alright, we already got a vote. For we don't need you now. Thank you, Pisaria. Pigeon sexy to lose! No! Dorian, I know you tied that. I would need one more vote. Are you guys not scared of me anymore? Because it feels like y'all ain't scared of me anymore. Back in the day, y'all wouldn't have, like, gotten away with this. I'm a cuddly panda? What the fuck? I am violent as shit. <clears throat> I nearly put raid. Listen here. 
No, you're a two by you're a two. We have a vote now without you all tying it. <sighs> You've already managed to tie it, so can someone now untie it? I just need someone to untie this. Cody, can you vote? Just break the tie. Pandas can be violent, but like, I'm not a cuddly panda, I'm a violent panda. If I am a panda. You know? <laughs> Cody, break the pole! Bro! Oh, so you voted? Shit. Who hasn't voted? Who hasn't voted? There is uh, multiple people that haven't voted. We are missing two votes. So there, if someone could break the tie right now to Dorian won't vote again. No! Sorry, vote. Sorry, vote. When Pizarro votes, I'll stop threatening them. <clears throat> Vote. Thank you. But you guys are extending the amount of time I need to date a pigeon for. So we're gonna come up with a different way to figure this out. I'm thinking of a number between one and ten. Whoever guesses it gets to pick. No, I'm pick I, I I've got a number between one and ten. Any of the guesses? The number was four. Adam, you want music? <sighs> Next time you're all do it, I'm gonna send us to math class. Hi Ollie! It's always four, to be fair. If you'd have if you knew me, you'd have known that. We sang birdie melodies, it was a little tiring, but singing together was fun. Dove leveled up! Charisma increased by five. I got some charisma. 
I'm on receptionist duty today, you'd better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem to be very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. With the festival the bits I've over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Does smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh, there's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Dove. Ryan has won his seventh pulsar. He gestures at the news clipping staff room billboard. It says Brian, the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. Brian. Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that Double Olympics be called Pitchy Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him right now, one of me? Try googling Brian Pitcher. Okay! Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. I do, do. Bye. See you later. I'd better hurry back to class. Hello, everybody. Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. I do. Ryuta is overturned next to them. Rock doves underwing and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. I mean,. Wait, what's going on? Why was she thinking about him upside down? Oh, Okusan and Sukuya. I look up and I see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Raida? Sukuya was making fun of Okusan. How do you eat a Eddie? neck accessory? You scarf Eddie? it down. Ah! I like that one. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding and said he's ashamed to be in the same class. It's terrible. I mean, Okusan is a nutcase. I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Either way, Okusan kind of went for the jugular and... You tried to pull them apart and Okusan used wing attack on you? Yup. You're our only hope now, Dove. Ugh. Go, go! Okusan will not allow pudding or his ultimate ridicule you will apologize! You tell me to take back my words, I shall not. Right, I'm coming back to the screen. This is so fucking weird. Yep, B is on a mad one today. It's because I locked her out of the bedroom. So just kick it off. Akosan's voice is perfect. I'm glad you think so. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. God, Uncle Sam is not a mongrel! Hey, dear! The battle still rages and it looks like Ryuta's sacrifice was in vain. I should. Who we siding with? Who we siding with? I know what Vi is gonna pick. <laughs> I'm talking for the birds, Ollie. Who are we siding with? Who are we siding with? Ah! Oh, I do. Okay, come on, I need I need a vote. Who we who we siding with, guys? Oh, wait. all right. I'm gonna go with Vi. Vi is too invested in Okusan at this point. Sakuya, that wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know what Okusan is talking about doesn't mean you can start slurring him. You are always siding with this Mongol rebel. Aren't you supposed to be a human? Go, go, Okusan is resolved. Okusan will end this now. He drops low and prepares to strike with all his might. Go! Get that drill! Break! <laughs> ah! 
Akasan crashes into Sequoia with a spinning body slam. Sequoia goes flying out into the hallway, bouncing hopelessly. <laughs> Sequoia goes flying out of the hallway, bouncing helplessly. That must have hurt. Akasan is a match for any aristocrat! Cool, cool! Akasan is a match for the mighty giants themselves! Why is Akasan Dorian? Why is Okazan Dorian? <laughs> yeah, no, not this game exactly, Danny. <laughs> he puffs up his chest and swags out of the classroom like a real gangster pigeon. Wait, class is about to start. Okazan, come back. Break is over. I don't know this game. I just know that we date pigeons and it became real weird. Mmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Are we going to the store? Are we going to the infirmary? Are we going to the cafe? Get your votes in chat, guys. I'm doing good, I guess. I'm playing a pigeon dating sim. Okay, I've got one vote for car, one vote for infir uh, infirmary. Who else wants to vote? I need someone to break the tie. Come on, Danny. I hope you're doing well, dear. I did! I am 5.53. Okay, infirmary. Okay. No! Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. Of course, you can go whenever you want. Also, I'm gonna um, do this. I think it might be better for my book. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> 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 I know, you said, so come on, let's see outside, we can't hustle around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. <laughs> Sen saw the pudding in here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but ow, cut it out, Akasa. Go on, at least me, I want my rage melted and rising. True, true. Help me, Dove. Um, are we leaving it to him or are we going to let him go? Yeah, you should. Definitely should. Y'all really just don't care about him. Leave it to me. All right. I need one more vote. Come on, Adam. Silence, fool boy! 
Once freed, Akasan rampages for a while and comes over with a satisfied expression. Go! Akasan loves you, gentle maiden, but fake pudding cannot be forgotten. Very well, sat in the forest and me in Tatara village, our love pure, carry me away on Yakul. Oh no! Our table! It's broken! Who the hell is Yakul? Hey, Oko loves you now, Vi! <laughs> Why didn't we name the character Violet? <laughs> Today is elective day. We're gonna go to math because we were really dumb last week. We're going to math. I know we don't like it, but we're dumb. Cop! <laughs> How are we still in Akasa? Emotional damage! <laughs> now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... <laughs> Is this math class or nap time? Dumb leveled up! Wisdom increased by five. Was I being really dumb? Emotional damage! <laughs> Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Anybody I know? What should I wish for? Do we want to conquer the world by force, rule the world from the shadows, and become a famous artist? I'll send you to Jesus. <clears throat> if no one decides I'm ruling the world from the shadows. Take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, son? Mr. Nanaki! You should be careful out this day. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Are we gonna walk home with the teacher? to go flirt with the teacher on the way home. <clears throat> no, thank you! <laughs> hey, legend, we're dating pigeons. You wanna, you wanna have this pigeon walk you home? <laughs> I'll let legend make this decision. Legend's not make, been able to make a decision yet. Get it with the teacher. Legend's making the decision. Legend, are we getting? Are we walking home with the teacher? Pigeon home, okay. Yes, please. All right. Mr. Naki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. The house is very rustic, so I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. 
And so he left, a somewhat hollow sign of farewell echoing behind him. Was it just my imagination? Is this teacher homeless? Today's elective day, what should I do? All right, so we've, we've done it in an order. Let's go to music today, we'll go to gym next time, and then we'll go to math. It's easy to forget homework. I'm in place in charge of the timpani today. Last time it was the gong. What am I supposed to be, the musical gorilla? Hey, how are we doing, you vibe? Dove leveled up, charisma increased by five. We're dating pigeons, we're not okay. We're not okay. Today is swim class. All these damn tight clinging feathers are making my heart race. Go on, go on, David the human. Can you still swim? Yeah. Go on. Of course, I'm challenging you to a race then. Of course, I'll never swim against a human. Right, this, this is Dorian. Dorian is Okusan. Like, I'm, uh, like, hominid. Like, come on. So you're fast in the war as well as on land? Go, go! Naturally, Okazan is the fastest in all things. Yeah, apparently you want a Daytorian. All right then, let's go. <laughs> Get set, go! Okazan is running on the top of the water with incredible speed before the signal has stopped ringing in my ears. It is so cute. All the emotes he has. That's not swimming! Go, go, go! Okusan is victorious, you're too slow now! And so I learned that I'd need to redefine my concept of swimming before hoping to defeat Okusan. Damn, that is love, exactly. We get our finals back today, I'm not sure I did too well. Stop, sir. Well done, you've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. I am an undercover cultist after all. Oh, okay. All right. Today is the last day. It's been a semester already. Oh, I like it. It's pretty. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There'll be a lot of students coming to borrow the summer reading pretty soon. Gabriel, <sighs> we're dating pigeons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oh, look at the clay! No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Vi's love story with Okusa. <laughs> Today is the closing ceremony. So there are even fewer birds in here than usual. <laughs> That's literally the Harley cult. Where did you go wrong, Dan? Yeah, I don't know. I want to take the same. Just, just go on Twitch, stay for a year, and this is where you'll end up. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen the situation before. Nageki, no reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nag? Please be quiet in the library. Hello. Rather noisy today. Did you want something? No, I was just wondering if you were in here. <laughs> basically, basically. Legend, you've hit it on that. Of course, I'm always here. He replies from his corner in somewhat annoyed tone of voice. <laughs> oh, the book he's holding. That's a sign reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really, I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all the sign reading. The whole concept is insane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It's pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... <clears throat> um, Night on the Galactic Railroad or Orohato? So this is our second choice bird. Okay. Okay. Good to know. What are we recommending? First answer I see I'm going with. Arohato. Okay. 
Ah! Uh, Danny hasn't got to make a pick yet. What about Night on the Galactic Railroad? I liked it. Too stereotypical. Just marching through. I did it! Oh, sorry. You've already read it, I imagine. Yes. Though, I liked it too. And so I spent the afternoon working in the library, occasionally exchanging a word with the Gaki. Time flows slowly by, and this sort of thing is nice. Too. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Why do we keep referring to ourselves as a hunter-gatherer? It's, it's weird. It's really... Oh. That building is destroyed. <clears throat> that building's not okay. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. We, we are not. I wonder how far I am. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered outside of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. Fuck you. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. You live in a cage. Hey, you. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a lotus leaf. Alright, Vi's about to fall in love. It looks a little bit vintage, how cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can't tell, I can tell my weight is this spiral because it's just kind of Oh, Um, I'm in the same situation, but I'm out for a run and I got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. I wonder if I'll be able to run him home again. Mm -hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined instead of a ride home, come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at his ear. It's a little small, but she doesn't say anything. But thank you. May I ask your name? Shiba Asami. Aisal Takiyaki. Call me Asa. Then thank you, Asa. Do we get to see what Asa looks like? You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take and that'd be the end of both of our lives. May seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Hey, Shauna! You didn't. Go to disc real quick. I'm on disc. Listen here! Listen here! I will make that rules page. I will. I will. I will. All right, let's go back to the birds that we're trying to bang, apparently. Isn't riding tandem against the wall too? That rules for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we put it along at Asami's hyper-cautious speed, but the time we got to my house it was almost like time. We're gonna invite the birdie to stay the night. It's still a long time until the semester starts and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I will. Do you wanna get a job? Are we getting a job? Are we getting a job? Decide whether we get a job. Also, Shauna, beautiful as always. How are you doing, my love? We're getting a job. I'm down. I'm down for getting a job. 
I think I saw a filer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. Not even a dove? No, we're dove. We're dove. There is a dove though, we can date a dove. It was the cap, right? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the calf is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to as a mature, attractive miss. All the students at the school are young and high from the most dignified birds there are teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushara Kensaburo. And the owner of the Toyumi Cat. I'm sorry, but Dove. Welcome, Miss Dove. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you gonna interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. I believe you'll be much more capable than I of moving boxes or coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for the summer then, Miss Dove. It's perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. Are you a new teacher? Yeah, I just threw it and boy, my arm's tired. Yes. Oh, that's so, th oh my God, that's so cute. I love the bunny outfit. I like the guitar, that's so cool. I like your pop collection as well. <laughs> I'm glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. I don't know what this is. I'll see you later. Bye, you vibe. Love you. Tomorrow then, Miss Dove. All right, so we're going to try and bang our boss, the teacher, the students. Dove's a slag, man. Dove's a fucking slag. Today's my first day working at Mr. Ushiada's calf. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Alright. No worries. Have a good look. Enjoy the gym. Good morning, Miss Dove. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the calf, explaining everything inside. The shop is small and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice, I always want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my house. Excuse me? Um, I saw the flyer at the station and Ryuna! Dove? What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Dove. Oh yeah, this is Ryuna. And, right, Legend, you spent 127 hours watching me to now watch me seduce pigeons. Congratulations. You came with a job too, Ryuna? Yeah, I saw this start at noon. I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But you've already got the position and that's it. Um, Mr. Urishara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should. Do I do the job I was hired for or do I give Ryu the job? I need to know what I'm doing here, guys. I've already lost my mind. Someone just tell me what to do. But Ryuta needs the job. You know what I mean? Like, do we take a job that Ryuta could use? You know what I mean? Do we want to be that pigeon? Or that human? We shall do the job. 
Oh, give it to him? Okay, I'll give him the job. We can't now bang the person. Mr. Ushiata, do you think you could take Ryuda instead of me? Dove? I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job, but Ryuda does. Don't worry, he's a really hard worker. Are you sure, Dove? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day too, but... Ryuda works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Ushiata is a real job, and Ryuda deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryuda. I... Thanks, Dove. Well then. Our encounter has been transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I'm glad I met you. Please stop by. I'll always be here, Miss Dove. I will. Thank you, Mr. Yurishara. Okay. Today's a local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. I hate that. Invite. Who are we inviting to the Summer Bird Festival? Just tilt it the opposite direction. You'll be fine. Trust me. You'll be fine. Have we got any other votes? Is there any other birds that people other than Vi want to like seduce? Or like, is Vi just really into this bird? I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna be with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Alright, we'll pick San just because for some reason Vi is in love with him. Cool! Oh, is it true that you'll take all his to a wonderful place? <laughs> yep, yeah, today is a summer festival. Let's go together. You're welcome, bye. Oh, Uncle Sun smells exciting things. Uncle Sun's excitement is almost as a maximum. There's lots of good food, more than we could ever try. Oh, Pops, you the pudding? Well, probably not. I've never seen a stun selling pudding. Oh, look, the fireworks are starting. Aren't they pretty, Uncle Sun? Okasan? <laughs> Go! Go! No, he's lost himself to the shiny light to return to his feral ancestry. Calm down, Okasan, calm down! Ah, <laughs> oh, I knew I should have gone up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Me this morning. Oh, hello, so. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. What's that? Ah, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself, so? Huh? What's the <laughs> number in the top left-hand corner, say? Oh. You're just a little bit early. Ah! Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a little bit, so? Lend you a hand? I don't want to touch your bird dick. I was about to start grading the freshman exam, but I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library, I want to. Are we going to hang with the teacher? Are we going to go study in the library? Or are we going to go home? <laughs> I'm keeping this mod just to Prove that Vi was in love with a pigeon.
Okay, you want the library? <laughs> what else are we thinking? Oh, is it just library? <laughs> We're more likely to see him. Right, Vi has got a personalized command already. I'm down to update it. One sec. If you go help Mr. Nanaki, then study in the library. Because we study in the library, we know we're going to see library boys. But if you want library, I'll take library right now. Okay. You will? Thank you. I'm going to make you some tea. And so I spend the morning grading tests in the air conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. He is very good. Has mango in it, I do like it. Good morning everyone, I hope you had fun over the summer. See? We got him! Splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon and for the pigeon. Second term. Huh? Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from two two. Not a name I recognise. Should I go find the classroom? They may have already gone home though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir. Sir. Oh. Hello, Dad. Did you put any homework? I found someone's ID card. It's from Tutu. I thought I should take it here. Hey, Leah! Don't ask what we're doing. Oh, thank you, Dad. Dad, I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing. You did find this today, right? So? Yeah, in the corridor, just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. Yo, Mel! Don't ask what we're doing! So, then, was this card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? Awfully clean though, shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it, thank you so much. No, 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 Vi is dating a bird. Mm, uh, technically we're all dating pigeons, Liam. Right, so it's gym class because we went to music last time. Today is volleyball day. God, take this, I'm gonna smash! How about you? I don't know. 
exactly what it is. Coral clouding feathers of furious white with gold and flooding steel shining like the sun itself. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. And is the pudding invincible or at last he returns? About the great mighty lord pudding. Bro. had a day of pain and then I like I wanted to play something stupid and my friend reminded me this exists and then now I'm playing it because I've never played it before I just knew of it I was like there's a pigeon sim right like pigeon dating sim and now we're playing it that's disgusting I didn't need to know that <laughs> all right I feel like Vi, I feel if you want to be on his good terms, it's at last he returns. But if you if you know Akusan better than any of us. If the pudding is invincible, let me know. But I feel like he wants us to say at last he returns. At last he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure promised land. I'm in a lot of discs, but yes, I will. Just because you're my child. Corrine, we don't use that kind of detergent, but um, you really smell of it. That's a vibe. Oh, that would be the bleach. But bleach? Sir, are you one of those degenerate who bathes with bleach powder? No, no, I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night, that's all. I do have nitro. I do. That's dangerous! Sir, please be careful. Mm, yes, I'll... 
I guess there wasn't any way he was gonna stay awake after helping us clean the room. Today is the school festival! Our class decided to do a maid cap. I'm not supposed to schedule to work until tomorrow, so I have the day off. Hey Fruit, this is your kind of game. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. And I only have Nitro because um, Epic gifted it me. So many things to do, I can't choose. Hmm. Oh, soap. Mr. Mamaki, what is it? You should have tomorrow, right? Yeah. Can you maybe help with the reception desk? We're getting a lot more people than we expected. Of course. I shall meet our information directions like an onion old, cleaver in hand, seated atop the throne, wrought from the skulls of my foes. What the fuck? Thank you. I'll go get a chair. Okay. It's it's not his birthday. Shit, it's his birthday! Shit, play the song, play the song, it is actually his birthday, it says it on Snapchat. We now know his actual birthday, guys. Someone play the song. I did, I did check on Snap. Alright, play the song, guys. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go love sunny weather, it's your birthday We gon' party like it's your birthday We gonna sip a cardi like it's your birthday Cause you know we don't give a fuck that it's your birthday I'm lying about your name, coming in this room Then coming back, you can see mango too Then we got the love sunny weather in this place Cause everyone we hate, you can get away I did, I did Get in his way, I even said all his names <laughs> no, 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 like, I had to, like, put in every name he used. <laughs> Fruit, I hope that was worth it. That's your birthday present. <laughs> I said every name, I said every name, even the one that I said I would never say. <laughs> Happy birthday, Fruit! All right, let's go back to romancing pigeons. Ah, it looks like the crowd is thinning out a little. That was tiring. Are you okay, sir? Fine, just a little. <laughs> At least it held up pretty well until now. I will say this, I will say this. Fruit, I take the piss out of you constantly, but I'm genuinely glad you are in this community. Happy birthday. Um, I would say your real name, but you know, it's basically mine, so... But seriously, I'm glad you're here. You do make me laugh. Even if occasionally I will say quote boy too. <laughs> it's almost time to clear up. You take my- <laughs> Alright, nope. Occasional nonsense, yeah, true. It's almost time to clear up and prepare for classes tomorrow. And so I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep and sleeping ever lower in his chair. And look at the game we're playing on Fruit's birthday. A pigeon dating sim. Ah! I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me? Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Illumi. I hadn't expected to see them together, they're having a threesome. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a statistical deviation visible on the data on students from the past few weeks. I'd hoped to get some insight from you, but it seemed I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry I couldn't help them. Oh. Um, who are we siding with? Are we siding with the creepy doctor or the teacher? We could potentially bang either! Okay. 
It's not very nice, Doctor. What do you want? Hey, so, how, what is it? Um, so I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did, here you go. Here's the workbook, thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like people. Ooh, excuse me, sassy bitch. Mm, no. Mm -mm. That's all for today. Finals are coming up soon, so make sure to study hard. Yay! Hey, Uncle Sam. Oh, what is it? I've been wondering for a while now. What is the pudding you're searching for? Oh, pudding! It's pudding naturally. Cool. Might you not? Know? Oh, might you not? Know? I also took a fine pudding dog. Um. Are we gonna say convenience store or grocery store? And maybe this game only has one song, I have no clue. Grocery? Go! Indeed! Of course, I'm goes at once. Wait, officer! And he's gone. It, 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 this is not a typical one. Go! He's back. Why your wife got like violent? I know you're violent without the tea, but Akusan is like. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester we've been nothing but tests. So, sir, you get it better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. The sun, its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting in an iridescent glory. Our relationship is savage and wild! Okay! Okay! It's the first day of the new year, looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. That's ominous. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. We can have that noise. There are lots of birds here already. It must be nice to have a warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll go buy an amulet and go home. Ryota. Dove? Happy New Year! Here's the many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. Came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Ryota looking kinda cute! <laughs> Fire is like, which birdie am I going for next? Ooh, I wanna dance with some birdie. That, that's why right now. Did you realize that you couldn't say any other H name and then like, use Tyree? Because I'm not gonna respond to that. Um, I'd like one for... Do you want to be fulfilled in school, art or conquest? In art, but didn't we want to like take over the world? So shouldn't we go conquest? If you confirm art, I'll do art. <laughs> and it's your birthday fruit, eat whatever you want. But Cadbury over her shoes. Come on. Harley and Royal Fam, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. For on the evil part of a family instead of being alone and cold in this world. Well, Fruit, you are always welcome here. We just bully you because we can. 
Not because we don't want it to. It's okay. And thank you for the like, Leah. Here you go. Thanks, Friday. You're here all day today? Yup, first day is always busy. Oh well, I was gonna ask if you were going to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Dove. Maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not get a fortune? The next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you later. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year! Oh, hello, sir. Happy New Year. I, I, I wasn't. I was a massive loser. I had no friends. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will! Hmm, which should I take? This one. Java Blessing. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this would be a good year for you, so... Thank you, sir! How long is this game? Happy New Year, everyone! I hope you all had good vacations. I have been What a shocker. <laughs> You're still having sir! Wake up! Okay. Oh! I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. To enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. How to have a boyfriend the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Third term. Rod term three. It still lights out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wait! <laughs> oh, tomorrow's the Gaventine. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Lugamentes is a holiday where you eat beans the more you like. But apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. I I'd rather throw them at the pigeons. Good evening. Here for beans? Yeah, is there a kind you think is particularly good? This year is trying to towards these bean men leaves for races, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Alright, listen in. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the treat ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... What are we buying? I know Violet's gonna say the racing one. I know. And fruit, you've literally been Uncle Fruit for like a long time. Yeah, there we go. I'll do it for her. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today is the day. The preparation is complete. Time to give that beans to that special some birdie. Aqua-san, Aqua-san, wait! How did he know? How did the game know? Quam, what is it? Aqua-san was about to escape into the great outdoors! <laughs> I have something for you! It's Lugamentines, remember? It's already been a year since we met Aqua-san. I'm never sure if we'll get along, but I like you. So please, here. Gosh, that's beautiful beans! Gosh, Aqua-san, is that cool? Aqua-san, I should do it up! Hey Dorian, this is you as a bird, Dorian. He immediately opens the package and begins to devour its contents. Seeing him enjoy them makes me happy too. He, he very much liked them by. Welcome back, Dorian. This shit got real weird. Finals are over. Time to coast along until spring break. Is the track stream doing anything during break? I should go ask. Me no bird, Harley. He was talking about orcs and shit. <laughs> Akusan? Are you in here? There he is! He has a bag of dried beans in a canteen. Is he going hiking? What are you doing? God! As you could see, Alka's Ad is preparing to depart on a great journey! Over spring break? God! No, Alka's Ad is quit school, is going on a quest! What? Alka's you can't do that! It was a miracle for someone with a brain like yours to get into this school in the first place! And if you waste this chance, you'll end up a failure. Cool, because I will not be stunned. Because I is going on a quest to seek the truth pudding. What is the 
true pudding. It's not what I think of as pudding, right? Cool! Pudding was the ambrosia of the gods' miracles and jiggling corporeal form treasures shining with the seven colors of the rainbow. Cool! Those who partake in its vomiting flesh will never experience sadness again. Seven colors of the rainbow? I'm not sure I'd want to eat that. You're serious? You're leaving? Go! Cause that never goes back on his word! Ow. Right, we've got to do it for Vi. I don't care, we've got to go with him just for Vi. Vi needs to know how this ends. I'm coming with you. Go! What? Fair maiden, this quest will be mortally dangerous! I don't care, if the true pudding really exists, I want to find out with you. Go! Uncle Sam knows your abilities well enough, you're not being impediment. So you'll take me with you? Go! Very well, birds of a feather must flock together after all. Yay, let's go! Go! Until we catch the end of the rainbow. And so our great quest began. We ran for years across fields, forests, and mountains, searching over, ever onwards. And now we stand in the ancient, unexplored ruins of Pudding. Cool! Cool! This chest must contain the Pudding itself! Help Oko-san open the lid up! So this is the end? Huh? Ah! It's bright! Cool! Eyes! Eyes! <laughs> huh? There's nothing inside, a fake? What should we do, oko -san? I guess this... oko -san? Clad in feathers of the purest white, his golden blooding steed, shining like the sun itself. <clears throat> At last, he returns to his lost home, guiding the pigeons to the pure and promised land. What's wrong, Okusan? Why are you talking? I am no longer the one called Okusan. I am now Pudding, Lord of Pudding. Akosan was but my avatar on this mortal plane. I am now complete once more. Akosan, what are you? I am grateful to you, fair one. I have at last achieved my goal and the bringer of true pudding. I shall bring about a world of pudding. What is this pudding you're talking about? Come on, tell me! Pudding is hope! It is the future! I shall now become the very concept of pudding itself! That, that's not Newtonian! I have enjoyed our travels together. However, you must live on and forget me. That is life. If you can fulfill the concept of pudding, I shall be satisfied. I shall not live or die. I shall be the concept of ideal pudding, never in wax or wane. There shall be no regret. Farewell, Dove. Oh, Sam! And so the world was engulfed in pudding. According to the fundamental principles of Okusan's the universe, every living being carries pudding in its heart. That was an adventure. Because of the length, I will allow us to date one more birdie. Do you guys want to date the library birdie? It seems like he was the second choice birdie. Pigeonation Inc. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. that voice again.
Oh, a pudding odyssey. And the first one is, we're going again, because we're going to date um, the library pigeon. We're flipping the script. Why? Do you want it over? Uh, it's a vibe. That's a vibe. We still want to see the human portraits. So we can all remember Vi's boo. <laughs> okay. Love you. St. Pigeon Nation, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip this. And we're gonna get to the choices. And we're just gonna date Library Boy, okay? We're gonna speed run it now. Let's just try and date all the pigeons real quick. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just speed run them. We're gonna make choices that we didn't make. I would like to remind everyone that our pigeon face was like the love of Vi's life. Right, so, um, do we wanna date the rich boy? the nice guy in the library, or the doctor. Because we should, well, I might, I'm considering doing all of them. So should we just start at the top? That's the doctor. Legend wants the doctor, we'll go with the doctor. It's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. So the only bits we'll do are the bits that are new. Um, I definitely think we should have some more. more yeah, we're doing a doctor one. I shouldn't keep them waiting, better hurry. Salutation stuff. You, yeah? What's wrong, are you hurt? I you to worry about me, but no, I'm second command here. You are? I would never have guessed. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Anyway, our job is the staff is to check on the medicine and clean up the name normally. I'd do that. Today I've got some stuff to take care of, so... Could you handle this mess for me? Of course. My thanks, Dove, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. Take you somewhere nice in return, and you... You, you flutters out of the door. He just asked me out. Anyway, cleaning. Some of these drugs are a little weird. No matter how you look at it. Is it really an infirmary? Feels more like a human or avian experimentation room. Huh? The desk drawer is open, there are files sticking out. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up. You did say not to go near the desk, but I think I'll... Are we gonna neaten the desk or leave it alone? Also, this shit's real weird, so I'm gonna go off camp for a sec, because I need to be more for this. So, are we tidying the dude's desk? Neat in the desk, okay. Just putting the back, if I was back in order, it should be fine. You again. Did, 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 doctor, when did you? 
I just got back, but oh my, we do have sticky fingers, don't we? That's that's not it. It's Sakazaki asked me to clean. Clean? Oh, I see. You're on the staff now. Yes. Did he say anything about going near the desk? Yes, sir. Please do be more careful next time. Curiosity killed the cat, amongst other things. <laughs> Yes, sir. Let's never do that again. <laughs> it is. Oh, skip. Who are we talking to? I I can't let you pick. I can't let you pick, son. I'm sorry, but you need to pick someone else. Should we go? Okay, so we're gonna date the teachers. This is a dating teacher's room, okay. Hmm, what is it, so? Break isn't over yet. I just wanted to talk to you, sir. Your friends are all here, why not talk with them? Do you not want to talk to me? No, that's not what I meant. You are a funny girl, so. Wait, no, I haven't said anything yet. And so I took a nap with Mr. Nanaki. What do you have some sort of illness? I hope he's okay. Right, I think we need more wisdom this run. I think we were really dumb last time. I'm not getting this at all. Maybe you should review the basics a little more, so. Yes, sir. Why must you do this, cat? So this one's safe decision. All right, what do you want to do? Library, first aid turn? Well, if we're dating the doctor, it's gotta be first aid turn. Salutations, would you come to gaze into my eyes, mon ami? Um, I heard the first aid team was short-handed. Salutations? Alas, spurred on for the sake of medicine, I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you, as you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond me, mon ami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes of the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Oh, they've started, we'll be, we'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. I'm sorry I spent the Swords Festival patching up damaged down to you, yeah. I learned some first aid from him, so it was well spent. But we don't want to date the doctor, that's just what we said. February, gonna go visit our doctor brief. You again, are you ill? Um, not exactly. Why are you here? I came here to... Well, if we're, if we're seducing the doctor, it's gotta be hear your voice. I wanted to hear your voice. My voice? Yeah, you sound like Snuffkin. And? Um, don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? Even stranger than I thought. I'm fascinated. How I'd love to experiment on you. Sadly, I'm busy at present. Please go somewhere else. Okay. We got kicked out. Guess we can tell them interesting is a step in the right direction. Or is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dating the doctor! I'm dating the doctor! He will want us to be smart, let's get smart, okay? I always find myself wondering what the math we learn for is good for. God! <laughs> now we can draw a line perpendicular to the...
Right, we're still gonna rule the world from the shadows. Oh, we'll, we'll let the teacher walk us home. Um, let's get a bit of charisma. We've got some wisdom, let's get some charisma. Ready? Yeah, we, we did the, the main playthrough. No, but, well, you're a girl, Dove. I'm a little worried. That's true, I'll be careful. Raisa has always been overthinking things. Anyway, can't keep you your waiting. Excuse me? Me? Huh? You and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? Sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? Shouldn't have to explain, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I told you to never touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look too good. Um... Dove, there you are, mon ami. Dove can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. I said you would go into the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I hadn't had time to go right through your stuff, Doctor. Right, mon ami? <laughs> He's literally the only bird that comes up as a bird. It sounds like the Doctor suspected you of researching his desk while he was out. I came straight from the classroom to here, so you is obviously lying. I... Do we side with the Doctor and tell the truth, or do we go with you here? You, well, you know, she wants to date the doctor, gotta get the doctor's trust. Get alone with the doctor. I don't even know what's going on yet, I can't just lie through my teeth. No, I was in my classroom until now, Ryota was there too. You is lying. Shit. Well done, Miss So. I'm glad I knew assistant so astute. What a pity you, it seems you were somewhat laughing at the basic truth on I think we'll need to have a long, serious discussion. Well, look. I'm sorry, Miss So, could you leave? This is important. Damn, got kicked out. I got kicked out again. <laughs> Yu's face looked pretty bad. Dr. Iwami and praised me, but what on earth is going on? We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Oh, we can skip this bit. It's the last day of the semester already. I should probably find out if I need to come to school to clean the infirmary at all. Right, this is... I'm, I'm telling you now, guys. We've gone a little bit weird. We've gone a little bit weird in this group. You, you better do this shit too hard, I guess. <laughs> oh, guys, what are we doing with our lives? I'm, <laughs> I'm dating the doctor for... <laughs> For Legend, I dated Okusan for Vi. Like, who's next? Who's next? Oh my god. What? I can't even think what this is called. How to pull boyfriend, guys. We've gone a bit, we've gone a bit insane. <sighs> Cleaning? Well, I'll be here just about every day the building's open, but there isn't any real need for you to come in. There's nothing I could do to help? No, is there anything else? Um... Oh, do we want to ask him about the missing students? Do we want to know about the missing students? This is where we've got to make a choice, guys. Oh, the cat's been screaming this entire room. Wait, I need to see what's on disc.
Yeah, that's Akko san. <laughs> Thank you, legend. I was kind of wondering about what you just said last week. Maybe it'll test the waters. Um, sir, I heard that some students disappear after coming here and... Who told you? No one in particular, everyone's talking about it. It's kind of like a school legend or something. Do you believe in urban legends? What? No, not really. Just it'd be kind of cool if it was true. We shall leave it at that. That it would be cool if you were to disappear. Or something like that. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have expected a straight answer in the first place. I can never tell what the doctor's thinking when I talk to him. Alright, going on the run. Gonna see this girl. Get a job. This time we'll keep the job. This time we'll keep it. Okay, I'm coming back to the screen. Right, so we're keeping the job this time. This is our job. We'll do it. We're good at it. Get hacked. Um, I'm sorry, Raida, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, though. We've got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time I'll be here if you're looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Dove. Sorry, Raida. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking this job from Raida. I wonder who the first customer in my life will be. Y'all got a new girl, a woman? A budgeria steps in the door. The first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cat. I hope for somebody who would raise a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. Welcome! Would you like a bath or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Ushiata. I'll take Kinzaburu. Hey, wait a minute now. Yes, a perfect delayed reaction. something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was with that when I came in? Yeah, we're human. We're human. I wanted to provoke that attitude out of someone with a candy accent since I was a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Don't ride this to see my private property. Y'all remember that now. A new encounter in the little bird deck cage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please, sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? <laughs> shall I even question it? <laughs> we are human, yes. I stayed out in the town for too long and it's late, on my own of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. What? Suddenly I'm surrounded by a bunch of uncapped pigeons. You gotta say pigeonations, don't you? I bet a rich girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little girl going to a fancy school thinks she's so great. Gah. Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart. I can pick Ryuta out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock just, I meant just to look all the same. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, it's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash? They bump up the chest threateningly. Dumb punks! Picking on girls in the park is a way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little- The angry now, my hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own, can I win this? Slap! 
Bam! Thud! The work of a moment. Some birdie fits forward in the blink of an eye. The doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Leaving majestic over the fallen doves is... Azami? That was close, Dove. You sure you should be out this night? Who the fuck are you? Me? Well, I'm a passing takiyaki lady. The dove collapses before the might of Asami can be so, Sorry, Azami, I let my guard down. Easy for a kid to do, life lesson. Always be prepared to pick something to drive or show me that. She's so cool, I think I'm in love. Um, Azami, I'm working on Kakuma here over the summer. Can I treat you to something sometime in the plan? Is that part of your credo, kid? Goodbye, me. Azami takes the front quiet and mouths her just the spirit and puts out into the ground. Heroic entrance and a cool exit. I hope I can be like her when I grow up. Today is the local summer fashion festival. Um, so I'm gonna invite the doctor, because you know. What do you want? Ah! It's the doctor! <laughs> hey! Epic. Is that all? I'm going home. Sorry, I just thought I hadn't thought you'd actually come. I didn't have anything better to do, so I thought it was a 0 0.05 chance of it was still worth trying. You'd invited me on base that chance, but that's fascinating. I think I want to try studying primate ethology next. That aside, what did you want? I wanted to go to the festival with you. Festival? You do me, but I, I don't prescribe to idle superstition. I think 99.5% of the people going there are just for fun, not religion. Very well, I shall accompany you. Change for your left arm, of course. My left arm? Oh, would that pose problems to your acting new to high school last night? I shall accept a lock of your hair instead, then. Um, okay. Yup, here's a pervert! Yippee! Hatch <laughs> so high! <laughs> yeah, Mai fell in love with a pigeon. <laughs> fireworks are marvelous. You mean even you like fireworks, sir? Naturally, such potential, if only I could be so grossly in <laughs> I'm not sure I know what he's thinking about. I enjoyed myself tonight, thank you, so. So he left, a satisfied expression on his face. I'm a little worried he was trying to study me, but I'm glad he had fun. <laughs> the, love of, the love of her life is like losing my shit. Time sure flies when I'm in here. See y'all round, Kinsaburu. Oh, hey Dove. Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, just to me on his way out the door. Here's your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too? See y'all around. I too would like to be grossly incandescent! Good day to you, Rabu. <laughs> I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something dope? It won't be good after staying overnight. Is there any Tanjiro left? Of course. Here you are. Mmm. Tanjiro from a fancy cook is the best. Mmm. By the way, Mr. Ushara? Yes. Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? Chauffeur, apparently. He's generally out all night. He likes to come in to relax before work. A budget area guy who works at night? There are those among us parents who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a careful and reliable driver. Here I am to take him for the type to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, I haven't I met another careful driver recently? The late sun at, uh, in the summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. I think I'll get some udon before I go life council. <gasps> Wait, isn't that the doctor? Good evening, doctor. Ah, it's you. 
Is this any hour for a high school student to be wandering around? Huh? There's some mud on his wing. A little bit of the city's nocturnal entertainment is being admired. Perhaps you should go home. I'm going to ask what he's doing because we're trying to bang the doctor, apparently, legend. Um, sir? Yes? What are you doing out here, sir? Nothing, nothing at all. I was on my way home and I just happened to pass by. But if you were just walking around, how'd you get all muddy? I'd forgotten that primates retain the keen vision in the dark. Informative indeed, thank you, Miss Soak. Yeah, you do need to find it. Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question. Throwing something away. Huh? I was disposing of some things I no longer need. He definitely killed the missing shoes. Legend, you love a serial killer. What can I say? Everyone likes a bad bird! Everybody likes a bad bird! And so he hurried away into the night. Throwing something away? What? Littering is bad, Doctor. Bad. One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Mr. Dove. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you for everything, Mr. Ishiara. I think I'll be back here sometimes as a customer. Y'all retiring already? Mr. Dove is a student, so must return to his studies with the turning of the leaves. Yes. I haven't even finished half of my summer homework. During the last half in one week, I reckon you'll do just fine. It's gonna feel real lonely without you around here, though. These cans of Bora ain't going anywhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cab's business. Everybody who comes in here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city, an island of soothing parakeet and the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. Oh, welcome! Azami, you came! Can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little protege now, can I? When did I become your protege? Okay then. Yay! Have a seat, please! Uh, Azami? Is that you? <gasps> Her expression suddenly hardens. It feels like the calf is gonna burst. It feels like one of those scenes where a retired cop finally faces down his mob boss just before the bu uh, bullets start flying. <laughs> I don't remember the world! Do, do you know each other? You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up tip, sipping tea in a place like this? Left us all behind, have you? Zamia. How do you think I felt these past six months? Just ready to fly at him at any moment. Um, Zami? I don't know what happened between you, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and he got candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? I remember your sexy, rapturous eyes back then. He used to be a living legend, kid, the leader of the toughest bikers around back then. There wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know the name Hasukawa Blaster. Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young then. Every one of us held birdies would have followed you to the end of the earth. We all knew we wouldn't have got there without a single traffic violation. Since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. When you ride, you ride on the inside. You were pretty famous for your strong Galdeo. Riding with a soul as wild as any other gang whenever never breaking the law. You were my hero. But a hero doesn't run away and you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Done with the gang tales, on to the love story. Azami, I can tell that I hurt you, but I'm sorry. But, tension crackles in the air. Damn! Why would you raid this game? Yo, can I have a shout out for Dale? We, we seduced him some pigeons. 
Pies and love. Um, <laughs> Legend's now in love with the Doctor, who potentially is a serial killer. These two got some sorted past. This guy's name isn't Rabu, it's Blaster. He, like, ran this gang. Like, ignore the voices. Hey, guys. Tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Shadow reminds exactly where he was when it all started. So far from Blaster, not. So Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang and real fake names. Suckle a blaster. This entire situation is extremely out of place. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake and you look like Mr. Favor B. M Mr. Favor B. This fits so well. I don't like fat man. All my love to you, Ben, of long ago. Then take it off! Azami subjects Mr. Fababee into a harrowing tirade over his movie. At this rate, Mr. Fababee will be able to get a net word in edgewise. She really stopped loving Mr. Fababee? She bring it up. Did we talk about the scooter or the martial arts? Also guys, if you don't know who Dale is, Dale is great. Uh, it streams a lot. A lot of cool games, a lot of games like I do. Don't think he plays this, but he plays other good stuff. He plays Mario Sunshine, he plays stuff. Is that me? I don't think he's forgotten Mr. Favor being It's all this stuff. I think you think about him all the time, even now. What you talking about, kid? I know it! Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. <gasps> I saw it when we first met. Writing his name on a vehicle like that shows she loves him, I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Favor being right, Azami? Uh, duh. My name isn't. I saw it with my own two eyes when you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. You're pretty sharp for a human kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story, you left without even saying no and I'm still chasing your shadow. Azami, ah. Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks, I've had enough of that. You threw me away. There's nothing you can change that. No, Azami, listen to me. I never threw you away, I, I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads, but would I be a good father? Think about it. And the guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but is the hero of the Midnight Rises really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You. I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I saved money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. A billion said our souls be tested even now. How could so a blaster your eyes look like they did back then? Azami, enough girl talk. Marry me! Of course! Ah, Green Mario house slipper next week? Let's go. Wait, no! It's not over yet! Stop the credits! This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs! Who did that? Who started the ending scene there? Jeez! That's kind of amazing, Mr. Ishida. Yeah, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Mr. Dove. <laughs> But without saying it, that would be cool. Yes, sir. Those who want to see the others. Those who want to be seen. The smoothie mecca for all such people. It's Amelia's Cafe, Pocos Forest. What the heck? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Tea next to chattering birds. Curry rice to die for. Right in the middle of Kobe, just a little ways from Osaka. If you still haven't had your fill of avian company, the zoo is just around the corner. The excellent, fantastic Torini Cafe. 
The birds are all here waiting for you. As of September 2011, please check the website for more recent information. I shall be waiting here in my bird cage for you. <laughs> Carve it into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. I said the game isn't over yet. Alright, are we going home? Are we going to the library? Are we gonna help Mr. Nanapu? We're seducing the doctor, remember? Glorious abode! The cave! The fucking cave we live in! Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I must return to my people with the spoils of war, lay my bloodied sword at the feet of my great king, and celebrate my conquests of all the lands from here to distant Macedonia. Oh, have fun. <laughs> Tell Dr. you have the SPV to, to seduce him. Hey, but like, I'm sub six now. Good afternoon. What is it this time? I found someone's student ID and I thought you might know what to do with it. Isn't that something for the staff room? I bring it all the way here. It was closer and they started printing out tests in there already. I'm not sure I can go in. No need for excuses, young lady. Leave it here and get out, please. Yes, sir. Wait, Miss Soap. Where did you find this? It was on the staircase between the first and second floors on the south side. I see. Oh, it wouldn't do to have someone find me asking questions. I'm indebted to you, Miss So, Ask some questions? Nothing you need to worry about. Please do be careful on your way home. <sighs> what was that all about? He certainly is a stranger now. Right, you need to stop Malin. He's gonna want a smart bitch. Let's go to Matt. He don't care about the gym, he's fat. I don't have something a little more interesting than elected for this doll. I barely keep up even though Mr. Naki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sakuya? Wow. Are you trying to come favor with me? <laughs> Looks happy. Literally worst bird, but we gotta seduce him at some point. We've gotta seduce him at some point. But I bet I could sub six you, my sunshine! Exactly. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna side with you. Obviously, because we're trying to bang the doctor. You should look more closer, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Soap. Even the students disrespect you, pathetic. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did, here you go. Here's the workbook, thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like, teacher, like, people. Listen here, bitch. Ah, today was good, the true real life. I think I'll go home and spend some fulfilling time. Dove! Hi, Raida! You know Mr. Naki lives, right? Yes, but why'd you ask? He left his phone in the staff room. He's really lucky, you know, slowly, but you can catch up with him before he gets home. Just let him make you this. Sure, I'm not doing anything. Thank you! Mr. Naki's phone, now I think about it, I don't know anything about his test life. Is he always as face as he is in school? Probably spends 97% of his time, honestly. Hmm. He's paid for that, his phone case. What's this? It's a photo. Photo of a bed, but I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. <laughs> I like that. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? It doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put it back in the case. Maybe just pretend I didn't see it. Sir? Oh, hello, Soap. Where are you going? You look like you're in a hurry. Sir, you forgot your cell phone. So I did. Thank you for coming after me with it. Not at all. No problem, sir. Um, was there something else? Yeah, I want to ask you about this. Fuck. 
So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to look inside, but something fell out. Fell out? The picture, I... Ah, yes, that. Don't worry about it. After all, it's not something you need to worry about, right? But I'm curious. It was almost completely marked out. Yes. Because I marked it out. He did? I would have believed it from someone else, but since it's him saying so. Well, see you tomorrow. So he left with a farewell as carefree, but we'd just been talking about the weather. He has a side I've never seen, doesn't he? This. 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 Like, after, after it's finished, this. We get our finals back today. Between midterm and practice exams, this whole semester we've been knocking the tests. So, sir? You ranked top of the year this time, well done. It's because you're so smart. It's your maths. What? She beat you by two points, sugar honey. Oh well. Grrr. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! And Dayako son, can you best boy? <laughs> Dale, I'll genuinely go on the disc and you'll see. You'll see the person. Bob White Blessing. Happy New Year, everyone. Okay, um, what do you think he'll like? Well, he's a bit creepy, so let's go bitter. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today is the day. The preparation is complete. Time to give that feed to that special somebody. Sir, Mr. Nanaki. We are we dated the wrong person! Legend, I'm sorry! You're back in the teacher instead of the doctor! You wanna give them to me? Are you sure that's okay? Go off someone else? No, sir, I wanted to give them to you, sir. I don't know what kind of thing you like to eat, so I wasn't sure what you get. I get it, but not some terrible ground. Kind of girl with me, I've had good in moments. Please take this down. You're good. I'm hoping that you class next time, sir. I hope. <gasps> so this is important, you have to listen, sir. Was that on purpose? It was on purpose, wasn't it? <laughs> he forced himself into being our soulmate. <laughs> Tess is almost over in a few short days, I'll no longer be a sophomore. There's one thing I've left to do, one thing I need to do. Hey, so? What is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. It's about your career plan. Don't worry, you're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months yet. No, sir, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, please do. I like you. Is that all right? You do see the strangest thing, sir. I like you too. You're kind, smart, you work hard. I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. Listen, I'm no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, we ended up banging the teacher. I fucked up. No longer able to love another teacher? What does he mean? You saw it, remember? You saw what, sir? The photo? Yes, sir, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I knew you wouldn't lie. First, I should tell you. That was a photo of the most important bird in my life. Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to come in between. I thought we could live through anything, just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than anybody else in the world. But one day I looked around and I was alone. I've changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. I can never forget. I never forget our life, our promises. I'm not sure how to say this. As I look at the photo every day, I realize I couldn't tell anymore. Couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face or if I felt hatred. I, I think losing someone dear is painful for all of us. After a while, I, I couldn't stand to see it anymore. So you, that's right. But even as I tried to be at some part of me, didn't want to. You see now, right? Why I don't want to love again. But now the love I felt has soared into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's too sad. You don't agree so? I love your kindness, sir. When I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder, is there a better way? Did you just say for burden? Get out. I wonder. By the way, one more thing I should tell you. That photo, it's gone now. I burned it. Huh? When you saw it, it made me think of some things again. I never wanted to show it anyone, so I was rather shaken. Both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and... 
neither of us wanted to wait for the other to learn. So I had to look through that photo where I thought it was there. But I had to put it away. So I burned it. So I have an apology for defacing it right now. She remembered the best beautiful face I knew in a photo covered in scribbles. Oh. So just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. That doesn't have anything to do with it. But I understand that you don't want to forget her, sir. So. I have an idea, so. Like waiting here at school forever. If after you've grown up, you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. Sir, so that's... Don't like to make idle promises, but I'm sure you'll grow up into a wonderful person, so... Let's wait until then. Yes, sir. That's grooming. Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here, that will be another story. I don't know what he'll say to me on the day, I don't know what I'll feel or what he will feel, but right now, I'm truly happy. That's genuinely grooming. We've now got to figure out how to fuck the doctor. Like, I can't believe he tried to fuck the doctor and couldn't. Fuck you. Dale. What may come? Alright, let's, let's go again. Doctor. Okasan ending. Yeah, well, he does literally become Lord Puddy. Lord of the Pudding and then make the entire place. Yes, pigeons, maybe. Pigeons. It's, it's exactly as it sounds. <laughs> that's what that's what our characters be called. <laughs> Alright, we've, we've got to find out how to get the doctor. Clearly we've got to reject the other dude to get the doctor. Speedrunning it now, guys. Since the first playthrough, we're now speedrunning. Because we know what's going to happen, it's just who we end up with. Love of love of Vi's life. The love of Vi's life. <laughs> This is who Violet is in love with. <laughs> Everyone else comes up as a human, except for the love of Violet's life. It's just a giant bitch. <laughs> he beats us up at one point. Right, did we go through the doctor's desk? I think he'll like us being charismatic. Oh, no worries. See you in a bit, Dave. Right, are we going through his desk? Tell me if we're going through the desk. <laughs> and strong too, wowie. And fast. And fast. I love strong guys, what can I say? <laughs> but it's literally Dorian. <laughs> Alright guys, so we go through the desk, we're trying to seduce the doctor. He wouldn't, like, he didn't seem happy that we went through his desk. So maybe we shouldn't. I'm gonna make an executive decision. I'm a little curious, but he did say not to go near the desk. I better leave it alone. The doctor may show up and turn me into a dove salami. Alright, we shouldn't speak to Kazuaki. Let's speak to... You know, just this once, let's do it for Vi. I wonder what Okasan went. I haven't seen him since he stopped here. Oh, God! 
not in. The footage is not in. Ah! It's missing. Did you bring it to eat for lunch? God, no. How could I believe that wonderful money could be found on hikes? <laughs> is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? God, how could I have allowed Sir Joseph for the pudding? <laughs> that is the love in my life. Yeah, he's gonna like. He's gonna like some charismatic. Yeah, definitely, it, like, definitely this doctor's gonna like being charismatic. First aid time. Notice us. Like he did and then we fucked it. So we noticed us and then we fucked it. We want to be charismatic as heck. Oh, are these the ones that we could like actually end up with? So that's what these sheets say. That's why every, like, okay, okay, okay. It's why we only saw Akrasans in the first one. These ones tell us if we're close. It says what paths we're on. No. No, thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Hey, Matthew, man, why would you come back? When it's this. Wasn't the Keymania IIDX public preset starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. We haven't been to the arcade yet. Number one lurker. Listen, listen. We're gonna end up with Yuya next, okay? Yuya's next. Can't miss a date with a pigeon, like. We're trying to seduce this boy. We set this bitch up with a Rex. I thought we could do so, but we can't. No job. We're inviting Shu, he has a great time because we're great. We're like the best. We're the best human. Who's my favorite? I'll tell you at the end. I'll tell you at the end. Nah, 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 nah. We're going for it. Um, go to my glorious mode. Oh. Once we've done them all, Have a bit more charisma. You know. He likes a charismatic bitch. Oh! Invite him to lunch. Ah! Did I just lose him? Where did he go? 
There aren't even that many stands up here and there's nothing in Hamlet about going outside the main area. The only thing back here is the incinerator. Who goes there? We got a new scene with Dr. Shu. This is good news. D -d Doctor? I was following him up until a minute ago and now he's behind me. Oh, it's you. Stalking is a bad habit, young lady. No, I wasn't. I was just wondering what you were doing. It's a crime to walk around one's own school. But there's nothing back here. It's the incinerator. Why? I was placed in charge of science club's activities today. I just came back to get rid of some things that were left over. I needed things. Things? My hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me to change the subject. Alright, oh, sir. Would you like to walk around together? I heard the haunted houses. No, thank you. You see, let me invite finishing you. Finish inviting you before you refuse. Instead, I'm supervising the science club, so I do not have time for fraternization. Okay. So I return to the calf skirt off by his own offside in my own survival instinct. So dumb. If only I could tell if she plans her actions, I could deal with her fairly easily. I'm in trouble. Okay. Right, so we, we're going to support Stu, because, you know, we're trying to bang the doctor. What? Don't say that! Who is it? I like you, sir. Is that so? What a coincidence, I think I'm starting to like you too. Though I can't say I thought much of you at first. He likes me? Is this good or bad? My heart's racing, I can't tell if this is love or fear for my life. I wonder where you, you went. Bye, you. We, we, we never do see you here again. It's really nice handwriting. Let's see what's in here. There's a big box and a small box. Inside the small box is a quill pen. It's a beautiful, a real white bird feather. Is he really giving it to me? It looks pricey. The big one is, huh? Looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. He's still warm. He must have had it delivered in a hurry. Thank you, doctor. Yum. He just gave me the kid. He just gave me Yuya to eat. He just gave me Yuya to eat. I'm telling you. I just happen to be passing by, but there's nothing else here. Why would you be? Did a crowd to end aimlessly wander the city in the morning? No, I was just wondering. Did a crowd all at once? She said, there's nothing else around here. I must have noticed one or two with her. Well, then goodbye, Miss Soap. Happy New Year, creepy doctor man. Why does she want to bang the guy she constantly calls creepy? Legend asks about questions. Right? He bitter? Give him a bit of one. I do not recall somebody used to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged in a sweeping brace with a stack of papers at his desk. He didn't even look at me, and from his voice, he wanted me to leave. Do you know what day it is, doctor? February 3rd. Glances up at the calendar above his desk and returns to his paper. The anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Really? Of course, test your babies have been successfully grown before then. So what did you want? Were you hoping I would transfer you to an avian ovum? No. I'd have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about bird eggs in the school infirmary. It's no McKenna's big side, you be into the boy you like, so here. Are you giving these to me? They look just like normal beans. The fact I'm giving them to you is a day that matters. Your words are meaningless babble. Perhaps I simply cannot perceive the true meaning very well I'll take them from here and take it. I'm busy. Okay. Wait, is that his ending? Doctor's not here yet. The infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. The orderly rows of men. The stinks in here is coming from back behind the curtain. I'm scared. The sheets are stained a brilliant red, and the foot of the bed sits a wash band up to liquid pink, with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers on the bottom. The blood on the bed is still wet. This, this is, 
The students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. Yuya! That mysterious smile the doctor gave when I asked him. I, I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone. I need to report it to the police. Anyway, I need to get away. I need to get out before I... You're early today, Miss So. You're rather pale here where they can lie down. Doctor? This blood? Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student. I hadn't cleaned up yet for the paint in my mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He, he. The door's locked. Going home so soon. It won't open. Indeed it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over like you. The doctor you? You really have been cutting up people and using them for your experimentations. Do you really need to ask that? Sure, you even helped me. Helped you? I would never. Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. You brought back the idea card of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out then. We can't leave like things like that lying around, can we? And Yuya, what did you do to Yuya? Oh, I thought you figured that out already. He's in here, Miss Soap. In here. The doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. I told you! I told you! Told you! The... The big one is, huh? Looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's still warm. Must have had it delivered in a hurry. Told you! Of course, certainly speaking, he's long since been digested and sold into your body, so we don't really doubt exactly where he is right now. I told him who, like, I told him he was. That can't be, no, no. How, how did he taste? I was worried he was like, a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. Wouldn't, simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That was you, yeah? Ah, that was a beautiful face, Miss So. I long so dear to please see that face. You could tell from the start I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again, very assertively. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Is that it? You knew I planned to kill you and you came here anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No, I want to say but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside I love the doctor. I'm afraid that I only room for only one love in my life. And that is research. But it would be cool. <laughs> cruel to ignore your earnestness. So I put much thought into how I might reward you. Cutting you up would be a terrible pity and I think I want to keep you by my side forever. He's gonna kill me, I know he's gonna kill me, so why can't I move? So this is what I decided. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored, of course. I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you through it thoroughly. Don't worry, you won't go to waste. I'll make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Suddenly he has a cleaver in his left wing. You have chased after death's alone most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak to him. For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, my floor, my eyes rolling wildly, the world twists, soaked in red, and so my life came to an end. Legend, you got us murdered. Like, actually fucking murdered. I knew I should have gone up when I first woke up. It holier than it looks, yes. Who's there? Eek! Good. Is that thing you Wait, I got killed? The fuck did I get killed for? I was with you, yeah. I don't quite know what's going on, but I don't like the look on the doctor's face. That's right, you are now having a sexy and luxurious sunbath in the courtyard up until a few minutes ago. Sexy and luxurious it was indeed, old doctor. Very well, I'll have to wait for more solid evidence. Please do be careful. Of course, doctor. You are what? Forgive me, but I can't explain right now, but one day. And he's gone. What was that supposed to mean? Is something really happening in this environment? What did you notice? Uh, 
castle. Um, dating pigeons? Salutations, Dove. I'm honoured to ask to your escort tonight, my love. Oh, you, yes, sorry. Did I keep you waiting? Don't worry about it. A gentleman never keeps a lady waiting, so I always show up half an hour early. That's pretty early. Shall we go, mon ami? Ah! No! A successful festival indeed. Take my hand, Dove. Let's the crowd separate us. Huh? And tell me you're a hand-holding virgin. But I'll never. You don't want to invite me, okay? Okay. His feathers are soft. Yeah, we, we're gonna end up banging you, yeah. He is easy lay. That was fun, Dove. Where do you live? I'll walk you home. Um, you, yeah? What is it? Do you want to play some more? The diet is yet young and dangerous games are your desire. I'll come for you. It's not what I meant. I wanted to ask you something. Of course, my height and weight are classified information, so I can't tell you those. Why did you lie to the doctor? You know what I mean? I know. She said she was going to the restroom so I could go ahead, only she got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go uh, rooting through your stuff. Came straight for cleaning my classroom. I hadn't seen you before I went to the event. You told the doctor we'd been together. Why? That was a month ago now. I was hoping my obligation to explain had lapsed. You know, I was lying, so why did you play along? Because the doctor looked mad. If it looked if I didn't help you, he was going to do something. Okay, I'm asking questions here. Sorry, man and me, your hunter gathering sticks are far too much for me, but yes, if you hadn't caught me back then, I'd probably be in love and sit back in the freezer. That's not funny. Indeed, it isn't funny at all, and it's not a joke. <laughs> Please give me a straight answer, Yuya. Yeah. It was a straight answer, I'm always straight. Well, almost always, but I meant. Dove, could you do me a favour? What now? You're trying to avoid the question again. Yeah. Listen, I'll only say this once. What's going on? His usual detached air is gone, he's looking around almost nervously. I'm sorry, man of me. Looks like we better split up. Can you get home all right by yourself? Of course I am. Good girl. Your heart waves as soon as we reach the intersection. I'll head into an alleyway, go straight home, don't look back. The night roads are laden with traps, be careful. I do know that. Yes. Yes. Um, I know. It's, it's been sent to me. It has been sent to me. Is this a new one or is it the same one? Yeah, no, you know, I know, I saw that. That's why I literally, like, literally, why is this game about seducing birds? You told me not to look back, but a gunshot. <laughs> Later that night, he sent me an email. We're speed running it, BB. It's chill. It's chill. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just birds, you know. Later that night, he sent me an email. Did you make it home in one piece? I'll be visiting your dreams when I'm used to sleep well. Message birds on the trees, the potential of Felton Manelli. Are you alright, Yuya? It really is a mysterious bird, but I assume that his existence is one of seven mysteries at St. Peter Nations. Did you see my. <laughs> Go to general. The late sunset in summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. I think I'll get some udon and go home before I get life cancelled. Wait, is that Yuya? He's rummaging around in a garbage can. Yeah, what are you doing? Have you fallen so far? Mongrel? Good evening, mon ami. You sound rather like a certain someone. I, I can't believe you need to fish around in trash cans for food, you yeah. Please don't misunderstand, mon ami. I was looking for something. Sadly, no clues were to be found in this barrel. Clues? What is he talking about? Let's keep this a secret from Sakiyaka, shall we? I'd hate for him to have new names for me when school starts up again. Mr. Garbage Disposal. Something like that. I'd like to escort you home, Monami, but unfortunately I'm somewhat busy and won't leave you alright on your own. And together I can always find her way home. Indeed, I do, Monami. The smell of garbage surrounding him fades as he strides off in the night, but the myst mystery don't want to look in. Ah, no fur! You have all of this and we're stuck in a classroom? I think we've already lost in the location, Monami. Oh, nice suit, bro. Yuya! Kind of you to come and see me. Wait, no? Welcome back, my lady. Please come this way. Oh, he does look good. I think I'm blushing. 
You're not fooling anyone here. You say that to everybody, right? It's my duty for today. Please forgive me, my lady. Jeez. What's your class doing, mon ami? A maid cafe? Well, well, I suppose that makes us rivals. You've certainly done a good job of infiltrating our base, I must say. Maids versus butler, battle of the school ground. I think it's a bit much. And on duty today, you're taking a break. I'm on duty tomorrow. I see, in that case, I shall come to witness your maidery. I will, of course, ask for you. Wait for your turn, master. Did she just call him master? We're getting brand new cleaning supplies for the infirmary today. It doesn't seem like a particular dirty room. For some reason, they always run out really quickly. You went ahead, I can't keep him waiting. Blast off at the speed of light to the maintenance office and beyond. Huh? You just talking with the janitor, Mr. Wan. I hadn't experienced Mr. Wan, the quiet, flippish bird with the cult following to get along with the infamous stud muffin Sakasi Ya Yeah, you are. You are. You are. But I don't think I'll, you'll find any evidence. Right, I'll check the others. Yuya! Salutations, mon ami. I was waiting for you. Here, take this heavy stuff. You take the broom. That is it, then? Mr. Wan retreats to his lair with an unsociable expression. Mr. Wan seems kind of like a loner. I wonder if it's part of the job description. He's a nice fellow once you get to know him. I think his taciturn nature does him a great injustice, personally. You're friends with him? I do you have a lot of opportunities to talk to him? Yes. It was only to be expected. He starts carrying the supplies down the hall, ending the conversation. So now I feel like he doesn't want to talk about it. Hmm. Oh. What if he has already decided on his? Maybe I'll go ask him for some advice. <laughs> you could be the next Summoning Soul video. Oh my god. Sakasaki. Hey, did Saki Saki come in this morning? Yeah, he said this morning, he didn't know where he went. He doesn't think he had 10 claps. He's never been particularly serious, no. He isn't even here all the time. I think he's planning to go to the university, I think. I never realised. If he's still here, he's probably in the infirmary of the shop. I'll go to the shop first. We didn't have a infirmary duty today. My hunter gathering is just telling me he's there. Yuya! Hello, mon ami, you staff me. Easier than expected. He's acting kind of weird. He isn't shopping for you, is he? Are you busy right now? I wanted to talk to you. Oh, sure. Here. Ah! He takes my hand and runs from the store. What are you doing? Why did you drag me into this empty hallway? Are you excited? No! Oh well. Why did you come and talk to me, Mon ami? Are you drawn to my sexy aura? No, I just wanted to talk to you at career plans and stuff. I've always been a diligent girl, Doug, you know. Hanging around me is dangerous, so you won't get off with just a scratch. What do you mean? Well, you might get... Shot, knife, dismembered, drowned, buried alive, that sort of thing. I don't know what you're talking about, Yuya. Maddie, I don't think the guy you, you picked is that good. Don't think too hard, I mean exactly what I said. I'm gonna disappear from the school soon, one of me. No, it isn't easy, but you should forget about me, that'll be for the best. His tone of voice is as carefree as ever, but his eyes are dead serious, I don't think he's joking. Kind of hard to swallow, isn't it? How about this? I'll tell you something, he's a high gift. You know the rumors that missing students end up as meat in the cafeteria and cold pants in the shop? Well, why do you think I'm so forward, one of me? And why do you think I work in the infirmary with an honest, happy life? How do you? You in your way! Not exactly, no, I was looking for someone, but I seem to have lost sight of them. You're just as suspicious as always, you, yeah? But I found you instead, so I can't say this was a wild goose chase, goose chase one of me. I shall go. Okay. No one seemed to have gone badly first. It's fine, but the last I cannot stay where I am. The best men always have a mystery of 2000 after all. Do you need me for something? Can we meet up for a bit, please? I'll only ask this one. Hey, Epic, I'm not trying to date the bird. These guys want to fuck the birds. Once in a lifetime request, in other words, really. A once in a lifetime. That's plenty more time than the same lifetime request. Well, that sounds important. I can't exactly say no now, can I? Should we meet in the usual place for the party tonight? Say, so, okay. Yuya, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Time spent waiting for a lady is magically replaceable time. Pay no mind, mon ami. Unfortunately, I do not have much time left for today. Forgive me my lack of romance, but may I ask what you wanted to meet with me for? Oh yes, it's Lim it 
Look at my teens. I wanted to give you this. You wanted to give me beans, you know what I mean? Yes. How wonderful. I'm glad I risked my life to come here. Thought maybe your mature manly spirit would like these. Bit of black beans. Thank you, you know what I mean? I've loved these since I was this child. <laughs> yeah, it is. Had I told you that? No, but my hunter gathering instincts never fail. <laughs> I see. I wonder if we are truly bound by fate. I remember. This gives me hope. Caffeine to carry me through the darkest of nights. I do want to meet. So we disappeared into the night. I can't say I have any more of an idea what he's up to than I ever do. But I'm glad he liked the beans. I haven't seen you yet since New Year's. Apparently, he hasn't been to school all semester. There are rumors that he dropped out. Could that really be true? I feel like a hole has opened up in my heart. I think I'll go drown my sorrow in arcade games. And um, this, this. It is. Wait, isn't that? Yuya! Mon ami! You look like you're doing pretty well. I have some stuff to do. Are you... Hey, wait! Dove, could you not grab me so tightly? Yuya, is your wing broke? Look out! A gunshot? Opening fire on a lady? Such insufferable cads they are this way, mon ami. Run! Yuya, what's going on? Please explain yourself. What are you? Why are people trying to kill you? Are you a wanted man? I suppose I can't really say you're not involved in it, but can I? It's time I explain. Do you know of the Hawk Party and the Duck Party, mon ami? Political factions? Right, they were names used in human politics, but now they carry a different meaning. The Duck Party believes we should live peacefully with the remaining humans, while the Hawk Party believes we should exterminate them to make room to the birds. St. Pigeonations is actually a secret experimental institute created by the Hawks. What? Of course, it's not like the entire faculty is working with them. There's only one Hawk agent actually working with them. By contrast, I was dispatched by the doves to infiltrate the school and investigate the experiments. You said, I'm a wanted man. I'm proud to live up to that title. I'm an expert at clandestine information retrieval and information is valuable. Imagine you already realised where I was acting to help me in the inventory. Because the whole agent is... Dr. Inoni. Correct. Oh, I mean, there's no doubt an assumed name is a research of the whole part and been developing anti human biological weapons during the data collected during the physical exam uh, examinations. Remember when we bumped into each other at school shop? Yes, I think we. I'd investigated where the product sold, where it come from. I found DNA samples and the kind of the sampling from the missing humans. Same goes for much of the poultry in the cafeteria. That's horrible. The doctor was out to exterminate humans. Why would he never do a thing to me? just my interpretation, but I don't think he holds any political ideas. He can only trust us in his own knowledge and his own power to expand that knowledge. Something like a mad scientist, maybe. Exactly. I suppose it never occurred to him to target to you. As you were working for him, I think he was more interested in observing your actions with the students. I wanted to reveal the Hulk's involvement in school, but in the end, I proved it too much for me alone. Now where I can no longer live in the open, I plan to leave the city tonight. But I can't leave just yet. I don't know if I can just leave you here, Doc. You, yeah. You may have already remarked one of my associates, and if that is the case, then leaving you alone would be dangerous. Sorry I got you involved in this, mon ami. Hardly, I was the one who approached you. You don't need to apologise. You're such a nice girl, thank you. We'll let you decide. you want to come with me into the world of darkness, or would you rather live a normal life? Of course, if you want to stay, I'll assign an agent to protect you. I want to... Well, we're going to go with him, because, you know, that's what Maddie wanted. I want to go with you! Are you sure? You may be putting your life at risk. Don't make me say it twice. Ah, somehow I was hoping you'd say that. I haven't been as happy for a long time. Something more keeping us here. Let's go, mon ami. Yeah, there's a whole last story. So I followed you into the world of darkness. Sometime in the future, a pair of spies on an endless battle for justice behind the frail curtain society will pass into legend. That is another story. Alright. We did it. Let's go bang and gal. <laughs> Dove. 
so. Cole, Cole, she's not here. The funny she's not here. Ah, it's missing. Did you bring him for lunch? Cole, no. Office have money, so the little pudding could be fat on hikes. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Cole, I'm now search elsewhere for pudding. Familiar voice indeed. Cole, this is not pudding! I know you said, so come on, let's eat outside. We can't house around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. <laughs> the sun saw the pudding here and went nuts. I started him going on a rampage, but I'll cut it out, Alka-san! <laughs> come on, release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! Help me, Dove! Nah, let him just go for it. Let's, let's, he can still destroy it. <laughs> let him go, don't you realize he's a fan tail? Eh? Call science, fool boy! Hello, motherfucker. Once freed, Okasan oh, rampages for a while and comes over the sad by expression. Call! Akasan likes you, gentle maid, I'm afraid pudding cannot be forgiven. Oh, I'm so sorry. That sounds awful. And <laughs> you, you heard, um, Vi's love of the, her life. Very well, Sam. In the forest, and me in Tatara village, I love for you to carry me away on your path. Who the hell is Yakul? <laughs> Why is a school this famous even stingier with its air conditioning than a public school anyway? Dove! Ryuda? We have lunch here, I was about to go to the cafe, wanna come with me? Okay. I heard they expanded the menu and I want to try it. They have some massacred ramen right now. Oh, okay. Is it like half dead fried rice? Probably, and okay. What, what's going on? I turn around and I see a short dove standing behind me, his chest stained deep red. You are the one who called forth this disaster, the one who invoked the broad terrace of the blue sky. I have no idea. The, the blood, you're bleeding. My chest, you are. Ryuta. I don't think he understands Japanese. We have to get him to the infirmary. No worries, Danny. Thank you for all your help. Oh, don't worry. Look closely. He isn't hurt at all. What, with the blood? He's the Luzon from the class next to ours. The plumber just looks like that. What, really? Correct. I am Hagir Angel, the fallen servant of God, stained with the blood of sin. Yo! This impressively upholstered bird is Higir Angel. He's in the class next to ours, so he must be another sophomore. It's an odd name. I wonder if he came overseas like Sakia. His Japanese is kind of strange too. Yeah, it turns out he was a spy. Yeah, he was a secret agent. We ran away with him. Ah, the corruption spreads faster than I expected. <laughs> I had hoped to find it before it came this far. Sleeping servant of the heavens. Yes. He is talking to me right. Time is slipping by, just when drawers and the door, I must find the truth of the light of the rain. Gah! I must last a little longer and be silent and the breast. You are hurt, aren't you? Do not touch me. The well, either blue of the blue sky, fate decrees we shall meet again. He's gone. What's that about? You picked up a weird one, Dove. Hmm, let's go eat. It's too hot, I'm gonna melt. Pathetic, so as expected of a mere mammal. Aren't you uncomfortable too? I thought Dove's third bail badly in the heat. Now your weakness show in front of others is a mark of the vulgar class. Hmm, maybe I should take a leaf out of your book. The red eye of the demon led me here, you must have 
summon me once more, pass of the blue sky. Him again. Who is this? I think he's named Angel. He's the classic centric next door. Hmm, another peasant. None of you have the right to even be in this school. Go back to the Philippines and bang some coconuts together, why don't you? Luzon bleeding hearts are from the Philippines. That would be why they're called Luzon bleeding hearts. The Philippines have bananas, right? Now I want to call them banana man. Incidentally, Sakuya is about as unhinged as Angel, so maybe they should be friends. I have no bad business with you, hallowed magician of white. Apostle of the blue sky. Yes? Can you not remember who I am? Um... A fallen angel. Could you be a fallen angel escaped from the demonic prison of Judica? Have you woken at last, Apostle Yudabu? Little time left, you must decide. Will you cross swords me on a promised ground or... No, not now. Angel! Flies away down the corridor in spite of my protest. What a busy bird. He is a busy bird. Okay, so we go into the library. Hello, Angel. He appears like the crimson star descending from the heavens. The blue of blue sky, I'm about to open a gate to another world. What will you do? Gate to the world, you mean? He says intently towards the end of the hallway. The infirmary? A mere disguise, little blue. I sense a powerful evil magic inside. No doubt the tree of light, the roof has taken root within. Left alone, it was soon swallowed the entire school. You must stop it now. I wonder how Dr. Romame would react to an eccentric Filipino breaking down his door. Um. The time has not yet come. Comes on the angel of Judica. Is that true, Adobu? Indeed, my demonic red eye feels no murderous aura. Perhaps it would be wise to wait and observe for a while. It's probably a good idea. The doctor doesn't take kindly to rough housing, I think. Hey, Winter, don't ask! And Gal leaves, satisfied. Don't ask. Don't ask. Harley would not date a bird. Okay, we're going running. So this bit's still the same. We're not getting murdered today. Angel, let's go! Oh yeah, people do that all the time, Scott. Just a bit in this. The appointed time and place, but Angel is nowhere to be seen. He said he'd come, but is he going to stand me up anyway? Lo? This is just the right time, isn't it? Is my phone clocked off? Del Blue! Hmm, maybe I should go ahead by myself. Eh, Del Blue! What? I can hear him, but where is he? Angel, is that you? I am here, Idablu. A wild Angel appeared. Why is the Pokemon thing again? Ah, you scared me! Shh. He frantically glances about. A lower demon of Baal, I can still feel its presence. It lurks nearby, Idablu. Fighting evil again, Angel? You have, but just awakened. It is too soon to bring you into battle. Take this. Hands me. A charm? This will protect you from the forces of witchcraft, but we should leave this place nevertheless. You're right. Come on, let's go to the festival. I can call the hack of a looking at my parents' email for him. He's still as high strung as a violin. Maybe he's not used to crowds. Is this your first time coming to a summer festival, now? I was born beneath the star of solitude, and I'm not allowed these pleasures. Don't tell me you don't have any friends. An Aviskella of chaos. Why here? Why now? He's staring actually at Stan selling cheap toys and trinkets. Um, that looks like a normal boot to me. When the chaotic wings of the reaper appear on this earth, the echoes of the end shall be heard across the land. I don't believe you must undergo training. It is easy to lose track of your exercise regime during the end end vacation. So Angel and I enjoyed the festival in our own special way. Is intentional, really? I didn't know that. Ah, oh, I knew I should have gotten up. Yeah! What's going on? Yeah! You don't blue. Seek you to torture the savant of God. You must not speak of the name of angels. You must not sing songs about the names of angels. You must not say it. Pam Pam. Perhaps my wish was not granted. Oh no, no, I'm sad. Accept the contract offered to you, fool. Not forgotten. Angel of fire drove from the world and imprisoned me in the eternal state of Iris. You're saying you'll join me. 
You are not alone, Angel. Yes! Very well, we shall see the contract on his ground, you double. Being is eternal. Angel scribbles some kind of indecipherable symbol and script on the ID card and smiles at him. There shall be proof of our alliance. Keep it with you. Eh? Why do I have to carry this around for you? Aw, so cool. And right, so are we banging the angel or we've got another ending where something crazy is going to happen to us? Oh no, I forgot my recorder. Finally being drawn in by my sexy and gradual style. Exactly, your beautiful Alaya stands out from far, drawing me ever nearer, like a guiding Polaris smelling boot on. Is that what I came here to talk to you about? Yuya lifts Angle up by the nape of his neck and holds him out towards me. What are you two doing together? Do not fear, Elder Blue, this man is not our foe. And um, what exactly? I was going to clean up the infirmary and... Ah, the demon blight grows stronger with each passing day. When will the time for action come? Hey, you. What's up? You be a friend of darkness, sport from the pits of Erebus? I may be a creature of the night, but I wouldn't exactly call myself a friend now. My proper title would be Midnight Rose, or something like that. I see it now in Apostle Violet Rose. Forgive my suspicion, the demon blight behind every corner of that. Apostle Violet Rose sounds like a dashing mass hero in some Shigeru manga. Suits me just fine. But aside, I, aside, I advise you not to go in there if you value your life. Warnings for those who follow the violet road are heeded well by fools and dead men. The doctor works here at all night sometimes. Concentration is admirable, but it does take a toll on his patients. So I went to barge your mind in the middle of something well. Let's just say it'd be a pity if that mark on your chest got any larger if you know what I mean. But the dark magician be so cool. You seal him away immediately. No, stop, I told you, man, going in there is suicide. And he kept trying to go in anyway, so I picked him up and I hauled him away. Okay? I wouldn't call it okay, you, uh... Why are you bringing him to me? He said you were his friend. I thought it would be wise to report these discoveries to you, Dobu. Anyway, that's what it was all about. I'll let you take him from here, one of me. <laughs> I'm glad. You, you wait. Why do I have to babysit Angel? Mm. Well, let's go get lunch, Angel. I, I don't mind, but are you sure? Being seen with me might put your very soul at risk, Olivia. Whatever, break is almost over, so let's hurry. Okay, we're going for lunch with him. I think we may just get get the creeper one. It is staying many a day with gore, free friend and foe alike. Sure, it's not just that you're careless and end up stabbing yourself a lot? My scarlet breast stirs, no. Why now? I shall leave this to you, Adobu. I must go. Do what you must. Pencil angel, would you look at? Nimbly leaps over a stack of books and runs off into the courtyard. He's that kid who ran like that. He is the kid who ran like that. You guys know the kid that I mean. Lunch is good today, you can always. Ah! Quickening. The demon spores swarm with alarming intensity that come from that. So can that still going on about the infirmary, huh? I have told you that this is merely a facade, E.W., the tree of light roofer. Yes, it is the incubator of the absolute darkness. It makes even less sense why a fallen angel is stressing over an infirmary anyway. The entire school will be swallowed by the demon spores if we do not act. That's half of my crimson breast would run wild once more. I might even you. I'm not sure why, but it seems it's planning to hurt me. Scum, vagabond, little do you know I'm just so family traditions to kill first and ask questions later. But the root of all evil, the dark sorcerer, is not here at present. I must plan my attack, but it's easy until then. That in return to his classroom. Looks like an only friend to be is something really gonna happen. Well, there is people being killed in there, so like, yeah, kind of. We have found that today between midterm and perhaps the exams of the whole semester do not be the test. There's no one here. I could have sworn I heard the doorbell. Maybe it was a prank. This little bag at my feet with a note to Udo Blue, Apostle of the Heavens. It must be from Angel, a side, a crucifix, and a letter. Let's see. Judgment draws near. Let us meet at the promised place, the Crimson Angel of Judica. If you're going to ask me out. Can you at least say when and where? Fair. 
probably Naruto running to the park. Happy New Year, but it's raining. Oh well. I'd go to the shrine, but the weather makes the wilderness dangerous and if I sleep, the cook could go instead. Won't be able to send out cards in the rain either, little sticks. Yeah, literally. <laughs> okay, I, black beans are doing well for us. And gals in class 2 too. Eh? Angle pulls me to the room and runs in the hallway as if fleeing from something. Do not call me on me in that room, either but for a terrible evil lurks within. Well, not terrible, but to risk I could be cursed of others to learn of our connection. The words the other boys in the class would make fun of me for having a girlfriend. Sorry, Angel, I wasn't thinking. Suga Mentines today, do you want my beans? These are... Change comes over him. Ha! Ah, Black Bean Donna! What's going on? Get out! This is my body! I won't let you use it as you please! These beans are evil, Edel Blue of the blue sky. They look like normal black beans to me. Indeed, have no fear, I shall destroy them now. He opens the package and dumps the contents on his beak. Are you okay? How do I hang like a pigeon? Don't worry, I'll escape when you can. Maybe he's a little young for black beans. Did I pick the wrong beans? I think I may have picked the wrong beans. It's been a long year. I've gotten involved with a Filipino, a banana man, an eccentric fallen angel. Huh? There's a letter in my desk. The time has come. Meet me at Rufa, the tree of light, crimson angel of Judica. From the eccentric Filipino banana man. Is he planning to break into the infirmary? The doctor being what it is, I'm worried for Angel. I better hurry. Did I go into the wrong room? No, I'm sure this is the infirmary. This place is nothing that belongs in a school. It's time to end this dark sorcerer Wallenstein. I waited for you, Crimson Angel Judica, waited from the very beginning. The tree of Blight has fed upon the flesh and blood of the innocent has opened the gate to the dark show. We stand at the very border between this world and the next, and so you have appeared, Lord, here by the taint of show leaking through just as planned. So your plan has been to swallow the school in a abyss all along. I should not allow the tree to reach maturity. No, please, do not misunderstand. I have no intention of building the end of this book. No, what I want is your cursed flesh, angel of hell. I am Warristine, and you must agree that is a fitting name for the Dark King. Come to me, spirit of evil. Girl! And girl? That mist my his chest and swallowed by the tree. What are you doing, Doctor? This is cruel. You know reincarnation, you love the apostle who sealed the crimson angel of Judica. Don't hold with him an avatar of destruction, an avatar of destruction. Have you forgotten, Ida Blue? That day long ago in the time of gods and demons when you took up the sword to end my rampage, I drawn out power you still in his breast with that forbidden mantra in her. The tree of light has consumed most of the students to school and the mindless power of the crimson devil. Welcome to the end. Arise, Nessa, bringer of death. No, it's over. It's all over. The world will be swallowed by darkness. <laughs> Can't give up, Angel. <laughs> Have you forgotten, Angel? I still have that eye card with the, with the squiggles you drew. We still have hope. All we have to do is kill this boss, final boss thingy, right? We stand together, Angel. I never thought the day would come when the two would join in battle once more. I had not the courage to face down the evil my <laughs> Right, guys, y'all picked these. Y'all picked these. I'm literally doing what you guys asked of me. Violet, you picked Pudding. Puddy the Pudding Lord. Legend, you picked a serial killer. Like, then the next guy was a secret agent. We picked Death. We picked a groomer. Like, y'all picked these birds. Next, we're going for the posh boy. <laughs> but you, take this, EW. This is the mapping pen. Sacrum, the Holy Spirit is yours to wield. Come. Himnissa, bringer of death appeared. I'm gonna use Dark Void Shockwave. Amnesia takes 24 damage. Dove's turn. Eye of Judgment. W uses Eye of Judgment. Hamnesha takes us to 10 damage. The turn unleashes Obliteration Blade. Dove takes 215 damage. Angel uses Blood Lotus Cremation. Dove's turn. Eternal Blue Thunder! 
360 damage. And leashes obliteration blade. 54 damage. <laughs> Dove's turn. Empress Ishtar. 450 damage. Defeated! No, Hamnasha was destroyed! <laughs> You miscalculated well and seen. You did not account for other good present here. Bah! I must withdraw. Do not forget. I shall summon a second nest and a third until the world is torn apart by the third. Yeah, we killed the god. Wait, well and seen. So I better end this and move down the next to the doctor at the school again. And Gal, I've remembered everything. I remember your fall. I remember chasing after you to try and bring you back. And remember scaring me with stuff coming and imprisoning me in the cage of ice? Yes. I do not resent you. I've lost myself. There's but a demon of blood destroying all in my path, but the demon is gone now. Yes. I think you can live normally now, Angle. Angle, I... I hope we can stay together like this, Yoshi. Gah! Yoda's in the corner, wailing in anguish. I guess that rule is still in effect. I wonder when he'll let me use his real name. It's no way that's one. We're going after the posh boy. Posh boy gotta be normal, right? To the end of emptiness. How many endings have we got? We got six. We're doing good then. Ah! Have you decided what position you'll take? I get to choose? Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? Aren't you Japanese too, Sekia? Do not mock me, I'm French. French noble bird, that sounds delicious. Guess I'll have to pick a post now. Vice President. You wish to be my right wing? Ha! You've got nerve, I like that. I think I just got bonded with. Gosh, she looks pretty happy right now. So I became Vice President of the Student Council. Unacceptable! The temper as usual. Why? Why do I have to come like to a place like this and on foot? It's a hike, Sekui. You have to walk. For what purpose? Is it exercise? Foolishness? Exercise is for peasants. No, for fun, you always enjoy the change of scenery. Look over here, don't we have a nice view? We look like the same way we look until he comes over to me. I think maybe he's acting angry than he is. Um, so I think we should be both intelligent and charismatic. Well, there's two, because obviously there's death. We unlock Angle and don't get it, we die. Cheerleaders. Something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see Sakuya in a brass band with a rope to I think I saw something similar during the changing of guard at Vulcan and Palace. You're here. You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not, only the best from a level. Sir, preparations are complete, sir. Your order, sir. Very well, begin. Because they wanted someone who wasn't trash. And, like, normal. This guy's probably the most normal we're gonna get. Where do you get these people? They look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You, join in. Okay. Seems to be in charge of the symbols. One wrong slip and I'll be the laughing stuff at the playground. Yikes. Isn't this the bell star? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to... Okay, maybe he will. We're gonna have to side with Sakuya. Okasan, settle down. This is a classroom. Come on, this is a mass of a train dove. Stay out of a dove. You are a credit to your simian ancestry, so I respect your judgement. Call! Catch your Cassandra and I saw him out the window. Just because you're angry doesn't mean you can make a mess. Come back in when you're prepared to be civilised. I know, I know, I didn't want to do that. Because I know you'll be upset. Um... Ah! 
I had to! I'm a game or something. You know, it's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. I think you want me to carry this morning in my kitchen. I do. I do. Um, let's get smart. We gotta be smart and charismatic. Things you do for a bird for you. <laughs> right, listen. Sakia. Well, Sakia is an aristocrat, so probably him. Ha! Even the hominid recognizes my superiority. Pico chats? Okay, enjoy Pico chats. Go on, bye. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> Get set, go! They dive in with perfect synchronization. Yikes, they're both fast, even though the skeletal structure isn't designed for it at all. Awfully close, but in the end. <sighs> so he won, mon ami. Almost too close to tell, but Yu Yu is a little bit faster. Well, there we have it, little brother. And here's a career. Ah, uh, I voted. I voted the wrong one. I may have fucked up with the brother. You're late! I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sukuya, let's start cleaning. Very well. First, we need to shelter the stairs, there's dolphins from underneath, okay? Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the files by date, okay? On the floor, polish it at least three times in the window. Hold on, are you telling me to do that all by myself? Who else is here? You, bonehead! Maybe I should stand up to him. Sequoia, I am the vice president, not the chairwoman. Is that so? My job is to help you. So maybe you should be taking a lead role in cleaning up. That's why I'm giving you orders. No, geez, that's not. Here's a mop. Work. I you what? You know how to use it right? Let's get started. Shh. We'll do it next. We'll do it next. You can have them back. Don't tell me you've never... Of course not. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. And so, Sakuya, we're looking to help me clean. I thought you might complain for a while, but you certainly can be obedient. Now then, the sooner we finish, the sooner we get home. I skipped a lot of it, but you guys don't really care about it. What in the shops? Food? Good fun all around? People can't possibly be eating food for purpose. It's insanitary, it's madness. Don't worry, there haven't been any reports of food poisoning for two years. So there were reports three years ago? Yup! Guiding the panic stricken Sequoia all around the festival is a little troublesome, but hilarious nonetheless. Oh, fuck. What's his endings? Yeah, like, how do I get the other one? I had an interesting colour, so I thought I'd buy one. I'm not going to eat it, I should take it home and take the case. Sakuya! Need something? You're free today, right? Wanna go look at two forced haunted house? Haunted house, a waste of time, nothing but foolish charade of commoners. By commoners and full commoners. How do you know if you don't go? Isn't keeping an eye on the masses part of a noble bird's job? This game is complex. Uh, I suppose that might have some value since I have no other pressing matter to attend, I shall come for you. Like birds, I mean, uh, what is this madness? A haunted mansion? What earth is that? Will we attack by hostile ninjas? No, that would be a ninja mansion. My nurse told, uh, told me that the mansion is bound to have ninjas lying and waiting inside. It's like a tiny theme park with a ghost theme, hence haunted. How foolish, no doubt he has nothing but tricks to scare my children. We shall enter. Oh, hey, wait! What trickery is this? I can't see. Why is it dark in here? Oh, right, you can't see in the dark, can you? Ah! Stop doing something nasty! No, stop and hand me! So can you calm down? You're not supposed to kick the poor ghost! Let me go! Never seen them in this worked up before. No, 
I'm glad he enjoyed it, I think. No worries, Hansel. We're, we're just finishing these endings. I can see some birdies sitting at the piano through the door. Recognising it's Sakuya? <gasps> How long have you been there? Were you spying on me? How unpleasant. No, I just came over here. It sounded beautiful. I never knew you could play. I'm amazed. You can practice and still study enough to get good grades, Sakuya. Of course, a nobleman must be versed in all fields, though I doubt one such as you can understand the art. It sounded wonderful. Hmm. I'm distracting you. Sorry, I'll go. No mind me. So? Huh? What do you love? Why is this all of a sudden? Tell me. Udon, I guess. Udon, truly? Yep, eat it every day. I see. I see, thank you. Bye, Sakia. I left him sitting in deep thought. What was that all about? Nah, this game is hecking with all of us. I'll go to the party. Of course I'll go to the party. Whoa, it's like a palace. Oh, what do you think, so Normally a commoner such as yourself would never set foot in here. It's amazing, Sakuya. This whole thing is raw and removed from my uncultured Stone Age lifestyle. I feel a little nervous. Do you have a party like this every year? Every year, don't be foolish, we have one a month. Creating a habit for social discourse is a noble duty, after all. It seems a little tiresome. Are you feeling overwhelmed already? Cool, foolish, calm. <laughs> That's... Dog, why are you here? I never invited you. Go! Oh, cause I'm sent to feast to carry through the window, but there is no pudding. <laughs> I wouldn't give any to you even if I did have some. Confounded you genetic throwback. Oh, cause Sans gonna go to berserk and straight. I think I should stop him. Oh, cause San, inside voice. Well done, soap. Now throw him outside. Thank me. I'd hire you as a bodyguard if you ever so desired. Um, she'd guard his body, alright. Sakuya? Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? I hadn't thought you were the type. I'm here to observe. I may one day be ruling this country, so there's no harm in familiarizing myself with the customs of the masses. That aside, I heard rumors, but this place is a battlefield, so the to almost killed me in the dark coins earlier. Oh, right, you don't get out to the office. They are offering, say. Yes, I'm aware the customs created by a secret policeman during the Edo period, I believe. I never knew. I understand that coins threw by this policeman also inspired the shuriken later to use by the ninja all across the country. To begin the year by testing each other's reflex in deadly monastery skirmishes, Japan truly is a beautiful, a brutal country. Gazes with a mixed admiration and fear at the donations falling at the bottom of the triangle. Perhaps it would be a pain to leave them in that. Okay. Happy New Year! Right, these ones are more expensive, so I'm giving him the role racing one. Sakuya! I'm busy. May I ask you not to waste too much of my time? This will only take a minute. I have something for you. Here. What are these? It's a pricey blend of beans. I know you like expensive things. It's not what I meant. Why are you giving me beans? It's Luca Mantine. And what's that? What planet are you from anyway? It's a holiday where girls are supposed to get beans and the boys they like. What do you mean, wow? What, what? Don't look so disturbed, geez, I gave you these weeks. Set them so clear. Hmm. These beans seem somewhat cheap for the illustrious recipient, but since you ask, I will not refuse them. Really? Yay! What, really? How? Which ending did I, did I get the normal ending? No, what I'm hearing is all where I am, maybe you've Anyway, here, I hope we continue to get along. Indeed. Glance at the beans and then back to me with the leaves. I'm glad he liked them. He did like them, right? Is this normal ending? It's so cold, it feels even colder than it was around New Year's. Maybe the wind's stronger. I'm starting to need to build a wall, maybe dig myself a new home. This weather, some beds are even collapsing in the street. Hey, wait, isn't that one Sequoia? Se Sequoia, what's wrong? Okay. D don't ask for the details. Just carry me to your miserable abode, I beg of you. 
Wandering around and collapsing the street at this time of night doesn't seem like a customary practice for an aristocrat. What happened to Kudo? Tell me, haven't they fallen from high society? Is this the normal ending? What happened? I shall not say. Eh, what were you doing around in the wilderness then? I was not wandering, I was on my way here, be honoured. Oh, so this isn't a coincidence after all. Did you want something from me then? No, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> um, should we call your family or something? No. Okay. He looks really angry. Listen, don't. You dare. Don't you dare call my house. Sakuya, did you run away from home? That sounds bad. No, I simply left my own volition. Hmm. Isn't that the same thing? Yep. What happened, Sakuya? Soap, do you remember when we talked in the music room of school last fall? Yes, what about it? Do you remember what I asked you then? You asked me what... I loved. Yes, we got I love. That's right, and you gave me a simple, honest answer right away, and that. That? That made me jealous. Did I miss here? It's the last thing I expected from all all people. I don't understand, Sakuya, why? I am one of the few pure bloodline. I'm ranked higher than any of my siblings. I'm enslaved to become the next family head since birth. There's no reason I shouldn't be but You don't want to take your fa father's place? How did you know that? It's obvious, it's written all over your face. I love music, but my father does not approve. When I was young, I owned a number of instruments, but he had them all thrown away. Art is not our realm, the joy of creation is in the domain of the peasants. Hey, yes! Our role is to be patrons and promoters of the artists we admire, not to be the artists ourselves, and noble who sows his own wheat is a fool. It's not true. I think anyone who can play music should be encouraged no matter who their parents are. But that is because you think the peasants' values, the world is different from yours. I'm not talking about what peasants think, I'm talking about what I think. What about you, Sakuya? What do you think? What do I think? You speak in riddles. I carry the name of the bell to play and applying my own standards and ideas to well would be a disgrace. But didn't you just say you left the mansion of your own accord? Isn't that applying your own idea to the world? Hmm. You've contradicted yourself. What do you want to do in life, Sakuya? I must succeed, my family is the next family ahead. No, geez, that's not what I meant. But if you could get about the Bell family and do anything well, what would you do then? Forget about the Bell family? What mockery is this? I'm speaking hypothetically, dummy. Do anything in the world? I would continue studying music. I'd like to see how far I could go as a musician. He sounds uncharacteristically modest. I was half expecting some rambling speech how he'd unite the world and become a king or something. You love music, don't you? If you hear you play the piano again, I'd be very happy to cure. I think you've answered your own question. Answer my own question, don't be ridiculous, it's a mere fantasy. Has no connection to reality. Have you told your father that you want to continue studying music? Um, you are yeasts. Quackers is your girlfriend. Don't be ridiculous. How could I lower myself so? You haven't even asked him about it? So you wouldn't be lowering yourself, Sakuya. Are you ashamed to love music? Hmm. You should ask him it's worth a try, right? Perhaps you were right. I'd never have thought of that if I hadn't talked to you. No way! Did you get Romeo and Juliet? Congratulations, my love! I'm so happy. Congratulations. Oh. Oh. At least you got a part, my love. No worries, Dave. No spoilers. Okay. You're confused about what you wanted, Sakuya. I just gave you a little push. So, yes. I'm going to speak for them when I return. If you refuse, it would. Would you carry my fallen body to safety one more time? If I had to run away for real next time, it comes to that. I'll follow you anywhere you need to go, Sakuya. You always have a safe place here, okay? I shall return. Thank you, Soap. So he's set across the wilderness once more. Don't know if his father will accept him or if he'll really run away, but I know he'll come back to me. Pray that our future will be a happy one. No worries, my love. Thank you for the luck. Okay, right. We're gonna get his other ending done out of the way because we all hate him. Like, I kind of like him a little bit more now that I know he just wanted to be an artist after all. But he's still a dick. You know? He's still a dick. So, like, we're just gonna speedrun him completely. Like, I don't care what happens till the end. Just for Vi, let's go see Okasan. Come on, don't listen to wrong, the fake and vicious lie! Familiar voice indeed. Come on, listen to pudding! Come on, 
least we were once my rage wall just raising. Nah, let him go. Let him say that he likes Vi again. I know. Come on, silence, fool boy! Silence the hall of your fathers and many lumps and sharp rocks, so... Aww, oh, that's so cute. Jeez, what are you complaining about? I even got you some straw. Which is to say, I did the best I could for a freeloader. Here, I made breakfast. First concert this day, you need to get ready. Hmm. He didn't complain about the food, that's an improvement. Um, by the way, what is it? Have you contacted you yet? I must be joking. I thought so. How is the dress? Should I tell him about you? You need not worry him. I have no intention of asking favors of him. I didn't mean it. Anyway, let it be. Things are fine, Lady Anne. I guess he's still a little chilly about you. Maybe it's still too early. Let us go, so. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. To Dove. Salutations, I trust you are well. A little bird told me you've been taking care of Sakuya. He's a pain, but I know you'll be able to handle him just fine. I have something to tell him. Something very important. Something I've been meaning to tell him his entire life since you're... I guess I'm still a little unsure of myself. If he ever says he wants to see me, I'll think it over. When the time comes, let me know, okay? I'll keep in touch. I do. Sakasi, Kuya. You will. You will. Let's go do the doctor um, full ending, I guess. Song of the Foolish Bird. Let's go get killed! That's so great. I'm so happy for you. Right, Dove. Uh, Boomer, we're a bit too um, invested in this game. Freeloader is what we call um, our boyfriend pigeon. In the game. It's not here yet. The infirmary is quiet. Okay, we know this, but the sheets of blood. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pain. I wanted to keep you by my side forever. It's gonna kill me. I know he's gonna kill me. Why can't I move? To so preserve only your head. You'll be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry, you won't get to waste. I'll make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Something has a cleaver in his left wing. You have traced death's law most diligently, I'm afraid. I suppose you're afraid to speak now. The moment my, my vision shifts to the ceiling, to the wall, my floor, my eyes rolling wildly, the world twists so to the net. So my life came to an end. We have an emergency report from the Pidgeanthum Project. The researcher we dispatched to school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. He took sample HB087, the human head. We have not confirmed that he's armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please help yourself. The cheese Danish are rather good. Hmm. Have these brutes no mercy. Though I did agree to this from the start. <laughs> seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Miss Soap. They suddenly ask that I give you to them. And that I, until now, they considered you worthless. The one who preserved you so beautifully. You were like the jar, do you not? Do you know of the mere exposure effect? Say that no one can become attracted to things that simply repeat contact with them. Conundrum indeed. I think perhaps I have felt no emotions since I acquired you. We have but little time together, I fear. I do not like the idea of handing you over to them, so I think I shall break you once more. 
podcasts. Do not wish to force you into a double suicide. But I shall break this glass only to confirm your feelings. You loved me, did you not? I got so many choices. So many choices. Like, yeah, sure. Thank you. So glad I got to kill you. Good night, Miss. In the water, left side! Weapons free, chicken done! Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna do um, Nageki at the same time as Kashiba. Because I can do those two simultaneously. Of soap. Wasn't that be legend? Legend. You li he literally fucked your head repeatedly and then threw you in a lake. I fucking died and I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm saying the fuck away from you, bro. Library stuff. Nageki. Nageki isn't on this list. So... somewhere already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. <sighs> Much better. It's nice AC is on. Do we really need it? Nobody AC is today. It's not on. <gasps> it's you, Nagaki. It's you, Miss Soap. Whoa, he called me by my name. They don't turn the end conditioning on until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh, is that it? It'd be a little strange to spend money on cooling the belly of his library in May. Anyway, aren't you going to participate in the festival, Nagaki? Aren't you? Eep! I don't like it outside. So I stay in here. That's all. Hmm, I see. Why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? Not really. Um, listen, our class president got duped into being a cheerleader and... Sorry. No, keep going. I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. Don't know how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind it. Akosan is too busy being a god. It's true. It's true. 
Sie is a god. Um, let's go visit Octa. I'll go look in the library if the school went already closed. Now I think about it, I only know is that the depressed freshman who was always in the library. I'd like to learn more about him though. He'd probably never, he'd never tell me anything if I asked. Going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some down and go to bed. Do you have a minute? What is it? I wanted to write a book review. I'm working in the library newspaper and there's a corner open, so I thought, can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them, we never get submissions, so the book reviews are turning into our personal soapbox. How to be prevented from ripping from the paper? My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. I'll write one letter, leave the paper there. Yay! Thank you! He has everything for the September issue. Whee! Doesn't stay. Doesn't stay. Doesn't stay. Zami, I totally forgot this is part of being. You've been playing a special move for your reunion with him, right? Kicks? You're right, I have. Grit your teeth, Mr. Fava B, and you regret jumping me till the day you die. And so, the oasis of soothing parakeets to you was transformed into a scene of avian fury, the wrath of God falling to earth in the guise of Sparrow's legs. I never saw Ozami or Mr. Favor being after that day. Got it. So there we go. Normal ending. We've done most of the, like, the things for him. Probably all the side in the college and careers already. Wouldn't this be frantic at this time of the year, I wonder? Nageki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nageki! Miss Soap, do you need something? Why are you over here? There's still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like your mind. You don't like being near other birds, is that it? He nods. They'll just, they'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. Are you being bullied? He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Aww. He's literally being bullied. I don't want him to be bullied. He's such a nice bird. He was literally Vi's backup choice if she hadn't have fell for Okasan. Because, like, I'm not going to lie, she fell for Okasan. Probably. I think I'll go buy something to hang out with him. Yep, doors open. Nagaki? Close it up, please. I knew you'd be in here. The door, it's loud outside. Oh, sorry. You're staying in here even today? It's almost like this is where you live. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. Kind of like a friendly ghost or something. It's reassuring to know you're here. Anyway, I brought you something. You plan to stay here all day, right? What? Cookies? Yep, the bird watching club is selling bird shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? Have some. Hmm, thanks. Hearing him thank me makes me very happy, even if it was in a whisper. He even looks a little happier than usual. There's lots of other stuff too. The third years are going to do a play, and one class put together a god tier haunted house. I think of looking around a little more, Nick. You want to come with me? No. Oh no, he looks angry. Uh, no thank you. Go ahead if you want. Well, all right, sorry, I didn't mean to try and drag you out of here. He might actually live in here. Now that I think about it, I've never seen him anywhere else. Maybe he comes here as soon as he gets to school. Maybe you do. Nagaki? Why not? 
The door is locked. I tell you, they locked you in. That would be terrible. It was? I hadn't realised. I have an accident, it's all right, maybe, jeez, but you're supposed to make sure that there's no birdie left behind before you lock the door. Anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should. Go home with Nageki, obviously. Hey, Nageki, let's go home together. No, thank you. He didn't even pause to think about it. Where do you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine, really, don't worry about me. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Don't jump to... If I could, I... I... What? Don't worry about it, I'll lock the door, so just leave the key there. He's already reading again. I think I'm annoying him. I wonder what his ending is. It's a bit weird. Ah, my grades aren't looking very good. I need to work hard to recover before the finals. And so I sat studying in the library while one by one other students filed out to go home and I look up I'm alone or not. My, how unusual. I think it's the first time you've sat down next to me, Nagaki. I, I want to talk to you. You're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No, talk away. I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss Soap. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. That's, so, that's terrible. Nageki, that's awful. Which class are you in? I'll talk to our teacher. I'm not done talking yet. Sorry, go on. You think I'm being bullied? Right, I thought that too. You're not? I don't think so. Not being bullied. Why are you better than this? Better than this? And what he is? I'm not sure yet, when you talk to me, I remember things sometimes, but still not enough. I don't understand. Is this guy gonna be so like, fucking weird as well? Miss Soap, I think I'm... Soap! You're here late. Is the Geki a fucking ghost? No, I'm not, I'm not having this. I'm not having the Geki be a fucking ghost. School's already starting to close for the night. Good to study, but working too hard for you alone, can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? On my own? So what are you talking about? I'm not... Uh, uh, huh? I guess he's gone. He's here just a moment ago. Would he... Did he leap out of the window and get home ninja style? We fell and tried to ban the ghost! Don't really have any reason to be here until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard, I'd be risking my life. You're still here. Nageki! The book under his arm, the same as always. I do wonder about last time, but if you wanted to talk, then you'd talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Hmm. I guess I'll have to wait till it stops. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. It's been a little distant lately. But he's, maybe he's been warming up to me in his own way. What are you reading? Dickens, a Christmas carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please, keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot, I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a white-out Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished. Yep, it just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. Sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it, even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff is never... Tim is a boy born weak who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that it will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic that sounds kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It'd be nice to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. What it is, and that's all there is to it. So we enjoyed the present point in time in which we flowed. It's a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. The sun. Well, he's a homeboy, so I think some country millet. You might like those. Sitting in a frigid corner, far from the meagre effects the heater is expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my uh, dreadful sin? <laughs> it's cold in here. Are you okay, Nageki? I'm fine. Don't mind me, Miss Soap. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. No, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's ligamentine, do you know? Here, foxtail millet. For me? Yep, you're supposed to give beans the most important bird in your life today. 
Do you want them? Yes, thank you. He looks happier than usual, or is it my imagination? I often ate these when I was younger, to bring back memories. Thank you, Miss Silk. You're welcome, Nagaki. He's dead. He's definitely dead. Lots of requested books are going to go in today, and I'll have to work through lunch. Sorting these things takes forever. I think I'll just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um, Miss Soap, be here after all the other students have left. Fujishiro Nageki. Reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about. He's definitely a ghost. Nageki, are you here? Nageki? Ver ir. Nageki! Hello, Miss Soap. You startled me. How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So what did you need? I want to talk with you, Miss Soap. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think. Okay, I'm all ears, Nagaki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Soap? Hmm? Let's go outside. What? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out of here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing, mine? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library and then runs forward, crashing into the air. Nageki, what? Thud. He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library after a while I lose consciousness and I wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Soap. You've probably noticed too why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see you. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was in here, how I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time is broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had no part of myself for so long that suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. I killed myself in this room. And so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning menacingly. Each day the same as the last. Alone, forever. No one here is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It's my choice to end my life here after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Soap. If I wasn't like this, I would. I'd have liked to talk to you more. For longer. Nageki. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly. But he's so cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful. But I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I'll talk to you enough to make up for everything else. Nageki, maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice it until just recently. When you told me about the school I was probably trying to take at the time, I was never able to spend here. I never asked you, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I spent a full year at the school. And Nageki? His, hand, his head right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled in distance. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We've, we've never talked like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Soap. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No, no, don't say it, Nageki. I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss So I can't stop it now. But I have so many things to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret? Thank you. I love you. That's awesome, I'm totally fine. <laughs> Shit. News. He's the only one who actually told us that he loved us, though. 
He's the only one that was like, love you. You know what I mean? Would it kill them to like be like, yo, I have been spending all this time with you. I love you. No, just this one boy. Just this one boy and he's dead. Alright. Fine. Alright. One ending. We've only got um, the one ending left, right? Oh, right. Do you remember when you guys were like, do a normal ending and then someone said library? Like, thank God we didn't do the library as the normal ending, right? <laughs> thank God I chose the weirdo. Uh, like, the posh boy. If I hadn't chose posh boy, we would have had a fucking ghost ending. <laughs> so clearly I can choose the non weird ones. Okay, um, I think the last one is um, just Ryuta. Okay, let's let's go get our best friend. Let's go get our best friend. Yo, that's our boy. Well, it's gonna be. left him for the last. <laughs> we did. Let's go hang out with Okasan. Too much time with Okasan, we're gonna end up accidentally doing the Okasan again. Okay? Oh, you're joining us? Wanna run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay! Get set! Go! Right, it's running for both of us. Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. Yeah, my boy right here. The first barrier for all students. Done this bit. Um, cafeteria. We're gonna be hanging out with both boys. Cop! This is not pudding! Cop, release me! 
I want my wage voltage is rising. Help me, Dove. Leave it to me, Raida. My hunter gatherer blood boils. Ah! Call! No! The beast queen shows her true colors. Pull out! Pull out! <laughs> Sorry, pull out. Okasan oh, rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. <laughs> I'm nearly finished. Ha! Safe at last. Thanks, Dove. No problem. All I did was shout him anyway. Apparently that was enough. Now we can eat lunch without fear of disaster. No. <laughs> Dishonor! Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your cow! <laughs> See you soon, Dorian. Don't worry, I'm never gonna be playing this game again. I can spend a little time without myself. He's gonna be mad at us anyway. Don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. Oh, I'll see if I it. I will always remember this game. I know. I know, my love. I got some medicine from the doctor, but I'm not considered the medicine going to do anything good. I wouldn't trust anything the doctor prescribed. Something's wrong. If you go to the infirmary, you're feeling sick and go home feeling worse. Wait a minute, Raisa. I'm going to give that doctor a piece of my mind. Well, wait, Dove. It's not his fault. I just have a weak stomach. I'm going to... Stay here. You're right. If I go yell at him, it might make him target you next time if you're there. Don't say stuff like that. Try to stay on his good side for your sake, Raisa. I'm glad. Get a job, we're gonna reject the job though. So they're never gonna reconnect, because we never reconnected them. Ryuta, let's go. Date night. Thanks for inviting me, Dove. Come on, let's go. So many boots, how are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter gather into Dove. Let's go find something to eat, I'll pay. What, no fair, I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. Hmm. Yakitori sounds good right about now. And so I spent a happy evening with Ryuta. Maybe we can go get another chair. I love you, Scantori. No worries. Hey, three fifty. It's a lucky day. Call take this Okasan smashed. How about you? You're so welcome, bye. I'd love to. Sun's going down already, I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. Hey look, a swallow! The most elegant of birds. Oh, there's its nest! They're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all the birds are changing now. I guess so. The chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Me too. Thank you, Dove. When I was young, I found Raita freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Doves breed all year round. No wonder they're everywhere. That was how we met, right? I found you flopping around in the dirt and carried you back up to your nest. That's mean. Thinking about it, if I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. Though you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah. Thank you, Dove. If you hadn't found me, then I wouldn't be here now. I remember as if it was yesterday. Ever-changing. 
I've, I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing jeans. And you're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? <laughs> what kind of job is that? You're misunderstanding. It's just the transvestite calf. I'm not misunderstanding at all. We need the money. Here, you take a flyer too. Um... I'll ask for you when I go there. Thank you, I'll be waiting, Dub. Oh, and my name at work is Cooleen, so address me with that. Cooleen, okay. See you later, Cooleen. So, Ryota works at a transvestite calf. Uh, using the words of this, not my own words. I'll tip you big, little lady! <laughs> Raida, wanna walk home together? Um, sorry, I need to go somewhere else right now. Maybe later? Okay, is something wrong? It's nothing, don't worry about it, though. His smile is incredibly convincing, but if he doesn't want to be worried about it, worry it won't do anybody any good. Maybe I'll go see Arcade. Practice some new songs to get back into the game. What's Raida doing over here? And why is he coming out of the hospital? Raida, were you... Dove? Dove, I want to talk to you. Is now a good time? Of course, what is it? It is here. Um, well, sorry, I'm not sure how to say this. It's a slur for trans people here. Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. Thanks. My mother isn't doing well, she was never very healthy. She did always used to catch colds during the winter. <laughs> yeah, even though doves are supposed to fare better in the cold than the heat. Made him worse since the end of September. At a certain point, I couldn't take care of her on my own. She's in the hospital now. And that's why you've been going out to school. I hope she gets better, Ryota. She won't. She... she won't? He's crying. Sorry for holding you up, Tufts. See you. Ryota! So he fled into the night. Somebody sent me a text message from Ryuta. Meet me at the park at seven. What's going on? I hope it isn't something bad. Ryota, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, sorry for dragging out like this stuff. What is it? Is your mother okay? Yeah, she's fine now, thanks. She said, you're old enough already to go spend the day with someone important and wouldn't let me back into her room. Going home is too lonely, so I thought maybe if I talked to you, I'd feel a little better. So you called me. Do you feel better? Yeah, thank you. Sorry, sitting out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Wanna go somewhere? I don't mind, Ryuda. I think it's fine with you. So Ryuda and I spent the evening together sitting in the park. It wasn't very Christmassy, but I didn't mind. Happy New Year! But it's raining. Um, no one's had this one yet. So I'll get this one. I love these, they were really good. Said they were easy on a bed stomach, so I thought, I know sometimes it's tough, but I like being around you and helping you eat your Thank you, Dove, that makes me really happy. You like udon, right? Let me take you out sometime. Okay. You seem really happy. Yay! Tests are over and there's nothing else to do but wait for spring break. The semester really was over before I knew it. That aside, it's cold and I need to do something about the temperature in my house before I get sick. Huh? Someone sent me a text message. In the park, come quick. Ryuda? Ryuda's huddled on the bench where we usually meet. Ryuda, what's... He's carrying... It's still cold out, Ryuda. You could catch a cold without a coat on. Right. Hey, Dove. My mother died today. I can't find words. I had a feeling this conversation would come, but I didn't know what to say. She was a dove, but she always got sick when, when it was cold. That's not right, that isn't supposed to happen. Right, Yuna? I'm alone now, dove. You still have me, don't you? She said the same thing at the end. Rely on dove and let her rely on you. But I think that would be irresponsible of me. I love you, dove. More than anyone else now. I... I love you too, Ryota. 
I, how can I say this? My mother was weak, but it's not as if she had a short life for a dove, so. What are you trying to say, Raya? If, if you were to marry me, I'd die much sooner than you. We're different species, we have different lifespans too, that's nature, but knowing that from the start, knowing I would end up leaving you alone, it just seems too irresponsible. That doesn't matter. It doesn't mean we can't be together. I love you, Ryota, and I want to be with you until the end. I know what it feels like to be left alone now. And I don't want to make you feel this pain, Dove. I think we should go our separate ways. No, we won't. It's what life is, Ryota. It's unfair and it's painful and sometimes it seems nothing good will ever happen. But fighting on and following our urge to seek happiness anyway, that's what makes us alive. It's how our ancestors lived and died and evolved and brought us to where we are now. We bear to have to come this far and we've advanced more than we were ever meant to. It doesn't matter. Why you are, I love you. And I want to be with you as long as I can, even if it's just for a little while. I think you want to be with me too. Where's the problem? Don't. I'm not as healthy or as strong as you are. I'm not smart or handsome or rich, but I'm happy. Thank you. You don't have to think about it so much, Ryota. You can worry about the future when it comes, right? Right. I don't think I'll have calmed down for a while yet, but I'm glad I was born. If only because I got to be with you. It's like a miracle. Thank you. We have to part with everyone eventually. It comes a little earlier than that's life. I don't care for how long it is. I'm happy enough just being with Ryota. But like, live as long as you can, Ryota. Live as long as you can so that you can carry wonderful memories with you when you return to the sky. Damn. Heavy. <laughs> Not going to cry over a bitch if Jake Sim. Oh, all right, it's time for Okusan and then the true ending, I guess. And then I'll tell you who my favorite was at the beginning and who my favorite is now. Yes. Best bird, let's go. Let's do this. Oh wait, what? Do you want a normal life or do you want to fulfill the promise? You want Okusan? I'm just gonna give you Okusan. Sam. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a faint tail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. And he's 
gone. He's a good runner. What does the pudding have to do with track team? You'll get all of it. We're going full in on Okasan. Don't worry, I got you, boo. Alright, we didn't see him this time. It's fine. Cool! Don't never forget to challenge commence the entrance examination! There's an exam? Cool! Of course! Trackers and days are cheer making, Missy! Cool! Okusam will be your opponent in normal combat! Sprint or long distance! He liked long distance last time. Cool! Long distance! You've got guts! Let us begin! Cool! Cool! On your mark! Get set! Cool! <laughs> How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. Thanks. Cool! That's all, folks. So I joined the track teams. Who knew Dust could run like that? Wonder where Akasan went. I haven't seen him before we stopped him. Cool! Cool! It's not here! The pudding is not here! Ah! It's missing. Did you bring it to eat for lunch? Cool! No! Akasan will eat that wonderful pudding we found in the this is the last before the true ending. We're about to find out the true ending. So a kind of pudding that lives on mountains? Cool! Uncle Sam will now search elsewhere for the pudding. We know where the pudding is. We found it. We just we haven't got there yet. Okay? Cool! It's re-addition time! Uncle Sam wants to go swimming! He's out as a female representative. Good luck, Okasan. Cool, cool. Never worry, never fear. Okasan brings up the rear. By the one, someone over again. So if it's something unusual, I think he came first. So I can't see from here. I better do my best too. Side of Okasan, of course. Sequoia! <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Just because you don't know what Okasan is talking about doesn't mean you can start slowing down. You're standing with this wrong world rebel? Are you supposed to be a human? Cool, cool! Okasan is resolved! Okasan will end this now! <laughs> he draws the over to sprite with all his might. Cool! Get that drill! Quick! <laughs> ah! Akasan crashes into Sakuya with a spinning body slam. Sakuya goes flying out the hallway, bouncing helplessly. It must have hurt. Cool! Akasan is a match for any aristocrat! Cool, cool! Akasan is a match for the mighty giants themselves! Pops up his chest and swags his way out of the classroom like a real gangster pigeon. <laughs> Wait, class is about to start! Akasan, come back! Break is over! Alright, before true ending, I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna do this because then, like, I'll be at least on the screen for true ending. Go to the cafe, let's go see him again! I'm giving you all the Okasan dialogue I can buy. Smoke weed every day. Indeed. Cool! This is not pudding! 
I know, you said, so come on, let's get outside. We can't have us around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. I love you too. Stan saw the pudding here and went nuts. I stopped him going on Rampage, but- Ow, cut it out, Kassan! God, please, did they say at once my rage voltage is rising? Help me, Dove! Um... Let him go! Don't you realize he's a fantail? Eh? Every year, I'm sorry we about to die, but get the hell away from all Kassan. I'm just doing a crazy person voice, like, let me do my thing. Let's read. Okazan rampages for a while and then comes over with a satisfied expression. Cool! Okazan loves you, gentle maiden, but fake pudding could not be forgiven. Very well. Sam in the forest and me in Tataru village. I love pure Karimio and your cool. This is all for you, bye. It's all for you. This is awesome. You're welcome. Do it, Okus. I'm too much. I need to drink. Rocks have been wiggling about the steps of the water, but to be able to forward, no backwards. You can't swim, Ryuta? I'm doing my best, I'm gonna learn before I graduate. Don't level it up like a boss. Today is swimming class, all these damp, tight, clingy feathers are making my heart race. Call, call, not as a human, can you still swim? Yep. Call, could I challenge you to a race then? Because I've never swum again to human it. So you're fast in the water as well as the land? Call, call, naturally, because I'm the fastest in all things. Alright then, let's go. Get set, go. Okazan is running across the top of the water with incredible speed before the signal will stop ringing in my ears. That's- there's no swimming! Call, call, call! Okazan is victorious, you are slow, dumb! Hehe. <laughs> so I learned I need to redefine my very concept of swimming before hoping to beat Okazan. Stop it. Where's your pride as captain of the track team? Come on, come at me! Whipper snapper! Hey, you said whipper snapper. So we get a food fight that spans several hours, the floor of washing beans, blood and beans. Come on, you've got guts! Okasan will step down in light of your determination. You're not bad yourself, Okasan. I think I just got rivals owned. Job, we just need Okasa. <laughs> Car, is it true we'll take Okasa to a wonderful place? Yep, today's the day of the summer festival. Let's go together. Car, Okasa smells excellent things. Okasa did take the dissolver to the maximum. Lots of good food, more than we could ever try. Car, perhaps even pudding? Well, probably not. I've never seen a sound selling pudding. Look, the fireworks are starting. <laughs> Aren't they pretty, Akasan? Akasan? Call! Call! No, he's lost himself to the shining light and returned to his barrel ancestry. Calm down, Akasan, calm down!
pudding is invincible. The indestructible pudding which heals any injury? Cough, cough, incorrect, nonsense, inconceivable. Cough, you don't understand that Wakasam wants no more of this. And he's gone. Too familiar battle cry of its football corner of the classroom. What now? Dub just in time. Caught on hand, Okasan will face the consequences. Okasan on duty today, but he doesn't like the dress. Caught! Caught! This is kind of looking like something Peter would start a protest over. Caught! Okasan refuses to deconstruct the garbage real man fight in the nude. <laughs> Can't go commando in the main cap. Come on. Look, it suits you. I whip out my mirror, my mirror and hold it in front of him. <laughs> Don't kiss my Yoda. Alright. Ah! He seems awfully... <laughs> He's trying to call his own bemated reflection. Well, apparently that was a pretty common thing for pigeons back in the day. He never tried to call up me. I guess I'm not as attractive as Maid Okusan. Sort of like Narcissus. His face tracked it. We're tying each other, so I made sure to prepare to be in top shape. Huh? Where's the doctor here? You didn't know I'm in charge of nutrition for all athletic clubs. Your advisor asked me to bring the steroids today, but... Caught! Okusan has no need for those! Caught! Bring Okusan pudding or bring nothing at all! As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. I prepared this just for him, and I really like to see how his body will react to it. Caught! Cause then he doesn't want it, it smells weird! Caught! I'm dumb, drink it instead! Um. I'll drink it for it. Whatever, anything to make the doctor get lost. No, what are you doing? That's not for humans! Caught! Cause I knew he couldn't trust you! Dub, you are his greatest ally! Yeah, what was it in that? Interesting reaction, thank you. This is most informative. I don't know why, but I think it made me smarter. Race to the other end of the field, Okazan. Caught! I gave you everything. What the dog doing? Slapping. We're just giving by what she wants. Hey, Okazan. Caught! What is it? I've been wondering for a while now. What's that pudding you said before? Caught! Pudding is pudding naturally. Cool. May you know why Okasan Cool? May you know where Okasan can find the pudding dust? Um In a community store. Caw, cool, indeed! Okasan goes at once! Wait, Okasan. Then he's gone. Caw! Cool. He's back! Caw! Cool, Dumb is a liar! Retreat to the claws! <laughs> it's just Okasan. Ow, Okasan, stop you hurting me! Caw! Cool, there's no pudding! Now there's one much trace! Caw! Cool, Okasan hates you! No, why is happening? Our character is human. I see you. I'm never sure we'll get along, but I like you. <laughs> yeah. He's here. Cops! Beautiful beans! Cops! Anna, thank you. Oh, cause I'm like you too, though. You know, it's advice to me to go out with the content. See him enjoy it with me too. Finals are over. Time to coat along till spring break. No! Oh, cause I just quit school and is going on a quest? What? Oh, cause you can't do that. It was a miracle for someone with a brain like you to get into the school in the first place. If you waste the chance, you'll end up as a failure. Cops! Cause I will not be stopped. Oh, cause I just going on a quest to take the true pudding. What is the true pudding? It's not what I think of as pudding, right? Caw! Pudding is the ambrosia of the gods, miracles in jiggly corporeal form, treasures shining with the seven colours of the rainbow. Caw! Those who participate in its watery flesh will never experience sadness again. Seven colours of the rainbow? I'm not sure I'd want to eat that. Are you serious? You're leaving? Caw! Okazan never goes back on his word. I'll... Go with him. Come with you. 
Oh, what? This fair quest will be mildly dangerous? I don't care if the pudding really exists, I want to find it with you. Calm? Hmm? Of course, that knows your ability well enough. So you'll take me with you? Carl, very well. Birds of a feather must flock together. Yay, let's go. Carl, until we catch the end of the ritual. So now our great quest began. We never get to see Okazan become Puddy, the true pudding lord. But we know he does, so it's fine. We're gonna get the true ending now. You're welcome, bye. But now we do need the true ending. Yes. You can take this chance to fulfill a promise from long ago, or you can live a normal life this semester. Which do you choose? Fulfill the promise. Is there anything you desire? I can grant whatever you wish. Tell me. Strange bird once said that. <laughs> Who is the bird talking to? <laughs> yeah, Dub So. Adam picked it. We've had the name all along. So, what do I need to do? I'll let you have it. <laughs> and then I just want to do the death one again. But you know, you know if you're going to do this whole time. I wish it would stop at the beginning before that.
too lucky. Back on your still great beast and pest, the virus known as AH5N1 appeared. Pests only infected birds, but it underwent a mutation spread to humans. Its mutated strain was highly infectious and had an extremely high mortality rate. It became clearer that it posed a threat to the survival of the human species, so the humans engineered a powerful virus to call birds and prevent AH5N1 from becoming a pandemic. In hindsight, it seems foolhardy and rash, but the world leaders at the time saw no better option. The new virus in life affected birds and die. Rather, the brains grew inside and power sign the doves. So I don't make up the ma uh, majority of professionally qualified workers today. Other birds, including quails like me, are still adapting to social life. Incidentally, I heard that the first puffin in history to hold a governorship was elected last month. Even cacapoles, which were once close to extension, can now be toilet trained. And as you know, the Prime Minister of Japan is a shoe bill. Anyway, the development of social intelligence in birds had a huge impact on the predators, which led me to my next point. Since the gambit failed, human developed defences to AH5 uh, and 1, and most died out. We that all of now live peacefully with birds and then pass through a large complex. This is the bell. We've got all the cops shooting cops on the set of birds, we're on fire. Dad never came, I hope she's okay. Maybe she had to grow cold in there. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. Let's see how our cookbox is doing. Do you mind picking our book? Our cookbox? Yep, it has handouts in it. Oh, it's in the faculty room, okay? That's right, if we have a back period. Print box, print box. the faculty office a stack of cardboard boxes. This must be the ones. This one, maybe. Look at the box, Mark 2-3, it's awfully heavy. I guess paper isn't exactly light when there's this much of it. Hey, DC, don't ask. Thank you, you okay by yourself? It's a little heavier than expected, but it was fine. Take a look inside, make sure everything's there, huh? Did you cut your wing, Dakota? Cut my, no, I don't think so. It's bleeding. It is? Did I scratch myself on something? It doesn't hurt at all. No, this isn't my blood. What is that? There's blood leaking from the corner of the box. I feel sick. I reach out and open the lid anyway. Inside the box is a human head. The eyes are glassy, but even like this, I still recognise her. She wasn't late. She was here all along. This, it can't. Oh, I'm dead? The fuck? What? Look away, Koala. We'll only hurt you. Ah! Ah! Emergency alert! Emergency alert! We have entered a state of emergency. All students, please evacuate to the gymnasium. Repeat, we have entered. The fuck is going on? Carl, Carl, what is happening? Why is everything red? I don't know. But until we know what's going on, there's nothing to do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out for, Koala? Come on. N no. I don't want to leave Dove here alone. Get up. She's gone. That thing is no longer so... It can't be. Come. My dad, I got fucking murdered. By the time we arrived, the gym was already crowded with students and teachers. No one seemed to know what was going on now. The gym echoes with whispered speculation. Hey, did you see the box? Yeah, you had that too. Yep, well, class rep opened it and I didn't see what. I think there's a human arm in it. Ours had half a leg, it was really gross. In snatch the conversation I hear, it seems like all the print boxes have a piece of human corpse in them. Are they all pieces of dove, I wonder? No, no birdie seemed concerned. Which is odd, it was all grotesque, but not like it was a dead bird. Just some primate. Nanaki, this isn't some cause of idiot disaster drill, is it? We're not supposed to have one until next month. Do you suppose that's something to do with that distasteful box? It was definitely so... Bah, will someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah. Someone tell me what's going on. It's a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up. Someone. Um, I think he's just chilling, vibing. He probably up here for a race. Is everyone here? This is Itchy Mino, the headmaster. The headmaster. Seems we've all gathered without panic or noise. Excellent. Unfortunately, there's been a natural disaster outside. The school has been dedicated to an evacuation site, so please remain here and for longer. Natural disaster? Nonsense. The weather was perfectly clear. Quah! Okazam's out in the earthquakes! It's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything. I demand an explanation, Headmaster. Just what's going on outside? Does that have something to do with soaked dove? Why have you brought us here? 
I repeat, there has been a no imbecile. The gymnasium erupts in whispered discussion once more. That changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. You all right, Clara? No, um, yes, I am. It could prove to be a very bad day for us all. It could prove to be? It already is. Clara, that's the lucky dub is missing. Clara, she must have been to my office because I won't go look for her. Sam, no, she's... Sam is an older breed, much closer to patients of the human era. Maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. I'm trying to explain, but it already hurt myself. The headmaster has proved extremely unhelpful. What will we do, Nanaki? We can't exactly carry on with class. I agree with Sam. Let's go get Dove. Calm yourself, Guara. To relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. So we can't just leave her there like that. We can go back to the classroom just once. Prince will ask us to remain here, but he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym now, did he? I'm coming with you. As president of the school and council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Thanks, Steve. I said Korea. Do not flatter yourself. I'm not doing this for you. So it was foolish that I didn't have no manners or sense, but she never deserved anything like this. I swear by my blood and as my neighbours are the bell, I will find the one who did this. You shall be my assistant. Come, Kawara. Right. So I exited the gymnasium in Sequoia's majestic wake. I want to I want to know what happened to Dove, who did this to her and why. Could the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain it to him? My head was a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers. I did not yet know what we would find. What is this? A wall. A huge grey what had been clear autumn sky was now blocked off by dull grey. It's dark, almost like the sun had already gone down. A dome, rather. We assume to be sh shut in from above as well. Wait, when did they do this and how? Don't think any of us was in, uh, was in full command of his faculties. We came this way. Can't be certain that it wasn't already here. It does seem most likely it was put in place while we were in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. He did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield. Shot so, so destructive that nothing could be done but hide under an enormous clear blanket and wait. Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic. If that was the case, they would be robbing us of our right to know what our lives are in very danger. Is this really a shelter? Is this really a natural disaster? Either way, we know that there's a connection between what happened to Dove and all of this. Let's go to the classroom and tell Mr. Naki about the dome thing. Very well. Looks like the other classes are left as they were as well. They are at the teacher's desk. Is everybody planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy. Too much peace. To anyone who's dared to take it upon themselves to investigate this matter, we're here. Okay. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... I can't. Kree, I'm sorry, could you? Hmm, no matter. What is this madness? Hmm? There's nothing here. That can't be right, we left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym. This is life, not some dead rape mystery novel. Exactly, Takuya. Yuya! Salutations, Ryota. I see you'll be, be sitting, Sakuya. Do not throw my name around like some cheap toy, mongrel. How cruel. Can't blame you for being tense in these circumstances. I think he'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. I'm sorry about that. It pains me to think what happened. The expression clouds. It's strange. I've never seen him with any other expression than carefully cheerfulness before. You've known him for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about all this year? Most of the business is still a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the question with face now. The whereabouts of the corpse, you mean? Yeah, that. You said this isn't a third-rate mystery novel. The corpses don't disappear and we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. And the way the other infirmary, infirmary assistants and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. Chemistry lab? What for? For one, we couldn't just have her scattered through the school if only for the mental health students. Secondly, for the autopsy. Do you know, we know two things going on here at once. The only human in the school is cut up and distributed to the rest of the school. Now there's some natural disaster happening. I suppose you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you this is all a mystery to me too. I suspect we'll have an easier time investigating the murderers once we're sealed in like so. 
doctor should be proceeding with the autis uh, autopsy by now. Doctor, why him? You don't trust him? Of course not. I don't want to think about what he might do to her. He might even have... Hmm, you suspect the doctor? Yes, everybody knows he's a nutcase. He probably killed her for some crazy experiment. He is an expert in the field. Who else could hear could perform this autopsy? But I know where you're coming from, Ray. So he's not so, mo the most ethically minded bird around. If I ask Professor Nanaki to come too, he should be there now. You want to make sure? All right, we'll go later. So Dove has been gathered in the chemistry lab. And the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining now. And Mr. Nanaki may not be the best witness, but he's than no one, right? So we know where the corpse went, but why are you here? You mean? Investigating under my own orders, of course. Playing detective mongrel. That, and I have to make sure we don't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and evacuation are certainly can be connected. I'm inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to explain our situation makes me doubt his story in its entirety. Enjoy your food, tell me what you're eating. Indeed, so Rita, yeah? I know how you feel. Do you want to find the one who did this to Dove as soon as possible, right? Yes. This is not the pigeon dating sim I expected. Dove. Gone for a moment and suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find him and I'll... I'm gonna find the culprit and I'll... I'll... I've never felt this emotion before but now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird I'll... My thoughts exactly. Unfortunately school is a mess and we won't find anything after chasing after a shadow. Maybe we should try and solve both mysteries at once wherever possible. Of course the wall could be just there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. Hmm. <laughs> We didn't need your advice from the start. Nothing but talk, mongrel. Ooh, sounds delish. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. Oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to one in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You're an antisocial cockatiel dandy everybody hates. Yep, him. No worries, a good guy. Be able to help you, you might find something useful in there. Well, that's it for the talky mongrel. And you? He saunters off towards the staircase. The dreadfully obnoxious man. So he'd never shut up. He gave us some good advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we will find anything else here. Indeed. Hmm, where should we end next? I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, all by investigating the wall outside. Right. Let's go to the office first, maybe this one guy will be able to help us. The maintenance office. In other words, the repair shop. I doubt found anything useful there. You just, you just said to go, right? I doubt the integrity of his advice. Jeez, is there anything to say about your own brother? He should be nice as he can be. My family? Do you mock me? That filthy buddy mongrel is no relation to me. Whoa, calm down. This is elitism is still running business as usual. We don't have time to waste, we should hurry. The maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? Excuse us. What is this? It doesn't look very educational. Honeyman pretty much lives in here, I think. A dove? And one more? Mr. Wan, hello. What are you doing here? Can you hear the alarm? I'm Ryota and this is Sakuya. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? No panic, no noise, no leaving. That's what I do here. Whoa, <laughs> somehow he seems really cool. I Me, mean, you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium. Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class, sir. No, we're not. Do you mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? Um, Yuya said we should ask you for help. Sakasaya? Yuya? Yes, him. We decided to honour his request by coming all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? Kuya, where the hell are your manners? Uh, sorry. He transferred from overseas and his Japanese isn't too great. He sent us more bark, I imagine, than he has by it. Very well, come in. What did you say, you gentlemen, when investigating? Two things. The murder of Soak Dove and the mysterious wall outside. Been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes. I got an idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you only have what you heard from that mongrel. Useless. I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what the great, big grey wall outside is, then? Nope. Useless wretch. Takiyaka, calm down. Yeah? 
Though I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Oh wait. Could we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. Sadly not. We've cut off this morning. Even the telephone wires. This is the room. You have it? What do you mean? I can't think of any reason they need to cut the communication systems off but some kind of storm. Okay. It's been a wild goose chase. A complete waste of time. Let's just go, Kawara. Wait, I have a bright and a massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive? What? You had stuff to try the headmaster's office. I've been there almost everywhere in the school, but never there. Might be able to find something around the wall and check in there. Of course, the headmaster did not speak to us in person during the broadcast from his office. We might still be there. It certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. If you need a break, later on, you're free to come back in and rest. Must have said seem to be trustworthy. I'll send you some notes. Find anything you can come write it down. You know what could happen in a situation like this. You don't want to forget anything. How long is this ending? True ending, by the way. If you check on the lab at the wall, for all these two, you can try the Hypermaster's office. Go to. the lab. Excuse us! It's always been one of the gloomy parts of school. This day the lab is downright depressing. Hello, Quara. Sir, thank you for being with Doug. Oh, of course. Sir came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. You must have gone past us. How unfortunate. The door lining pieces of dirt up on one of the lab benches. Must you glower at me so, Mr. Quara? I glower at you. So you've disapproved of my handling of her. It gives me an evil smile. No, that's not it. I just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. You finding anything, Dr. Oami? Not yet, no. We'll need to just finish assembling her. It'll take some time. Some words you once have finished. Perhaps you have something else to do while you wait. Very well. We shall not interfere. Come, Kawara. Right. Oh, Mr. Kawara, a moment, please. Yes? Mm -hmm. Allow me to give you a hint. Hint? Expect me a foul play, do you not? In light of that, I should leave it to you whether to decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you've missed something very important. Hey, Mr. J. Thanks Yo, for the Matt, hey. Love you. Why am I to say that you've forgotten hey, something? Hey, Mr. Perhaps. J. You should bear Thanks that in mind. For the hmm. You're just a little bit off, but I'm sure you'll find the answer if you keep looking. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it, Mr. Quara? The sound of your life crumbling apart around you. I take it, it does not suit your taste very well. He's rather fond of the unusual himself. Pity. He? Well then, you can handle the outside investigation and I the internal. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Quora. Right. Thanks, Doctor. He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. What did he mean when he said I was missing something? Or maybe he was trying to lead me astray. Better not worry about it for the time being. What were you talking with Quora about, Doctor? Nothing important. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. I see. That's good then. I'm sure you remember not to cause any trouble for my students, Doctor. Step outside once more. A grey dome remains, blocking out the moon and sky. Hmm. Let's go get a closer look at it. We can't see much from here. Indeed. Iron? Maybe? It's quite firm at any rate. Maybe it's some sort of shelter. Hmm. My phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking our signal. That seems likely. It sounds thick and dense. Trying to break a hole in it would not be practical. Maybe there's an emergency exit or something. We should check. Still don't know whether or not we're completely sealed in after all. Right, let's walk around the perimeter. Okay. Doesn't look like there are any doors or anything. Indeed, it appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it is ventilated? Can't say I fancy the prospect of suffering under this thing without even knowing why it's here. I think an emergency centre would have some sort of airflow built in, but yeah. If not, then we're in deep trouble. Hmm. What are you looking at? Up there, is that some sort of hatchway? Points upwards. Ah! He's right. About 20 metres up, there's a joint or something of a different colour. So that looks like it might lead outside. Let's go look. I see a sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? Hmm. Maybe there's a switch or something somewhere. It does not seem like we can do anything here now. Let's remember its location and return later. Don't like to think about it, but is there really such a terrible disaster out there that this is the only option? Maybe it'd be better to leave it shut anyway. Indeed. Let us move on. Is there only one, like, true ending? Or is there true endings? I still don't know what's going on inside, but I've got enough on my mind just thinking about Dove, but I'm worried about my family outside too. I hope my mother's okay. 
I thought we just finished the first stage of the investigation. Yeah, we've got a better idea of the situation, I guess. The doctor's working in the lab, the grader uncovers the entire school, but he wants more hatch, we can use the maintenance office at the base. It's the one did say. Indeed, he suggested we visit the headmaster's office. Yeah, it's on the first floor, let's go. Headmaster, sir? Are you within? Hi, Ollie! We demand entry. Rude, even to the headmaster? I wonder if the doctor, though, is the only person at high school he actually respects. No reply, let's go in. Wait, so can you have, let's... Hmm. Locked. Bah, where is that old geezer? Maybe it's returning to the outside will go away. Indeed. He never was the type to walk around campus. He's locked the door from the inside and place to stand. So the siege goes on. Shall we wait around? No time to scribble please. So enter this room regardless. It is the headmaster's door. I don't think it'll be easy to break down. Hmm, you speak the truth. Then no, that's... In the Naki, but isn't it key to open the outside? Yeah, we can head back to the. What is it, Cora? I think. I thought I heard something. I hear nothing unless you were perhaps secure. Like something being dragged across the floor. Listen, there it is. Behind. Super sick, Ollie. Huh? Huh? Ah. Suddenly behind us stood a gigantic scarecrow like creature with a rough fur like sap for a head. No clue. What in the. Scarecrow gram draws closer, dragging its long and gaining metallic arms behind it. So, Koya, watch out! Arms laced to the air, smashing the window into tiny shards which scattered across the hallway floor. Don't know what it is, but apparently it is a friend. Sakuya, we have to run! I am well aware. Did we lose it? I think so. Luckily, it moved so slowly. What was it? Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. I could revive it, it's human, but I don't think it's human. I've never heard of a human made a bell, a metal bell. A murder, the dome, and now this. I know not who is behind these trickery, but they must have a death wish to mock me so. But now we have to go back to the lab. We need to warn Mr. Nanaki. Well, this is, you know, great. Oh, welcome back, Koala. Should I again? Would you like some tea? Is this really the time? I cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Hmm. Did I take it something happened? Uh, the headmaster. He must have been hiding from the scarecrow. It smashed the window. Calm yourself, Quarry. You're coming incoherent. Sorry. We were attacked by a giant creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow appearance. A scarecrow? Yeah. But the ones humans used to make it attacked us and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. The other students still in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. There's something dangerous here, which probably tell everybody to stay together in the gym. Yes. Plot thickens, indeed. Not only are we trapped into this confounded dome, but now it's the same must contend with monstrous and guess. I wonder what the scarecrow man's connection to all this is. A scarecrow man, you say? Doctor? Fascinating. Never cut open one of those, I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> Have you finished the autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. I was awake here the whole time, don't worry. Thank you, Mr. Matthew. Hmm. You two may have a right, uh, well have a right to know what I found given your efforts towards the investigation. I should try to stay stupidly and briefly while I've learned from the lumps and meat that we want to say. Control yourself, Laura. Falling out amongst ourselves would only do us harm. I know. Ho oh, ho. Anyway. We lacked the tools for a proper examination, but the cause of death is asphyxiation. There were no signs of strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. She was dismembered after death then, Doctor? It would appear so. This is evidence of bleeding, so we may assume she was cut up sometime after death. Dove was one of the healthiest people I knew. She couldn't make her sick that quickly, meaning someone poisoned her. Why? For the sake of grotesque or to make her easier to carry out for some other reason? 
disgust at you in a way. Very sure I should also tell you your estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but I believe that Miss Soap died yesterday after school. In the evening, then. Precisely. She was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Quite a house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school? Um, no, I didn't. My mother asked me to go to her and she arranged it home yesterday. That's right. I home alone. It's too late to regret it now, but maybe... I just... <coughs> Asked her to walk home with me. I see, perhaps we should ask other students whom she was close. Thank you. We're going out again? Be careful. It sounds like someone wandering around the school could be dangerous. Don't worry, you can outrun the scarecrow that shows up again. Incidentally, I went home early yesterday too. I left the students' class I did, so I only know what my age is talking about. I shared some additional information, but. I was in the infirmary right until I returned home as usual, and I knew nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. Me, then Mr. Nanaki, the non doctor, England, and so the dog, he said to me. Oh, right, we could, could we ask a favour, Mr. Nanaki? Favour? Headmaster's office is locked. I think we might be hiding in there. Does a spare key to his door, could we use it? A spare key? Hmm, yes, there should be one in the back of you. Ask the vice principal for you. Thank you, sir, we'll be back soon. Careful, I'll be too soon. It's not too long, because it's, it's been on for like 40 minutes, so. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. We won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let's work on the murder case until then. Right, we should ask everybody where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself with a base of suspicious, Kawada. Yeah, I know. I think maybe you trust a little too easy to kill It's a word of authority that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing but what that means. Head of the Bell family, my father was once called a He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Kawada. He makes medicine? Saves a sleep talk for your dreams. I have no idea what contributions he made to the medical world. I didn't know, I thought he was some kind of mad scientist to think of death and an all around world. You become biased by the foolish rumours of the peasantry, we can still so. Any case, the Lavelle family is indebted to him, and noble bird will never treat the benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he said to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? Anyway, let's go. Pretty well. Go to. Mr. Wan? You two again. Come in. I'll go see the investigation. Well, I hope. Went to the headmaster's office. You requested it was locked, however. Yeah, we got attacked by this weird thing out there. Glad you're okay. The office is from far from. Was that thing a muddy scarecrow like man, perhaps? Yuya! Do you've seen it too? Just now, yeah, on the second floor. Caught a glimpse of it from behind at the other end of the corridor, and it didn't stick around to let it see me, so alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Coward. Hey, we ran away as soon as we saw it too. It sounds like he's wandering around the building. Maybe we better take the lead, Mr. Wong. Don't worry for me, young. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. But you aren't planning to call off your investigation because of a bad guy or two either. But yeah, that's true. Hmm. Already stuck in the rut of an unadaptable middle age. Don't come crying to us if you're hurt. I've come with a touching distance of death in the past. I'll be fine. I wonder what kind of death comes close to a maintenance worker. And again, knowing the school, there could be all sorts of evil going on behind the scenes. Well then... What are you standing around for? I mean, all just will give you everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why are you headed over there? Uh, you, I can't just sit around. Indeed. Same here. Hence walking around the school. On that note, I'm gonna go to the lab. That's in the night he wants to be there. What for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. And he wants you to help him keep an eye on Mr. Nah er, Mr. Most likely, yes, the doctor of death that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over us. Wait. Yeah. According to the autopsy, so died at school yesterday. What? Did you see her during that time? You see her evening, huh? What did the doctor say? So I've been in the infantry all day. I was there too. We were inspecting clean all day so I can verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him that evidence, Clara. Ah, right. At this point, the prime suspect is a scarecrow anyway. That's everything? Well, I do. Gonna get the link? What's the link? All right, let's go. The students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. Shut up, with no explanation. There's a suspicious individual wandering the campus. Guess even Dubs lose the call eventually. Sam, Sam, where are you? Kwa, Okasan is right here, alive and well so far. 
Call, call. What are you doing? Clear, go. Leave it up because I'm behind. You're going outside. It's not fair. What do you mean it's three hours long? Came back because we had a question for you. Call, come at me with a snapper. Well, according to this, we're 1 hour 35 in, so let's do it. Speed run time. Uh, that's not what I usually practice in school, right? Cool, cool. Do you see Dove while you were out there yesterday? Cool, I'm not. Because I did not see her then as he was going home. Could we really be sure that he wouldn't have noticed it even if he had while he was running? Good point. Cool, cool. I'm not looking down on Akasan's visual memory. Cool, if you'd had Akasan about the blood stain in Tibble, I'm really sure that he would have had something to say. Wait, wait, Sam, what did you just... Call, call, do not look down on Lokasan's visual memory. After that, imbecile. Call, if you'd have asked Lokasan about the same interloper we saw, then he would have had something to say. Call, call, Lokasan saw the interloper go into the infirmary. The infirmary? Could that have been Dove? She would have been staying with blood after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I don't think she would still be walking around at that point. Call, it was not Dove. It was a bird unknown to Lokasan. So someone going, covered in blood was going to the infirmary after school. Who in, whoever he is, he's our prime suspect now. Thanks for telling us, son. Let's speed run this. You're eating cheese, I hope you're enjoying it. At least we found something, even if it raises more questions than answers, yeah. Some bird who's no sand doesn't know it can be someone from the outside of the school. It's past noon already, let's hurry on with this. As we walked around the school searching for clues of Dove and the mysterious blood same stranger, we were lucky enough to avoid encountering the scarecrow, but we didn't find any information either. Where to now? Hmm. Naki's probably got the key for us now, let's return to the lab, okay. Huh? What is it? Did you just say something earlier? I did not. Could it be that confirmed Mr. Scarecrow around? No, it's not him. I thought I heard some birdies say something. Bad, don't scare me like that. Though we've been walking around half the day, it's hardly surprising that the mind's playing tricks on you. This is. the library. What if there's somebody in here? They might have heard the alarm. What if we should check? Very well. Find me from the emergency through the rest of the school. The library is the same as always, empty, but a bit gloomier than usual. I guess there's no one here. Please let's get a quarrel. We have no use for subordinates who be sold for some teeth. When am I going to your subordinate? Sorry, so it's okay. Let's head back to the lab. Yeah, no, we're speedrunning this. We're speedrunning this. We're gonna, like, something. Something can bad happen. I should have known it would happen after this. It happened with me. None of this would have happened at all. What was I trying to do here? What did I see? Why can't I remember? I can't hear. What are you saying? You're fading away. It's too far. Miss Soap? I mean, I'm reading, exactly. Mr. Naki, welcome back. Have you found anything interesting? Yeah, another suspicious individual. But we should speak with the headmaster first. Have you got the key? Yes, I have right here. Thank you, sir. Well, we ha let's go have a look, shall we? Yeah, I mean, I'm reading. Dr. Sharma will be here. Be careful. Adieu. Clear left. Clear right. Good, doesn't look like the scarecrow is here. That's good. If I have to fly away from something, I might panic and hit the ceiling. All right, quell with reflexes. Start to startle and up. We should hear it dragging when it moves its arms. We'll have plenty of time to go away. Let's go in. Right, let's see. Headmaster, we gathered us all in the gym without any real explanation. How many of our questions will be able to answer? Excuse us. <clears throat> Maybe he's not in here. Hmm. That's not hiding. There's something at the desk. He's sitting with his back to us, but his feathers are unmistakable green of an egg over. Speak to us, headmaster. Have you gone deaf? So you could be polite, Japanese, uh, Japan is the uh, con country of com uh, courtesy after all. It's part of mine that we had to come here. Then get your banquet, my love. Headmaster, will you, the, the, this, Sakuya? Headmaster's also dead. I think here is no longer the headmaster. His half closed eyes and dust and cloudy. The skin show made his palate is a pallid. What, what madness, him too? So headmaster's been killed, she's been killed. Second class, end. How many classes is there? Let's, like... Five class. Whatever, let's go. I don't know, my 
Ada. That goes. So they were reading a visual novel, basically. Poisoning. Only a few hours ago. I believe it's already dead when the announcement was broadcast in the morning, though. I checked the broadcast equipment. Looks like they put the video together last year's disaster drill footage, meaning some bird killed the headmaster and gathered everyone else in there. But why would anyone? There's no explanation but a mere ops delight. It may have all been fantasy. Sleep... Might better be kept this to ourselves for now. I can go until we have the proper draft of the situation. Helen would record it necessary pressure. First up, now the headmaster both poisoned would have killed by the same person. More rationally, they must have had a reason for killing and propagating the broadcast and must be concerned in quarantine. Super banner here. Let's look at this and close quarter. Right. It's a speed run. Easier said than done. Every shelf in his office is piled high with documents and papers. Where do we even start? Incompetent, feral. Examine each piece of the sound. Can't get anything about emergency procedures. Part of the school. Got it. PTA records. That's not it. Demographics for dummies. Nope. Transfer students. Wait until the next one. Human representative. In between Dove and the state. Two years ago, right before she came. It's not really great. It's today's internet. But it's something useful. It doesn't seem to be anything converted in school into a shelter, anything on a large scale, they'll have to do some sort of drill or a hang on to you, but what are you inquiry? This, a human representative, stalked even though none of the others are, a manager and a chief representative, no more important than a shelter for a student at the light, the furnace, that is sealed up with a criminal record, I wonder what's written in here. Can't exactly answer how it's still paper or just with the keys in here somewhere, maybe she asked Mr. Wonka how to attend to break it open, yeah, I'll be faster than looking around for this guy. Um, that I was wondering about it as well, the thing on his desk is some sort of control panel, whatever it is, it's suspicious, I believe it's a control panel for some machine, yes, but that next to it is the dome. Maybe this controls the dome where the hatch was so early, and one did postulate that it would be in here. Not to cause a doubt, we found it easy to break that one, yeah. At the same time, we have some actual hope of getting out of here now, even if that's just concerning, let's just hope it's not so long, but we've exhausted possibilities of room for the being. Let's go. Master Quarry, yes sir? How do you unless you just open distrust of me? Or two people were poisoned. We have evidence that the battery went to the infirmary. It's not hard to doubt you, little sir. Not too hard for security work. How honest of you. Do you find it yet? The thing you forgot about? The thing I forgot about? You must be talking about what you said earlier. No, I'm not convinced you're just trying to mess with me. Are you sure you're not trying to keep me from finding something? Quill, Mr. Quarry, your balance is vicious was me. He did not look wounded at all. What did you do, Ali? He doesn't look wounded at all, more like a music. I have no reason to forget that you're solving this mystery, Mr. Quarry. Let me give you another hint. There are no riddles here. If you want to find the truth, you need to only keep going. You need to not use your brain at all. What are you talking about? No riddles? Wait, not that. You mean to say that you knew the choice of really? Well, who knows? If you do, tell me. I told you, you only need to keep going. Everything here is a plot that's laid out just for you, after all, just for me. How long will you babble, Kawari? Come. Sorry, I take this as a challenge, Doctor. Hmm, you may take it that way if you so wish. I swear I'll find the truth. And if I find you, you kill Dub. Oh, I do look forward to seeing what kind of answer that you will find. Ollie? Try nail polish remover. Mr. One? You two again, what is it? We explained to Mr. One what we found in the headmaster's office. The pot thickens, I see. I, we may find this file concerns with the mystery. Can you lock it or break it? Let me see. Mm, this will be rather troublesome. It's just a lock right closet, which we can complain to simultaneous combustion. Why do they put something like that on the part of two Belgian documents? Perhaps because these documents are not ordinary. All the same, I've dealt with similar things in the past. At the same time, I'll be looking at it. It's such a huge and bothersome problem with a mechanic of operation. It's going to get a notch to make sure it's I'm a bright and massive painting smoker. What's that to do with anything? So maybe it's going to require a uh, number of skills. Like I think one is the only. Alright, can we keep it? I found a control panel that looks like it deals with it long. It seems to require a password. A password to ask Mrs. Sasaki for help. You hear? It's a master of unauthorized access. That wretched monk has to lower the crime and never take one. It's a clear, just let it go, we need his help. Take over here with the folder, I can't say this for sure, but it should be done by the time you and Mrs. Sasaki come back. You probably write all this down since we're here. Hey, thank you, Fraternal. Either in the lab or possibly gallivating around like a Lincoln boot. This would be a lot easier if we could use our phone. We can't. Off to the lab. Here we are, what if it's still occurring? Scarecrow box have happened, flesh overwhelmed. Of all this, cure run, oh ah, oh! Don't order me to do anything. Pant pant, we lost it, right? Oh, I hope it's okay at the time turns. Oh, the dome makes it better, be careful, where is it now? I wanna have straight to the... Did I just hear something? What are you doing in here all alone? Did you see the wall outside? There's been an emergency. Everybody's supposed to be in the gym. You're Kawada Ryo? You know my name? 
Have we met someone before? Uh, we have met before. The unusual morning. It's the first time we've spoken. And how do you know my name? She told me. We so. Dove? Alright. Didn't she say she'd be friends with a freshman? Can I ask your name? Nageki. You were friends with Dove then? Mm, maybe you did see her after school. She was acting strange. Oh shoot. You didn't see her the emergency progress. She doesn't know what happened to her either. She's... Don't worry about it. You don't have to explain again. I already know. Oh. She rushed up here and spoke to me. She only meant one thing. She's dead. It doesn't exactly make things easy to understand if someone took it to wonder herself. You rushed up here, do you mean yesterday? If you know anything about happened to the police last night? I did not, Miss Tilt did not come to the library after school yesterday. She did not come here. I need to hurry up back to the chemistry lab and she'll probably get out of here too. This suspicious individual in the bed. It's not yesterday that Miss Tilt came, it was just now. What? The morning dove who just spoke to me has disappeared. Did he go to the gym? I hope so. Don't really want to consider the possibility maybe he may have right? I'm, I'm going crazy. I've lost long enough to find the killer. You're late, Kawara. You're safe. Thanks. Naturally. Oh, welcome back, Kawara. It's locked, though. It's illegal. I created voices. We'll leave. We should open it. Let's open it. We need to get everyone out of here. Agreed, we can confirm what's of all that tank of audacity that there's nothing. I guess not. The escape hatch is 15 minutes. One second, guys. Hello? I'm not going to lie to you, I just got cereal. Yep. Some animals use water. Don't don't believe it. I know what some people hate their lives. Okay, back to the game. Very well, yep. We can see outside. I'll go. It isn't safe. Come back, Ga! What's going on outside? I'm fine. Let's go back to the maintenance office. Are you really just a maintenance worker? Let's go with no katana and policy towards humans. Oh, did the game just crash? Just in case you did. Did you eat my love? Even more concerned with direct injury, there's not a friend with Naya. Leon JB. I had my super foul probably answer some of your questions. So you got it open? Thank you. Should just speed things up a little, let's look inside. Human representatives, how have humans and birds advanced further towards a bright and future? We decided to enroll one human in school starting in the year 2187. He's actually working with, like, you know, our secret agent, Boyf. So, like, that's not that surprising, to be honest. They will be the human representatives. The pandemic is long since ended, and we must be cautious of the risk of infection with Simitana and Flinter while making our selection. We will pick a strong, healthy, cathedral old human who displays heredity resistance to the subtenant influencer. 
Talking about soap, no matter how we look at it. 2187, that's when we enrolled here. Tragedy of a digital will be simple, a few concessions of wit and hostage for birds. The restaurant, uh, the representatives died, the school, the entire campus was sealed off, and all the birds assigned will be given to the humans as prisoners. The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed, and the birds will be delivered to the humans. The school will be declared an extra territorial zone, and avian protests of any human uprising will not be tolerated. So her death was connected to the dome after all. And the important part is the spinal brutal exchange. It's if anything happens to the dove that represents the humanity, the entire school takes the blame. So it was seen. The trap is in here to give us the humans to arm themselves. Don't we'll open a few hours but what it's aside is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. How humorous. So this was the true face of the revolt here. I don't think this whole thing was arranged to widen the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed, things go deeper than we ever realised. As you know, the school's public stance is very liberal on human cohabitation co issue. In fact, the school's principal financer, Itchu Group, has been heavily involved in human charity for the past 20 years. The ideal of coexistence with Cubans, but the whole party has been said the ages here for a long time, you take away the system. It's dreadful. No, you can't. Virus. We have information about the document for some time. It's, it is real. It's hard to take it this all in at once. Yeah? Just to make sure, for 12 hours the dome will remain closed. During that time, humans will gather to take revenge of the bird. Thanks. When the dome opens, they will kill every bird in sight. With that, another rear of war between birds and humans will begin. Shoot, you got shot when you flew out the hatch. There were already humans waiting out there with guns. Time is not for that she died with the death is confirmed. The evacuation was about two hours ago. Right at the start of second period, around 10 o'clock. So we had until 10 p.m. until we're all killed. I'm awfully calm, even after watching somebody get shot. Remain calm, Cora. Do nothing about what's going wrong and you'll be next. I do not know what to do this, but they'll rule the day they ever decide to tangle with the Lavelle. Don't miss out. Stupid Japanese. I'm not the only one, maybe we should look. But where and how do we look? Look for the bird. Speed ready, boys. The library, I wonder if they can. He's at the gym yet. Records. Bad request. Don't worry about it. Are you. It doesn't matter what they're doing. Are you forgetting? Let's see. I don't think there's no stuff mentioned that the student died. Where does the medical. I, I am technically reading this, and you've not read that a lot. I can read stupidly fast. Seems like, did you hear something? Yeah. Wait, calm down. I knew it. Famous. Razor's turn. Deathbringer. Angle takes 60 damage. Cease this jerk acting, you wretched imbeciles. Angle takes 295 damage. Huh? I'm shocked, Kawani, to think you'd even go along with that face. What, you just ripped into my territory? Okay. So yeah, Angel was just like, yo, he's in my fucking shit. So he tried to fight us. I'll just give a summary at the end of each bit. You are different from those peasants, like you. You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Yes, father. We are chosen ones. It's our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them crawling in the mud. There's no value in their lives. Were it not for our compassion, they would die as miserably as they live. Yes, father. The very blood is tainted. The world is not yours. You must never speak to them again. Do you understand? Yes, father. To Japan. Yes. You will be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you must such as to bring honour to our family, Sakuya. Yes, father. Also, Dr. Romami is in the... Residence at the institution you'll be attending. He's the prestigious doctor. I would not be exaggerating to say our current glory is in thanks part to him. Do not disrespect him, his father. Oh. So, Langell went into the infirmary. 
the arguing about um, what you think. Medical records. I'm conscious. I must talk with Korea. Nobody likes a man who can't read the atmosphere, Mr. Scarecrow. It's time for jokes, run, go. I'll, I'll pause on the important bits. Hello again, Chikorin. He's accusing him again, he's saying it wasn't him. A little more. So you remember soon, stop running away. Pigeon dating? Uh, Sonk? No longer pigeon dating. P pigeon murder mystery. Glad you're so lively. That's good. I shall be waiting for you deep into the service. We were dating pigeons and then we got murdered. Yeah, now we're just like seeing what happened because we got murdered. too long ago. So it should be fine. You broke your wrist so it hurts the time? Holy shit. I'm sorry to hear that man. Right, so we're gonna be back but like we just get everything. We know what's going on. this bit we just gotta go back to it because the game crashed he's just he's playing that he's dead you know don't worry about it Over. Yeah, basically. Even Ghost is in the Metroidvania. I know, they could finally see him. They can finally see him now that I'm dead. Isn't that great? That they can finally see him now I'm dead. Um, seven pounds. Ten dollars. Wild as fuck, honestly. It, like, we had so much fun with it. We're still actually having fun with it, but like... Yeah, wild. Yeah, to be honest, I'm glad I bought it. I hate that I'm gonna say this, but I, I like, I'm glad I bought it. Save here. What's real money? It's seven pounds. Depends where you live, man. Sup, Jax? How we doing, my love? 
euros. Okay. Like, probably about 8.50. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't far off, to be honest. To Japan. Yeah, we did this bit. So we just need to save after this bit. Then we're back to where we were. Shuttled. We know this. Delusion of grandeur. <laughs> Medical records. Now we're going to go back to. Right, where am I? We've been knocked unconscious. All right, I was looking for evidence in the infirmary. The medical records are gone. Some birdie took them. I managed to get knocked out with a stun gun Mr. Leone gave me. Darn it. Don't know who attacked me, but the records must be important to get stolen away like that. I know. Like, someone actually wrote this. I had our records. Even with those, it would have been hard to prove. Whoever attacked me must have been the criminal. They probably wouldn't leave anything behind. They must have made a clue somewhere. I hadn't noticed earlier, but the card under the desk. I wouldn't have seen it if I went on the floor. This is Dove student ID. There's blood on the corner. It wasn't dropped here by accident before she was killed. Must have happened in here. Pokemon, always. Yeah, so he's gonna accuse the doctor. The pickle, I guess I'm on the, I'm the boys, that's the girls now, not that I mind. Don't let it get your head, mongrel. I not say anything good about you, that's right. Kind of slender. Lied. You met her soap in the infirmary, so you doubt me. I'd love to see your evidence. We found her ID, stinged blood in the infirmary. Do you want to answer? What did you see in the infirmary yesterday? What did you do? Well, I can't tell you anything, sorry. I can't say anything at all. See, this is foolish and she knows something, do you? Don't tend to go to the... So the game would actually sell. Run, you two. Terrible timing. No birdie likes a man who can't read the atmosphere, Mr. Scarecrow. It's time for jokes. Run, go. Your idle flirtations sicken me, filthy mongrel. Shh. Do you want us to hear us? How about this? I'll go first and lure Mr. Beamhole Man towards the cafeteria. You head for the maintenance room while he's distracted, okay? My friend already left you one. Why didn't you say so earlier? I'm sorry about that, love. Father is of the pure bloodline, and so his life is of the utmost value. By extension, the doctor who saved his life must also be valued. I must not disrespect him, because that's what father told me. My brother born of a low father is a worthless being. Though he looks noble, his veins flow with filthy, impure blood and must not associate with those of low birth, because that is what father told me. I'm no longer sure. What is blood? Why does it divide us so? Just to make sure we don't lose anything. Going after the doctor. Wish to unlearn. Didn't kill her. Filthy. Oh, so it was you. Always been like this. Coward and a villain to the core. Such flattery. What are you doing, Doctor? Why? Why are you doing this? I told you, remember? You bore me. Now that you've helped Mr. Kawara as much as you can, I'm not used to you. Why should I put up your bobbling now that I'm done with you? Do you not understand this, sir? Why did you insert a human? It's exactly what I'm talking about. I have no responsibility to explain to you. Goodbye, Mr. Chagrin. Yeah. No, don't lose Sequoia. Sequoia! Oh, Mr. Koala. We were just discussing you. Blood running down the doctor standing next to them. There's no question about what happened. 
Doctor, so it was you all along, was it? I wonder about that. <laughs> Put yourself together. Say something. Don't worry, you won't die just yet. I'm sure you'll enjoy your confession too, so ask them all you want. Wait, Doctor. Oh, you're, you're, the Scarecrow! There you are, Labour 9. I was waiting for you. Come, let us go. Ah, Labour 9, is that the Scarecrow's name? So he's working under the Doctor this whole time? Just a little more, Mr. Kawara. Do you think you'll remember soon? Stop running away. You killed Dove, I will never forgive you. I'm glad you're so lively. That's good. To be waiting for you deep below the surface. Chase me, Mr. Kawara. I reach out, I can't reach. Doctor and Scarecrow are gone. Don't go chasing after the beanpole man on your own, Mr. Er, Rosa. A good man keeps cool even in times like this. Don't speak, you're still bleeding. Don't worry. Who the hell do you think I am? You're fine. I know my limits better than anyone else. I won't die to a little scalpel. So that maybe I should told you the doctor do not lie, you're the same as me. We're never half brothers. You are my real brother. Impossible! I'm the heir of the La Belle family. Father told me so. He even told me I was raised for no other purpose. I never told anyone that I'd switched the eggs. If Father found out now, he'd throw you away. Is it for you? And maybe I didn't. Maybe I did it just to spite that man. I killed the child he had with mother. That was the cross I had to bear. It was never your problem. I was just happy to see you living in luxury. You? Under what authority? <laughs> None, you're right. I never listened to myself. The doctor noticed he must have realised. Guess he was doing what he said all along, since I took your lineage. The fact that I killed the LaBelle with the other father's child will never leave me. I've never been able to forget. The blame for that child's death will to pass on. I can't let it stop you. I was worried whether I should tell you or not. Now it's too late. So... Fool! Now I'm in my lineage now. Sorry, I should have told you long ago. I was never sure of myself as you. I'm not the Lavelle line, what am I? Me, that's it. I'm full of stories. Leave this place. Think about it now. I have a lot more to do about it. I'm just going No, wait! Stay with me. There's still so much you can tell me. It's been a long time since you've talked to me. But you have a day when you're still there. Get yourself together, you can't realize it. You have a little scuffle of that coming from you. Tell the guys that. Who? From the headmaster? That was Mary Tucker. You have a scuffle of that. Your life. Get out of here. You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Listen to me. Dead brother. Yeah! Yeah! The end. Drama. class. Rip. Big rip. <sighs> it's already evening. The atmosphere in the maintenance office is tense. Are you fading again? Encyclopedia. The new strain. experimentation. Only one wish to do. They created it. This is so great. 
Why this is so weird, I don't know. We did it! They electrocuted him. Thunderous voice of doom, the moment has come. Oh, uh, goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. Onwards. Yeah, this is weird as heck. GG. Dark Sorcerer. Let's go back to the crazy one again. No, the dark spell. What are you doing? Back to the crazy story again. <laughs> I have no business with them. I was waiting for you, Mr. Quara. Let's return to our conversation, our conversation about the truth you seek. You've done incredible, unbelievably cool things, Doctor. You were involved in the medical center here too. Nothing you can see through will change my mind. How pugnacious of you, but you're lacking logic. I may or may not have done as little to do with the truth of my words. I was employed at this facility from the beginning. No doubt you already deduced I was working on Operation Hatterfall. Plan to wipe out humanity with the Charon virus? Precisely. It does make me uh, re happy when students read ahead and come prepared for the lecture. You're exemplary. Strain was isolated from the original host was extremely powerful. Quite possibly the deadliest in human history. However, strains of totality tend to be survived all themselves. Charon virus should know it cannot last very long outside of the host body. In order to deliver to the enemy, we have to send life carriers into the society and allow it to spread via airborne infection. This proved troublesome. Charon virus, in addition to be a harmless of birds, is ill equipped to establish itself in our bodies. Nageki, the original host of a rare genetic condition which resulted in a slightly compromised immune system, his body alone was Sharon able to safely reside. At last, he refused to cooperate. You forced him to kill human prisoners? If it weren't for your experiments, he never would have killed himself. Ah, okay. It not occurred to us that the test of the strain's effects would harm his mental health. He said he would be glad of the chance to revenge himself on the amount he was sadly it was not so when we lost our sample. Frederick was put on indefinite holds with death, but thankfully we did not lose his corpse in its entirety. So it is remaining kept them to this day, waiting for a new carrier to arrive. Sounds like this was a very labour-intensive project. Wasn't there a better way? We have a compromised immune system. But there was a reason for our methods. It did not take me long to come up with a better plan. We need only compromise the subject's immune system, creating a compatibility like the Gekis. Compromise the immune system, they die. Indeed, even if the subject was able to become a carrier of the Karen virus, if it died with some other infection, it would all be for naught. Which is why I was very careful with who I chose. I worked on the subject over time, slowly weakening his immune system. I count myself lucky that I achieved my goals in only a year. You're an exemplary student, Mr. Quara. I give you full marks. Full marks? My head hurts, almost as if some strange creatures wriggling about deep inside my brain. Are you okay, Razor? Mr. Nanaki said he was coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were right. Dove came to the infirmary to see me. You've come this far. I'm sure you can answer this. What was it that you forgot? This is the April Fool's stream. No, um, April Fool's, I'm going to do something wilder for next year. Everything's hazy. I think my stomach is acting up again. I drink the medicine Dr. Obami gives me and lie down, but my body still feels heavy. I'm tired. Are you okay, Ryuta? Yeah, I'm fine now. Mrs. Naki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were alright. Dev is reaching towards me. You want to go home? I'll walk you. Her hand stops. Her falls to her knees, clutching her chest. Ryuta, I can't breathe. Oh, she can't breathe. This is bad. Mother said to go home early. Everything else feels strange, almost like a dream. I need to go home. Goodbye, Dove. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. He left her to die. He fell down before my eyes and then... The experiment was a resounding success. Uh, no, bridge too far. We, we, we've gone to Dayton Sim to murder Sim. Miss Stoke displayed the arch uh, archetypal symptoms of a human infected with virus and passed away. 
Oh, once the virus inside the human body, it shuts down the respiratory system in a matter of minutes. Technically speaking, yes, it causes an overreaction of the immune system, which leads to widespread apoptosis in the lungs. But more simply, any human who comes into contact with you will die. See? You're lying. Dove and I were together since we were children. Of course, I only administered the live virus to you yesterday. All the things I've done to you over the past year have been in preparation for it. <clears throat> Do you recognise this? Scarecrow's head? Yes, alas, the body is now useless, but I shall tell you about the Labour 9 being you call the Scarecrow. It's the Labour model new humans developed by Dove Party researchers, but the analysis is unethical. Birds have advanced quickly, but our physical capability is still far behind those of the human race. These new creatures for livestock are able to compensate for that. Labour series was a great step towards that beautiful idea of a coexistence for humans. Human head mounted on an artificial body, they were durable and capable of difficult tasks. Of course, they never entered development, the project had been shut down early due to ethical complaints. But I carried on the Dove Party research on Will and created this prototype to be my psychic. We want to any other people sniffing around and disrupted our investigation to either patrol the building. Now, the next question what is inside this bag? Human's head? No, no, close, but you have to be more specific. I believe we had Miss Soap's head sent to your classroom, but you notice anything missing? Missing? I found her in the box, I was too shocked to be looking for clues. May well have missed something. Wait, he doesn't mean... Dove's brain? Correct, you do capture on quickly. Miss Soap did come to meet you quite frequently. Of course, having been placed in the nine, she lost much of her personality. There she is, alive, but her body gone. All that's left is her brain. Can we still call that alive? Alive or not, I don't know anymore. Can you save her? That's a difficult question. They tend to think of there being a definite, a definite border between life and death, but it really is quite vague. Personality still remained in this world up until a few minutes ago. But you gave Paul Labour now in quite a shock, shall we say. As Miss Soap's brain is no doubt irreversibly damaged. The wonders of med uh, modern medicine can do nothing for her now, but sigh and shake their heads. Yesterday her body and today her mind were a far more twisted villain than I could ever hope to be, Mr. Quora. I killed Doug. It was my fault all along. Why did it have to happen this way? It was all arranged for you. I had Labour and I and Mr. Sakazaki and the headmaster help you along in your investigation. You are but one step from the end now. Just remember one more thing. What was it that you and Miss Soap told me long ago? From the following. What's out of the wind? Lies belong here. Dove has gone. When I killed, it was here from the beginning. I have nothing more to lose. You are obedient, Mr. Kwan. Wait. Victoria Melodia Funnus. The demon spores are the thickest that way. You will not be able to return. That's right, the doctor's probably going to do something unspeakably horrible to you, Kawara. Come back. Thank you for bringing Mr. Kawara the spy you to. Now, goodbye. Oh dear. This looks bad. Suppose it's poison gas? It's present, Mystic Phantom, the avatar of Misma. You do take everything as dry, don't you, Goda? True. Imagine if it's Okosan. Two humans lie in a twisted pile, they are Duff's parents. He said they work as mediators between birds and humans. They were trying to say something to the humans barricaded on the other side of the wall, but they received only bullets as a reply. The death of her parents became a signal. The birds surrounding the little house crossed the wall as one. I can hear gunfire from the inside, I can hear humans and birds screaming. I can do nothing but stand outside and watch, and then the stranger came and spoke to us. If anything you desire, or grant any wish for you is to tell me. I answered, I don't want these things to happen anymore. My wish is for a world where humans and birds no longer fight. Even if I die, I want there to be peace. And Dove continued, I agree. If I do anything to make Rios' wish come true. The stranger nodded, it might not be possible right now, but one day I will make it happen. You were choking, sorry, right. that was you. It was the other thing you had forgotten. You remembered, I see. <clears throat> Eight years ago, a number of human barricaded themselves in the building of Falcon where we lived. Just parents were shot by other humans. Many birds and humans were killed in the ensuing gunfight. I met the doctor. To a world in which humans and birds no longer fight. You and Miss Soap both said you'd be glad to die to bring it about, so I'm carrying on your wish just as you stated. Even a symbiotic relationship will not free from strife. Or did it end worlds, wars between birds and humans forever? One race would have to be completely destroyed, you see. Why did you choose me back Choose you? Why did I ask you what you wished for, you? I assure you, it's not coincidence. I'm not so bored to wander around by the wishes of the DNA. I too had made a promise to grant a wish. The only thing I shared was the last element of success. We only needed to transfer the original life scenarios from the Gekko to you and everything will be in place. I granted your wish, but I did not. I did make you jump through a few hoops so you would remember your wishes and understand your intentions. The least you could do to at least acknowledge what I've done for you. Hmm? 
care about anything now. Death is gone. The wish is destroyed. Everything has nothing good has ever happened. This is what it is like to be. Uh, life is like. I wish I'd never been born. I don't want to see anything anymore. You do not be anxious. You will not know where to resist. You need everything. Good night, Mr. Kamara. Is it this? Seems like it's taking quite slowly. I'm glad we have a lot more time before it's getting hard to breathe. I want to see you, you coward. Come out and fight. <laughs> Call! Call! Hold on just a little longer. We'll get you out of here. I'll try to open the cage. Oko, you see to the gas? <laughs> shall not forget this. You two alone. Where did Quora go? Quora, Quora? Were you separated? Did we just wander off and get lost? No, he didn't. He got carried off by the doctor. Carried off? Quora, Quora! Oh no! No doubt the doctor is making him drink nasty protein supplements as we speak. We do not have to see the funeral song shall herald come in the darkness. Why do we never speak in Japanese? Miserable will true. He's saying that the doctor's planning to turn Kaoru into a biological weapon. What? He can stay by the wall. He may not run out of breath. Let us proceed. Are you alive? Where is he? Kaoru! Oh, Hosanna's about feeling about this for you, sir. It's not normal. Miserable medicine man, what have you done to him? Why, if it isn't the son of the noble Lavelle family. What is one of your prestige doing here? You pathetic jabs, man, mean nothing to me. What have you done to Kawara? I have granted his wish. That is all. It's almost ten. The human forces are gathered above. Mr. Kawara must now return to the surface and begin the end of the human race. Kawara would wish for no such thing. He would never harm a human. Right, Kawara? Seems he is hesitant to agree with you. <laughs> bah. He has been swallowed by demon spores. Our voices will not reach him. It's time for us to go. He has but little time left in this world and cannot afford to waste any. He has but little time. What does this mean? His duty is now to fly about the world, spreading the seeds of throughout humanity. It would be hot feet impossible for any normal doctor. Of course, he will be shot at as well. If he was to fall from his wounds, he would die before completing his task. Mr. has traded his free will for a normally impossible physique tendency. Being brainwashed or... We have to stop him and bring him back to his centre before he reaches the service, but Oko is stronger than any of us. And he was sent flying just like that. How can we keep him here? Hmm? Dang! Dang, Danielle. Dang, Janelle. Hmm. Kara's very strong with Locke's control right now, right? Maybe we should ask him go. Ask him he's not. He's reacting, hypnotizing, medical restraints. Prepare yourself. Now it's time to bring one into spell. Hear the call of the Red Lotus. Yeah. Sans turn. Listen to us. I'll try my best to know you. Come back to us. Pull yourself together. Do you not care? Do you not plan to destroy all we've gained? Stop, Quara. This is not the path of this travel. Jeez, Raya. Causing every birdie trouble. I don't want to see you like see them. Only the Zerka class carries what the story needs. Wake up already, Rayota. Rayota was defeated. Is Rayota dead then? Ah! 
Come on, pull yourself together. Do you want this? No, I don't. Go, go! My ultimate vegetarian should gazelle himself. Look back. I don't want to make anyone sad. The emitter reactivated? Fascinating. Should not be impossible for some other thing. Disease is half in the mind after all. Outlook is surprisingly important. I suppose this means my data is insufficient. This is the end, Dark Sorcerer Wanna See. Be judged by the crimson breast. Wait, I'm down. It's not just his fault. Why do you protect him? It's the one who did this to you. Tell me, Doctor. Why did you go so far to grant my wish? Why did I grant your wish? No reason to do that. It's not what I tell you. Thank you. I'm merely experiments and it's come to an end. You must have had a reason. You aren't the sort to go around talking to children about some purpose. You want to know the answer to everything. It's just nowhere near as long as you expect him, I assure you. Hey, good morning, is that? So it's spring study, but you take a look at these? What is it, sir? You seem excited. It's amazing, the healers we got earlier. Healers? Ah, the healer cells from last month. Yeah, them, from the unusually old human. Aiding science, even after death. Can we at least call the samples by the proper name? We've always been serious, Eliza. Serious, like sweet love birds. Touch them with kindness and they respond beautifully. How many love words do you have again? Perhaps you should call them pet birds instead. Maybe you're right. Anyway, look at this. We've been looking into cancer cell immortality. This, indeed, these results are amazing. I'm quite lucky with these things. It's all about love. Your intuition? That too. Come over here. Possibly the most gifted researcher alive. He has abilities and intuition that not even he can explain. Hey, good morning, Isa. Nice weather, huh? Makes you want to do something outside. It's already evening. I believe one normally switched to believe in that. Good morning, whenever I get up, Isa. Get distracted by things like common sense and you miss the greatest discoveries of your life. It's a history. Hey, good morning, Isa. Whoopsie, low on cash. Here, was this a good one? And ask you to pick it up for me. Here, yeah, take it. It's not even running out. You sound like a pushy salesman. Right wing is injured, right? Is there anything I can do with, to help? Just ask. I'm doing fine so far. Hey, can I say something? What is it, sir? I'm somewhat busy. You're always busy. If I waited for you to take a break, I'd die of old age before I got to say it. Talking like this gets us nowhere. Guess what? I had a kid. Hmm? I see. Congratulations. <laughs> what? Don't you have anything else to say? Not particularly. Reproduction is natural for all living creatures. Of course, were I to become a father, I'd feel bad for the child, given my habit of locking myself away in the laboratory. The only bird who I ever recognised, the only one who ever recognised as worthy as my respect, was your mother, I assume. Hey, good morning, Isa. I brought you something cool. What is it? Fossil, look at it. It's huge. I like an excited child. Hey, I like geology too. It tempts me with a spouse breach. Carry on your research when you're out there. Go on. Dang, you're cold. Hey, listen, want to come on a business trip with me sometime? Field observation is fun. My next one's at the start of noon. Well, I'm interested in your work, sir. I'm halfway through a fascinating process and we'll perhaps have the time. Yeah, I'll invite you next time then. If I'm traveling with you, would be a blast. Field observation is not exactly sightseeing. I'll make sure to open my schedule, though. Last moments were dreadfully anticlimactic. But ill with a disease, endemic to the island. The time we returned home, we were so amati and one could barely recognize him. He had watched as many of the birds succumb to the disease, so I was sure. Sure that he would die in this examination room surrounded by his family. Oh, so it was the father. I always knew this was a possibility. Yes, sir. I don't regret the way I did things. No, sir. I just remember that I do have one regret. Yes, sir. I've never done anything a father's supposed to do, I promise. Take time off for the first time in years. Why don't you do me a favour, Isa? If you ever run into my son, you do something for him in my stead. Rather wait and request. He's too nice, he'd never ask for something even if he wanted it. Bet he inherited that trait from his father. <laughs> anyway, if you ever happen to meet him, you don't have to go out of your way to find him or anything. Very well. I shall remember what's his name. Raiuta. It's Kawara. Raiuta. You vanished from my life before I ever told you my feelings, and I've chased your shadow since then. It's what they mean by quitting while you're ahead. Or is it just cowardice? No matter 
how I study life, its past, its future, I'll never be able to surpass you. And that was my only goal. Kawara Marisa, the son of Dr. Kawara, carrying half his genetic material and otherwise unrelated, but this boy will be the only way for me to catch a shadow now. This sounds like ending music. Shall not forget what's taking place here. Once we are outside, I will see that you face judgment. Your words are haughty and immature, as always. Do as you please if you can. Well, indeed, remember my face, villain. Who knows? I find you interesting, so I may well forget. I'm carefully about my plans once I'm outside. So much research, too. Doctor? Good shot echoes through the room, the doctor collapses. Madness! There should still be time before the humans... Mr. Naki? Pistol is in his hand. He wobbles over to the doctor with the same unsteady, careless gaze as always. And... Ah! Gah! It's the end of your research. Nanaki, what? Stop! The doctor shall have a fair trial once we... Fair trial? What do you think, Doctor? Ah, oh, well. Impressed at your orchity in, in attacking the uninjured left side. But of course. Thank you. Tell me, Doctor. Awami. No, Isa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me. Where is Nageki? Nageki points his gun at the unmobilised Doctor. He's quite prepared to shoot the partridge dead at any moment. Oh, is that it? Quite forgotten. Mr. Fisher, his brother, he was a quail. Sorry, Nagetti? You here by yourself again? You're playing the park with everyone else. I'm fine, I would just get tired. Isn't talking to be a waste of time, Tori? You've been busy recently, have you not? I know we're short on money. It's not something you need to worry about. We are adults working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. You're a child too, Dory. You're only five years older than me, after all. Yeah, don't think I should be working? No, that's not what I meant. I just, I can't do anything. I at least want to stay out of your way. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. Part of the family, we need you. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work. I'll go to school, and that's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nagaki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away. That's a full house. Where the rest of the war orphans and I live together. I was always a little better at studying the others, so I teach at the local school to make girls meet. Going to work and coming home every Friday, we'd all get to work together and have supper. There are children who go to school, and those who work like me, all children like Nageki, who stay at home. Our family is patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over, we could pull our money. I had more work than usual last month, so I got paid a little more than usual. I'll get something nice. I'll head home and see what everyone wants first, but this day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. It was an attack by the Human Liberation Front. We cannot let anybody in. We sent two human negotiators, but they were shot. We are going to storm the place. Get back, it's dangerous. Hey, are you listening? I met angry shouts from every direction, but I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only thing I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. Today was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one can disappear today. We have to be together today, no matter what. This is so fucking deep. When I went in, the gunshots had stopped. All that was left were corpses and ruins. And... Ah! Everyone, everyone is covered in blood and mobile. The humans, the security forces, my family, what did we do? We had nothing. 
Our parents and homes had already been stolen by humans. All we had left was each other. Why do they keep stealing from us? Why? Why? Hi, Tori. You were outside? Good. Nageki, you're alive. Everyone else? I see. Nageki was hiding in the innermost room. He must not have heard anything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses are scattered through the room. Nageki, were you afraid? I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Hitori. I wasn't there when you needed me. Don't apologize, Hitori. I don't know if I could live if you were gone too. When I found him, I didn't notice, but none of the human corpses in the room had been shot. <laughs> You can put a summary in the comments and I will read it out at the end. This, if you don't mind. This will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us. Right. It's a little lonely. Yeah. What should I do? Is there anything I can do to help? You just have to be happy and well. Don't push yourself. And find something for you to do, okay? This is almost as soon as we move out of half the house. Never had to begin with, but it was getting worse and worse. Painful to watch. Oh, really? I'll try and give it a summary at the end. Isa saved him. I came to greet Ngeki, where is he? So you're losing control of your sanity. I'm serious. I'm waiting for this video and he told me what you're doing to him here, but then he closed the faculty. I've been waiting for Isa, waiting for you to open this place again, ever since I joined the facility. Oh, I don't need it. Um, I'll, I'll just give a summary myself. I, I've been here to take sorry. They were uh, degraded in the hours when I left them. Please just call me a bit to me and I'll be able to try to stop you. Please avoid even trying to talk to me. You won't die just yet, Isaac. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Nageki? I have to take him home. If by Nageki you mean what was left him back in the fire, then is Mr. Kawara's liver. The cells from the body that contain the shadow virus are now inside Mr. Kawara's parasite. Oh, is that it? I see, thank you. I'm on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask him if any of you have to do with him. Mr. Minaki comes over to me with a soft smile and she goes when he's just asking, Can you hear me again? Sorry I made you wait so long, I'm here now. So it's me. Why are you still coming to class? Please step out of it. I don't know what happened in the past, Minaki, but this is not the time for such jewelry. It won't be only a few more minutes before a human's entered the school ground. It won't take them long to find this place. Second sugar. Let's talk to Clara. Point to the gun to secure. So Clara, you're serious. It's too noisy in here. Come on, Clara. Let's go into that room just the two of us. What are you thinking? Are you planning to lock yourself in? Open the door, open it, I say. Isaac he said he's in your liver, didn't he? Where's the liver window? Do you know Clara? So Nageki would never have wanted this. He stood thoughtfully and must have had a knife in his hand. My body feels weak. I think I must have put too much into that fight earlier. I won't be able to resist. Nageki, 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 can you hear me? I've come to save you again. Where are you? Tell me. What part of Kawara do I need to cut open to find you? Nageki, 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 Sir, listen to me. He moves the knife from one place to another as if making an estimation going to. Oh, I see. It's hide and seek. I look as hard as I can then, just a little longer. We able to go home in just a little bit, Nageki, together. Stop it, Itori! Knife is struck deep into the wall under my wing. I can hear Nageki's voice, but I can't see him. The voice is coming from inside me. Mr. Kawada, let me use your body for a bit. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me, Itori? Of course. I talk with you every night. You told me to get you. Tell me to come get you. Tell me to exact revenge then. No, Tori, that was not me. I never told you to do that. It's not what I asked you to do, Tori. The second thing. Remember, of course I remember, so let's go home. 
listen, Hattori, I'm no longer here. I can no longer go home with you. Who said that? I see it was Aizo, wasn't it? Only he would say something like that. No, it wasn't him. Don't worry, Nageki. I'll take care of him in a minute. Don't worry. Hattori, I never asked for you to come for me. I never asked you to exact revenge. Who was it? Nageki. It was Nageki. He died because of you. You abandoned me here. never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. I will not, I will not forgive. I tell you, I'm sorry, Nageki. I know that no apology will ever fix it. Say what? There's a shadow in Atori's it heart, his own shadow pretending to be mine. Come for me, Atori, I'm here. I know, I know, I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. You will never forget me. You will live with me. You will live with your sin forever. That's what you want, isn't it? You want me to carry this pain? I will, Nageki. I won't ask for forgiveness, I won't. He's crying tortured by his own shadow. I'm sorry, Nageki, I'm sorry. Hitori, I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt and he wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him, please. Yes. Hitori? tortured by them here in this place. It was terrible. Eyes when the others should die in pain, all of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki. Revenge will solve nothing. Sir, you and Nageki both lost those most important you to strife. You should know best of all that people, revenge helps no one. It brings no happiness, only pain. If it hadn't been there, Nageki wouldn't have died. I was never there when he needed me. I'm sorry, Nageki. If I had been better, this never would have happened. Everything would have been fine if you never met me. If I hadn't been there, you'd never have felt pain. So why? Do you think he was sad? The time Nageki spent with you was his greatest treasure. I don't know how wonderful it is to be able to get to be with loved ones. Two, Nageki is glad he got to be with you, sir. There is nothing to regret. Come with me, Hattori. Look at me, Hattori. Hear only my voice, Hattori. I will tear your heart to pieces, and when it heals, I will tear it again and again and again. That is your punishment. It would be wonderful to live with me again. Wonderful, Hattori. Blame yourself for more. <clears throat> Please, Hattori. Listen to me. The voice you hear of that is your own shadow. Hurt yourself this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you in pain. You asked me for two things, Nageki. The first would come save me. So I listen to me, Hattori. My first wish was for you to make my body disappear from this world. As long as I live and my body remains, someone will try and use the charm virus. That virus must disappear and my body with it. It will only bring sadness as long as it remains. You asked for one other thing. You asked me to take revenge on Dr. Isa, on all those who brought you pain. Yes, I need to grant this wish. I need to pay. Tori! My second wish was... No, Hitori, that was not my wish. Remember, Hitori, remember my final wish. You're impressed? It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. That doesn't help. My body like this, I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You can do hard, Nageki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. Full stomach scares the bad away, right? Oh yeah. What a beautiful sunset. Guess it's autumn already. Are you cold, Nageki? I'm fine. It's worry. Hmm? Be easier for you without me, right? Why do you think that? I heard you and the others talking about it. Medicine costs a lot more than food. You're paying for it out of your salary, right? If had that money for yourself, you could buy better food. You wouldn't have to work so much. You'd be better off without me. Don't say that, Nageki. I don't care about fancy food or free time. You're more important than any of that. You mean more to us than you think, Nageki. You were very young when you came here, so maybe you don't remember, but losing family is hard. I want to stay like this, watching over the people I love forever. So listen, maybe it looks like I'm working just for you, but it's for me too. Seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you, Tori. I just wish I wasn't such a burden to you. Stop that already. You've never been a burden to me. Here, have some millet. Eat well, and we can sleep. Let's hope for good dreams, okay? Hope we can stay with everyone like this forever. Yeah. My second wish was, live Hattori, live and be happy.
Geki, I can't be happy. You're gone. I can't be with you anymore. Look at me, Atori. I want you to live. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I couldn't tell why I was still here. First I thought my remains, the parts of me that inside, Mr. Kawara were keeping me here. I don't think so now. I think I was worried. Worried that you wouldn't be able to keep going alone. I can't, Nageki. I can't go on without you. I don't want to live without you. We stayed here too long, Katori. We have to move on. Don't worry, we'll meet again. Somewhere, sometime. Mr. Koro, thank you. Kawara, are you on her? Yeah, I'm fine. How unexpected if it was me, your insides would have divulged themselves in their secrets long ago. Nanaki, I will not forgive this man. Don't worry about it, Sakuya. It's already over. You need to get out. We're already out of time. Indeed. Nageki was kept frozen here, right, Doctor? Indeed he was. The facility was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Dove. What are you saying, Kawara? Come with us at once. I see. Kawara? I thought you would say that. The Sharon virus has now colonised your body quite completely. Were you to leave, any human you encounter would suffer a painful death. What? Was this your plan all along, you conniving physician? Surely it was a way to remove the virus. Alas, that would be impossible with current medical technology. Once established in the body, it's quite tenacious. Even if we remove the tissues from Mr. Fujishiro, eh, Master Kawara would still carry the virus. Madness, lunacy. The same goes for Miss Soap's damaged brain. Can be preserved inside a glass jar, but just barely. D given Labour Nine's behaviour and the subsequent damage she was dealt, there is no guarantee that her personality and memories are still retrievable. With no current medical technology anyway. Should again, let's go outside. Do you mean to leave Kawara here? How deeply does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's impossible now, but one day we might be able to remove the virus from his body, I think. That Nageki would say the same. Well, Mr. Shirogun, and perhaps you did do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts on the matter. I feel as though this day has brought me an entire lifetime's worth of fatigue. I just want to rest for a little while. I'm worried about Mother. Sakia, can you tell her I'll be back one day? Listen, Kawara. Will a bell never go back on my word? No matter how long it takes, I will come back for you, I swear. So, promise me, please. Promise me you'll leave this place with me alive. Right, I promise. I'll be waiting for you. Sure, a, a lot sure happened today, Dove. Does this mean we're finally getting into recap mode? For you, I'm half sick of being stuck out here not knowing what's going on. <laughs> I guess you only got to see piece, bits and pieces of the story. Yep, so will you fill me in, please? Hmm, I guess we have plenty of time for it. I'm gonna miss meeting you, Don. But having you here makes things at least a little better, right? Where do I start? Everything that's happened, what's happening now, and everything that might happen one day. We have plenty of time to talk about it. Okay, to sum it up, so, our teacher, right, I'm going to start from the very beginning. Our teacher grew up with a boy who was sick, and that was the guy from the library. So, uh, Nageki um, was originally infected with the virus after they grew up. So they grew up in an orphanage together, and he was infected with the virus. The lab was destroyed, and they thought that his, like, adopted brother was killed. His adopted brother wasn't killed. Which is why the teacher started working at school, and that's why when he rejects you, he says he can never leave this place because he's obviously trying to stay with the Geki. Um, later, Isa, who is the doctor under a different name, and he was involved in all of this, so he was the one who infected the brother, but also he worked with um, Ryu, uh, Ryuka's dad. Ryuta's dad and him worked together on projects to help the humans and the, the pigeons all be together. So when his uh, when the father died on a research mission with them, he made a promise that he would look after his son. So that's why he went to the son when there was the great revolt at the orphanage and everyone was killed. Um, everyone was killed and they found Dove 
and Nageki, uh, not Nageki, and uh, Ryota. So they, he made a promise to them that he would solve this. In the doctor's mind, he goes, I can only solve this if one of the population are entirely done for. So when the vi- that's when he starts to, des- to design the virus. So he puts the virus inside of Nageki. <laughs> Puts the virus inside Nageki, but Nageki kills um, himself because he doesn't want to kill all the human race. So when Nageki kills himself, yeah, Poggies, and the lab is burnt down, and you know he thinks his adopted brother is dead. Um, the adopted brother runs off and comes back under a new identity to be able to stop the doctor years later and to regain Nageki. Um, he was getting haunted by his own shadow, which was discussing the issue with his brother. Um, so once Ryota grew up and he came to the school, the doctor, knowing that he didn't remember him, started to do experiments on him and started to weaken his immune system so they could infect him with the same virus as uh, Nageti. Uh, yeah, so infecting him with that virus was, yes, kind of. Um, and what happened was, once he it, once he started, you know, you know, Ryuta, he decided that that was the best person because that was his research partner. So out of like the love he had for his research partner, he decided that he would use his son to make his son's wish come true because they'd already said that they'd die for the cause. So it wasn't a sacrifice that they weren't willing to make in his eyes. So he starts poisoning for about a year, and then when um, he administers the final part which is the cells of Nageki that's left into the liver of Ryota Dove comes to see him at the well at the clinic and dies because she gets infected by the toxin so do you have any questions he basically killed her because of a virus that he got which was developed in Nageki because the doctor's research partner died and he made a promise to look after his son, or at least make his son's wish come true. Yeah, Ryota accidentally killed her uh, because he had the virus in him and he didn't know, and she came to see him. Um, in the very beginning, it was the brothers, well, the adopted brothers, that led to well, Nageki and his brother. So when Nageki got infected and killed himself, that's why the brother at the end was trying to shoot him. Because he was like, damn, you killed my brother. And that's why he tried to like cut him out of um, Razor. Does that all make sense? Oh, and also the Scarecrow was actually Dove. Um, they put the brain in there because it was like a mix between like, you know, it was like a halfway home between humans. Sure. Yeah, it's... It, but, like, it's hard to explain, there was a lot of crossover, but simply put, that's why. Madness. Why if it isn't my darling little brother? You scum, you villain! Explain yourself! Why are you still alive? Why, well, for starters, I can never bring myself to leave all the ladies sad and alone. How much would she mock me before you'd be satisfied? Hello again. Leon? Ask questions! Ask questions! This is the time. Truth be told, Leon here gave me an answer. I was waiting around on the border between life and death and he called me back and I had a miraculous revival. And he said he was going to recover your body. I do not recall saying I was going to recover his corpse. Lunacy, madness, inconvenience. Give it back! Give me back the time and mental energy I spent mourning you. Come on, bro. You mourn me? I'm fine. Yeah. Can't stay long. You don't. It's time to sell on our next bright and massive mission. It's your chance to regain the department's trust. Roger that, let's go, sexy and suave. Cool, cool! Offer some fast food! There's deliciousness nearby! <laughs> they shouldn't have made this story words. Yes, they should have. Blick, be Madonna. Anga, do you have food? <laughs> ah, what did I? God, the demon spores you coach again. Come on, stick them up! Uncle, some demands 
chance you'll be in your life! So you hear bone white bird of bean eating. By the oath of all join me. That's still going on it. Yeah, no, the birds make it better. Hello, Shinagani, how are you? So this is Isa, and this is Hadi. Uh, uh, Why are you of all people pushing I never expect to see you together. Taking responsibility for injuries dealt with in the past, but to him it seems to have not shown his reaction to me. I need to apologize somehow, do I? Change your mind and decide this week. It's time to exact revenge of him. I've never met Ed or either of you, this time. Come on, Shadow. I feel like I'm not uh, attempting to apply the full guidelines to either of these people. Even if you do not. Yeah, I need to talk to you. Are the results from this round of the day? Are there no problems? Not at all. It's a perfect success. I guess that means it's time to have the day. Come, please do. Going back for him! Master Karate? Okay. Master Karate, I'm so Can you hear me? Morning is almost here. Wake up, Kuala. So, but I told you I wouldn't go back on my word. They went back for Riona! Yay! <laughs> Alright, guys, that was fucking wild from start to finish. From start to finish, that was fucking wild. Um, <laughs> if you have any questions about the storyline, please do answer them. I'm sure others may also have questions. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the dance were when they made it. I believe they used a dating sim because honestly, if you think about it, all of the dates like, and endings that you got made sense in the end. Do you know what I mean? Except for Angel. Angel's a wild card. But like, everyone else, it made sense. It really did. Okay, so the truth is, um, before this started, I am a big fan of the best friend Paul and Love Seed, so Ryuta was my favourite. Watching Ryuta's ending, the original one, like, you know, the first one that we did, he was still my favourite. Watching this ending, I'm, I'm not sure. Okusab being Pudding God could still be true. Could still be true. He just stayed to do things that needed to be done. And then he's going out to the pudding. Like, you know what I mean? Raisa was my favorite. But now after I've seen like the final, final ending, I kind of like Pretty Boy. He plays music. He didn't want to be a disappointment to his father. Oh, that was the bit I missed out in the summary. So he's not really his father's kid. Um, Yuya, uh, basically, um, so mom was pregnant, one was his father's, one was this rich man's. He killed the rich man's kid and replaced it with his brother so his brother could live a good life. So he's not even, um, Sukuya isn't even royalty. He took the place of the brother that died. Koya is just a normal boy. Sure. Sure. Okay, guys, you sat here for seven hours while I did a pigeon dating sim and, like, the entire ending. That's fucking wild. So we're definitely going to have to raid. Um, Vi, is there anyone you want to watch before bed? I have no problem if you want to go visit someone before bed. I, I did think so, that's why I asked. Okay. Guys, that was a wild ride, absolutely wild ride. But I just wanna say, thank you all for being here through the last 
seven and a half hours. I am proud of you guys for getting through today. And I'm even more proud of you for getting through tomorrow. Arvida Sen, Viva Dirchi, Good Assurance, Alawego. Peace. See you in the next one. Bye!